Boxbox Box says, this is a test. If you can hear this. Congratulations. Alright. If you can hear me, type 1, 5, 6, 8, 2, 1, 0. The lid moves the augments random rounds. All right, perfect. Uh, if you were wondering why I asked for that number in specific, that is because that's how many pull-ups I can do in one sitting. Let's begin. I'm getting straight into it. I got about seven and a half hours. Gotta climb, gotta climb, gotta climb. Don't wanna die. Actually, I don't even know how much LP I need to climb. I just put 200, but it might be more or less. Hello, the missing potato. Thanks for 33 months. My destination is clear. Yes. All right. Remind me after this game, we got to check the boot camp standings. That is too humble of a number. Yeah. Yeah. Yasuo with a stone plate? Wait, could I get two more Yasuos? Two more Yasuos, please. Dang it. All right, I, I kind of have something going on here. I, I, I kind of like what's happening. And then I play a math light next round. Oh, hello, Saber. It's cool to always run into other boot campers. No one is promised tomorrow. Okay. I really, really want to play Yasuo with these items. We're gonna get two augments in a row. Okay. Um I should definitely just like lose streak for a little bit. Can I make 10? Spirits are calling. No, one, two, oh. I could make 10, but it would involve selling a lot of things. I don't think I should. Hello, side need W. I have so many pairs. Pair of Malphite, pair of Kog'Maw, pair of Cho'Gath, pair of Ari. Mm, nice pair of Ari's. Okay. Uh, I have Adaptive Helm and I have Gargoyle, two really good items. I just need to like see my augments and decide what I want to play. Okay, I killed one unit. The best thing ever would be two Yasuos here. If I got like two Yasuos and an Ari, it'd be really obvious what to play. It'd also be obvious if I got like a Kog'Maw and a Cho'Gath. I am split between two directions. Wait, extended duel. Oh, I kind of try wandering trainer. But I'm pretty sure extended duel is crazy here. I have really good items. I'm gonna do it. I alone decide my fate. Okay, so if you have extended duel. If I have extended duel, what does that mean for me? Well, first, I'm definitely slamming a gargoyle. Gargoyle is great on Yasuo. So, so let's put all the duels on the table. Uh, least in Irelia. And the units that you play alongside it are usually Nico. Diana? Wasn't there one more? I always forget. Rakan? I feel like there was someone else. Oh yeah, Wukong. Not metabolic. Um, I think I like pumping up here. Help my team scale up. This 
story is not yet finished. Actually, I'm like trying to lose, aren't I? Is there a Yasuo 3 build? Oh, there is. Okay. Well, I'm not. I'm definitely not playing Yasuo 3 with uh, RE3. I'm definitely playing like all duelists. Good morning, Jshift. Nice to see you here. Oh, dungeons come back tomorrow. This will be interesting. Extended duel pumping up. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I wanted here. Cloak, I feel like is decent. Hello, Rargoy. Yeah, I feel like Cloak is decent. It makes BT. It makes Even Shroud. I wonder if I'm ever just re-reforging re this tier. I mean, I don't really care if I win or lose right now. I can wait. Hello, Mickey. Thanks for the Prime. Let me go ahead and think about what items do I want to slam here. Well, normally you don't actually play Yasuo 3 carry, right? You play like... Uh, you play like 2-star Duelist and then Tristana 3, Volibear 3. Hello, it's Brittany. Thanks for the 10 months. It's Brittany, bitch. What a great name. Oh, my board already feels kind of strong. So must it be. Maybe I was supposed to get half of a Titans. Witness true strength. Will you be playing more Titan? Uh, after bootcamp is over, yes. I've been asked that question a bunch. A lot of, which makes me pretty happy. A lot of people liked my Titan arc. A three streak here would be massive. Hello, Kino93. Thanks for the nine months. Hello, Idrox. Thanks for two months. Really need one Kiana or Tristana. Do I win this? I might actually win. I think my board's pretty good. Extended duel. You start with three stacks. At max stacks, you gain 10 Omnivam. Okay. Pumping up should help people get to max stacks really quick. Wait, my Yasuo didn't die? What is the guy made out of? What the hell? Rocks? So must it be. Yasuo is so tanky. Alright, well, I mean, I actually really like Vertical Duelists. It's a pretty easy build, but it's satisfying. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually reroll for Yasuo 3. So I, I should probably just level here. But I do want to roll for uh, Tristana and Volibear 3. Maybe Kiana 3. Alright, if I'm really lucky, I get a spat. Wait, is there even a duelist spat in this game? Oh, I got a Kiana. Okay, BT. Guys, I got an Ash! Okay, uh, looking at BT. I think tier is like the least useful item here, right? Okay, I 
think I just slap all my items on Yasuo for now and let him go crazy mode. And then um, we'll rebuild the Yasuo later. Pretty sure this early Yasuo 2 goes crazy mode. I'm holding this in case I get recombobulated. Actually, I only got to recombobulate. This song is very rat jam. Could use a malfit here. Spirits are calling. A thresh would be really good as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I just want BT Titans. Well, I should probably try to build something off this rod. What are my options? Isn't Gwinsu's Tristana good? What am I gonna do with the Morellos? I mean, straight up, is there just like some duelist I can hold Morellos without it being like troll? Not really. Hello, Sergeant. I feel like I want like in your face items like Sterex. Twin are too healthy? No. Twin Terror is not very good here. It might actually just be Big Grab Bag. Oh, I don't think it's Gifts from the Fallen. It's probably actually a Big Grab Bag. I feel like I, have, I gain a lot from items. Oh, yeah, no. Reroll for Duelist Emblem. I'm down. I'm fucked. Alright, I gotta take healing orbs, I'm pretty sure. Well, Gifts from the Fallen might be alright. Okay, it is a lot of stats. Our wills align. Dang, Duelist Crest would have gone crazy. Yeah, I, I I'm pretty sure it was grab bag. I like I'm I'm massively lacking items right now. Gifts from the Fallen is better much later on once you have three items on your carries, but like, uh, Grab Bag would let me make like a three item Yasuo, it'd let me reforge the rod. But yeah, it, imagine if I hit Duelist Crest though. So whatever, I think I'm in a decent spot to top four. This early Yasuo too has been streaking me really hard. I might just make a Sterex here. Like, I want to set up a BT Titans of Volibear, but uh, I think I have to prioritize. Wait, is there really no Duelist Pet? Yeah, there's no Duelist Pet. Um, I need to prioritize just like making an item and playing tempo so I have money. So I'll probably make a Sterex gauge here. I think it's glove. Wait, is it glove? No, it's bow. I herald the greatest blessing. Hello, Bubba Yoda. Thanks for the nine months. Okay, so here's the question. I uh, do I need to slam an item here? Because I would like to hold this for Titans. Titans is so good. Holding three components feels a little troll, especially when I'm on a streak, though. Gwinsu's would definitely win streak me. I guess I can wait and see if I need to. Gwinsu's 100% easily streaks me here, even like on this Yasuo. But I would like to wait and try for Titans. Titans is like how you win the end game. BT Titans Volibear. Items, items. No, he offered to recombobulate my board. I was talking about this earlier. It's actually not good for me. Yep. It's not good for me. I'll just take 10 gold. I, it's because I'm locked to duelist, so I can't play flex. 
Did anyone else recombobulate? Oh, this guy could recombobulate into a two-star four cost. Actually, I think a lot of people took the 10 gold. I think almost nobody took the recombobulator. Yeah, I don't think anybody recombobulated. Please win this. I mean, I, I think I win. Okay, pretty sure I'm completely uncontested. I'm kind of thinking about, what, what if I just tempoed? Is that crazy? Wait, I can't tell if my ass is gonna die or not. No! No, my streak! Damn you, Teemo! The power of a dragon! Blessing. I actually have so much money. Um, let's think about my items. I got a Sterix right here. I can just recombob the rod. Recombob. Reforge the rod. Okay. Uh, down for Sterix Slam. It's actually not bad on like Volibear. Down for Giant Slayer on Tristana. Okay, let me think about what I'm going to do here. I have so much money and HP that I could actually go 9. I could actually go 9 and play Flex. And like, I think I kind of want to because I only have two Tristanas. Alternatively, I could roll a lot. Yeah, I could roll a lot right here and then like hit a lot of units. I guess it's like, what are the odds I hit my units? Well, from a quick scout, I'm completely uncontested. Uh, I'm pretty sure I roll. Pretty sure I roll. I gotta stop holding the garbage. Only hold the units that are relevant to my build. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if I roll, I will hit. I will hit before I get to like 40 HP. Like, yeah, I only had one Tristan and one Volibear at the time of rolling, but I just scouted. I'm completely uncontested. And not only that, it's like reverse contested. There are so many other players in the lobby holding other three costs that I'm pretty sure I can get away with this. Oh, fuck. Well, I can't do it. I haven't rolled down yet. Fuck, I need the three items so badly, though. Oh, my God. I have to decline it. I feel so bad. I was, like, right about to roll a shit ton. Uh, I would like to get a Volibear 2. One Volibear 2, please. Okay, I almost have my rebuild of Yasuo already. Fortress Donna's. And my, my board's not that weak right now.
Should I move my items to Volibear now? I think I should. I'd only be able to move BT Sterex. Who gets the Gargoyle? I kind of like all, the entire package of all of it on Yasuo. This Yasuo unit's not normally. This is a very interesting part of the game. I have to decide how aggressively I want to play. If I save money, I'm more likely to make it to Tristana 3 before I die. If I roll now, I'm more likely to like guarantee placements by just bleeding out slower. Um, okay, well I know what I want. Nice, I got it. Okay, well, I have I have all of Volibear's items ready. What's the context for the line? Oh, like... Are you asking me, like, what's an example of when I would do this when I wouldn't? Uh, if I didn't think I was likely to hit my three stars, and I just want to save placements, then I absolutely need to uh, uh, roll down now to save HP, but I think there's a pretty good chance I make it. Maybe Diana tank. I'm pretty sure I'm fine to sit here on 73 HP. Okay, I can also go for for Diana three. I think I normally I sell all the Dianas because I don't have the econ, but I think this time I might. I've got I'm level 740 gold. I think I can do it. My Volibear should go crazy here with extended duel. Okay, he's not going as crazy as I thought. No. No, you're so close. If we could just kill that Alawi, everyone else dies instantly. Are we going 8 Duelist? Oh, uh, I didn't hit a Duelist Crest, so I can't. Infinite Remover? Or Gold? Ah, uh, fuck. If I, if I didn't already sell my Yasuo, I would have taken this. Kind of sad. Holy four cost shop. That is not what you want to see when re-rolling uh, three costs. Okay, no need to re-roll it below 50. The only upgrade I can hit is Yasuo or Lee Sin. But I, I probably like go almost to zero later. I wonder if that calculator I used before still works. Do I still have a link to that TFT calculator? It was updated four months ago. Hmm. Is there a TFT calculator that is updated to set 11? Uh oh, I need to roll. Is Dragon Lord better than Umbral? I think so. Uh, Duelists definitely try to like end the fight before other people can reach their win con. I don't want shields, I want damage. I want to like go in your face. Is it possible for Duelist Emblem to appear in Carousel? Yes, uh, on stage 5 onward. It's unlikely, but it could. I'm not gonna bank on it. Uh, the whole lobby's getting pretty low now. I'm pretty sure I have to roll down. If I can even hit one 3-star, I can get top 4. I do wonder how this game would have gone if I just went 9, though. Probably not that good, because I'd be stuck on 2-stars forever, and my items would be really inefficient. The nice thing about rerolling is that- oh, I got a tryst. The, the nice thing about rerolling is that it, uh... Oh. This is it, it like doubles the value of your items. I herald the greatest blessing. I rock you bow. Should I put this on somebody? I don't know who. This is necessary. Here comes the boom. You forgot to bow. Oh, this is how dragons battle. Uh, I'm just gonna do Titan's Trist, it's fine. I don't think there was any other item I could have built. I still have to hit three Vola Bears. Alright, is Tristana 3 enough? My gut tells me no. Let's see. Pause champ. Oh, this Lissandra is owning me. Oh, this Lissandra actually destroyed me. She just stunned my Vola Bear three times. I'm almost there. Come on. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, I don't think I roll for the last Diana. She's not that big of a deal. Let's get a last item for Tristana. Okay, this is huge. Thank God I hit. Dude, I can't believe how hard I got owned. That Lissandra stunned my Volibear three times. Otherwise, I would've won. <laughs> Lissandra stuns for sure. Yep, she stuns and like flings the unit back. It's pretty strong. It's it's a high mana cost though, so you have to like aim her. And like, I just didn't scout. That's my bad. I can't tell what Tristana's best in slot is. I think it's really weird. Her animation is like counterintuitive. She like, you kind of want her to like, just stand there and look cute and auto attack. But she kind of keeps jumping in, ruining her own like, attack speed. What rank are you right now? Uh, I think Emerald 3. Not very high. I've been playing pretty poorly. All right. Uh, well, I'll find a Wukong if I can. Otherwise, Rakan. You know, I want to try something. Out of curiosity, what if I put Diana here and then Volibear down here? Is there a chance I could get my Volibear to sneak in to this Irelia? Probably not. Okay, yeah, no. But I should probably like start thinking about uh, positioning gimmicks like that in the future. Especially if you're gonna play melee carries. Oh, this Volibear is actually indestructible. Holy crap. Very, very satisfying. Bonk! All right, uh, what is the best item I can get on my Tristana? She has Titans, she has Giant Slayer. Uh, probably Infinity Edge. Oh fuck, I don't like any of these. I don't think Shojin's good. Oh my god. That was sad. Heavenly Sage. I herald the greatest blessing. Okay, Tristana and Volibear on a corner. Please. Do not get Lissandra'd. Please, please, please. This Lissandra cast so many times, she needs to die. No, I'm getting Lissandra'd. No, I'm getting Lissandra'd and stunned. Somebody! Oh, Lissandra wasted her ult. Holy crap. This Lissandra is so crazy. What do I do? It's a Lissandra one, but she keeps gaining mana somehow. All right, I should just keep rolling. Sheesh! Burdens of the past. Oh fuck, people hit some crazy stuff. Come on, Albert. Get a Diana, get a Wukong, or a Rakan. You got this. Oh, wow, my Volibear is dumb. He just shimmied. Wait, okay. Does anybody have any ideas as to how to beat that Lissandra that perma stuns my, my Volibear? Everyone else seems pretty easy. My Volibear is like otherwise unkillable. Yeah, maybe I get a really good Tristana damage item. Get a QSS. Yeah, let me just rebuild my Volibear 3. Let me just rebuild them. Oh, does the Mumu win? Oh my god, this Mumu is so funny. Cry, bitch, cry! Hmm. 
Here's a sage. Call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I like that boot camp setup. I'm glad you like it. We worked really hard on it. It took many, uh, many months of innovation to come up with a good idea. Okay, just give me a uh, give me a Diana right here. Dang it. All right, Wukong, Rakan, Diana. You forgot to bow. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Fuck. All right, damage item. Fuck. No Diana here is kind of a big deal. She's got two items. Does my volleyball go straight to the back line here? Come on, hang in there, volleyball. Yes, straight to the back line. It's over. Is that a cutscene? Give him the stare down. Hello, Griffin. Thanks for the prime. Come on, top two, top two, top two. Oh, three players died. Okay, what did what to do against the Lissandra? Double Shojin Lissandra. Death is not always a release. Fuck. All right, any ideas on how to handle this Lissandra? Normally, I was gonna get a Diana three. Diana 3 to tank it, but what if just run away, run away. All right, let this Lissandra waste her ult on the Diana. Come on, somebody needs to get in there and kill that Lissandra. Oh no, my team dies pretty quickly. There's too much CC. No, there's too much CC. Oh, what? I'm alive? I'm alive. Okay, Diana 3 right here. Diana 3 Wukong. This Come on. Is not yet finished. If I want to believe, the if I want to win, Leeson has to make the ultimate sacrifice. Deny me no longer. It's the, the only way. And then I roll once for Wukong. I tried. Okay. Think, Albert. Okay, I have a really weird idea. What if I did this? I'm not sure if it'll work, but I'm desperate. Solo frontline Diana, let the units move forward a little bit. And then maybe, just maybe, my Volibear can get in. The Lissandra only has a thousand HP. You should like find a quick way to assassinate her. Oh, there it is, there it is! He's in, he's in! Lissandra's dead! Can you take it home? It's really close. Oh. Yes. All right. Just got to do that two more times. All right. Is there a QSS? Oh, Heavenly? Wait. Heavenly Diana. Uh, Irelia. Oh, my God. I was gonna say, QSS on Diana would actually win me the fight, but... Wait, oh my god, in my final moments, Irelia comes home! I am an intellectual at all hours of the day. That is beautiful. This story is not yet finished. <laughs> okay, well, I this is how dragons battle! Okay. All right, let's see if this is good enough. Now that we have Irelia. Volibear, heal back up, son. 
Okay, Lissandra down, but so is Volibear. Oh no. No! Okay, I'm pretty sure I really was not stronger than the Sage buff. I should've just played the, uh, I should've just kept the Sage in. Oh wait! Oh, I'm so stupid. I should've kept Sage in over Yasuo. Okay, my bad. Yeah, I should've just dropped the Yasuo there. Okay, that's not bad. That was a pretty sick game, though. I enjoyed that. Wait, wait, I'm gonna do that too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if I would win, but I'd have a chance. Uh, I replace Yasuo first uh, for Irelia, keep the Morgana in, and then... The backline position I did earlier actually looked pretty good, so maybe I just keep doing that. It seemed really RNG on if you were able to, like, crack through to the Lissandra. But overall, a pretty exciting fight. Alright, let's take a look at this. Thank you for the reminder. So, how much LP do I have to climb today? Well, I just won a game, or second place. Emerald 3, 52 LP. And for me to be safe, I need to get... Oh, wow. The threshold has gone up quite a lot. Hello, Cole Galdi. Thanks for the eight months. The threshold has gone up to Emerald 2, 18 LP. Eight years ago you had an old playlist that wasn't on Spotify or YouTube. It was on a random website. It had some anime music and dream and buy pools. Do you remember this or have you recreated it? An old playlist that wasn't on Spotify or YouTube. It was on a random website and it had dreaming by pools. You mean small pools? I love those guys. Would you believe me if I told you that they were in my living room right now? Take it away, boys. Uh, I don't remember ever using a playlist. Wait, what the heck just happened? My lead client. Uh, I don't remember a playlist that was not on Spotify or YouTube, though. Oh, I did use this website called, like, Pandora Music or something. Uh, I don't think that website exists anymore. Oh, what the? Wait, something's wrong. Hey, something's wrong, uh, with my game. Wait, hello? Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit, I almost ended my OBS. The OBS studio took the place of the lead client. I almost ended my stream. Wait. Let me in, let me in! Oh, if you hold control, they don't move. Oh. You guys want to learn a sick... Wait, am I stuck? Help! Help! Oh. You guys want to know a sick life hack that I learned? Wait, I still can't get in. I still can't get in. Oh, is this happening for everyone else? What if I connect on my phone? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get on my phone. Maybe everyone else is having this issue, and if I get in first, I can win. Oh, I'm in! I'm in! On my phone! Look! Wait, what? Am I in on both my phone and my PC? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. Uh, I'm gonna wait for it to load on my phone, and then I'm gonna disconnect after, uh, and then reconnect on my PC. Actually, I think I can just disconnect from my phone right now. Yeah, let me just disconnect from my phone. Let's see. Does this work? 
Okay, I disconnected from my phone. Okay, I'm in. Alright, please give me something good. Heavenly Altruist. I got Ghostly. Oh, Ghostly Invoker Faded. Is there any link between these? Is there any link? I, I, it wouldn't be hard for me to just play around one of these, but like it, to mix even two of these sounds really hard. Faded Invoker Ghostly. Well, Morgana with Faded. How how would Morgana with Faded work? Unless you're just like throwing in a Morgana randomly. Oh, what the? What in the ghostly? Ghostly crest. Wait, wait a second. It's a G G. Ghostly game. Target. I already have three ghostly. Oh my god, okay, um... I need a damage dealer of some sort. you today oh and then I need a thresh uh, okay so let's go ahead and put all the ghostly units on the board Malawi Caitlin and then Kane Morgana guys it's a GG ghostly game and then maybe a uh, Thresh Kindred for now. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that working. Yeah, I can actually see this working out pretty well. You get two out of three faded and the dummy covers the rest. Oh, and I can actually get eight ghostly. It's actually a GG ghostly game. Wait, what happened? Altruist Bruiser? Wait, why is, did someone say we're all playing for a second? Did someone hit something crazy? What's happened? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I could have actually leveled here. Maybe I should have.
Oh, two fortune crests. Hello, Saiwan. Welcome. How much damage do you think Reaper adds? Probably a decent amount. I'll probably keep him. Hello, Jenks. Thanks for the Prime. Oh man, I hit a 2-star Shen and 4 Ghostly and like I don't feel that strong. Wait, I'm actually really excited. I've only played Ghostly once. And it was my uh, 8 Ghost, Kane 3, Morgana 3 game. It's probably not actually that good, and I just high rolled really hard, but I'm personally very excited. Oh, I missed a sub? Oh. Hello, NTR, your husbando. Thanks for the 27 months. Wait, Timo adds a golden spat? <gasps> Alawi on carousel with a ghost spat! Alawi on carousel with a ghost spat! I repeat, that is an Alawi on carousel with a go it is a ghost unit with a ghost spat. It's a GG. <laughs> it's a ghostly game. Holy crap. I can actually reach eight ghostly so fast. Okay, wait, I'm pretty sure I need to Econ. But I'm happy to slam a ghostly spat. I have three ghostly spats on 2-5. Play a Luna over Kindred. No, I can't. I need to make Econ. Also, I'm pretty sure Kindred is in the board because of Faded. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't need to play around the Faded that much, but... I think it's pretty decent once I get Thresh. Oh, fuck. Alright, here I was thinking I can make Econ. Saw this. Uh, I'm down to like int a bit. I wanna, I wanna be able to maintain econ. So I'll sell, I'll sell Malphite. Yeah, I'm down to lose this round. Get a four loss streak. Probably kill a couple units thanks to this kindred. Maybe I shouldn't have slammed uh, the ghostly spat. Could have waited for a spatula. I have to remember, everybody else also got spatulas, so like, I'm not the only one spiking. But like, the fact that I got all three go of the same spats is pretty exciting. Man, Kindred kind of does zero damage. Is this a tuber? It might be. Eight ghostly speedrun? Oh my god, I'm always one gold short. Oh no. Hopefully I get at least one gold here. Yes. I mean, surely, right? Spirits are calling. Yeah, honestly, maybe I should have adapted Helm my Shen, and then I could have played for a win streak. Maybe it's like Troll that I didn't put my item on my best unit. Imagine ha Haunted House next augment. Stop, I can only get too excited. The ghost-specific augment. I feel like any item will do here. I think Morales is probably the best one though, for Morgana. Uh, I need money. Oh, I didn't get money. Hello. 
last time I ate a plant was never. Oh wow, dryad. All right, ghostly orn, gorn. Should I just slam this Nashers? Uh, I can wait for my augment. Spirits are calling. I can wait for my augment. Oh, my Kindred just dodged a Luxult. Although she does zero damage, so my hopes aren't very high right now. Oh, I just realized Ari is actually a pretty good next in. It's three faded, two Arcanist. Shy. Wait, hang on. Look at all these ghosts. Wait. Oh my God, Kindred, can you dodge? Oh, dude, if if my Kindred just like randomly happened to dodge the Luxult, I actually would have won that fight. That would have been epic. This story is not yet. What does Ghostly do? It just makes people take more damage. Nice passive buff. All right, Haunted House, come on. Oh man. Um. It could be bulk. All of these are all right. I kind of like healing orbs for Kane. I also kind of like Silver Veil, but uh. Oh wait, I kind of like this. I feel like my items are pretty bad right now, so I'm like down to uh, guarantee me some good items. Our wills align. Okay, let me think about this. So I get to like tailor my items now, right? Uh, what is Kane's best in slot? It's like Edge of Night, Titans. Also, I'm pretty sure red buff is like very fire. Red buff is good. I'm pretty sure uh, red buff Morgana is just like a slightly worse um, Morellos. But like the fact that I have it right now and I don't have to wait for a lot of reshuffles, pretty nice. Now I'm actually doing damage. Kha'Zix gives you the next augment immediately. Haunted house! Haunted house! Come on! Come on! Dryad crest? No, no, no. Wait. I could re-roll this dryad crest. Interesting. But what about haunted house? Haunted house. Oh, yeah, Harmacist is actually very good. Okay, right, Harmus is actually very good here. Wait, what? What? Wait, it made me choose. I was right about to choose. Wait, Raph. Like I, I still had time. I was, I was looking at the timer. I was looking at the timer. I still had some time. It like made me choose like four seconds early. Like I, I was specifically looking at this to like make sure I had time while, uh, so I could think about my decision. Like I mean, unified's fine, but it is annoying that that happened. Imagine if I got like a really bad one. I was like, I was really debating if I wanted to reroll that spat, and then uh, I'm pretty sure Harmonist for Kane is just super good here. Hello, FDX. The game is tweaking today. I'm- Oh, Kane! Kane! Kane on carousel! Kane on car- I repeat, that's a Kane on carousel. Kane on carousel. Kane on carousel. Kane on car- Oh! I don't care about the item. I have Pandora's items. Are you serious? Damn, he doesn't even need the Kane. He just took it randomly. <laughs> I 
kind of want to level, but I'll be so poor. If I want to actually hit my Cannon Morgana, I need to chill. This Orn's a funny item holder. I feel like I kind of do want to hang on to the Shens. Randomly hitting a Shen 3 would be huge. I'll sell Thresh. Um, we need IE Hodge. This King, or uh, not King, this Kindred 2 is actually really good right now. I'm pretty impressed. Ghostly Kindred. Oh yeah, wait, I totally forgot. You actually don't want the Ghostly Spats on your good units. Because Ghostly Spat doesn't really do anything for you. It's actually like a support item. Right? It makes your you heal, and then it makes enemies take more damage. But if you're a DPS unit, like this Kindred probably doesn't want the Ghost Spat. It should have gone on a tank. But yeah, I, I know why the augment thing happened. It's probably just an oversight, but it's it's frustrating. Basically, like they move the augment to an earlier round, but they didn't adjust the timer. Our wills it is annoying. At least I got an augment that's still like okay. Oh, I should probably do this. Yeah, at least I got an augment that's playable. Hello, Atatur Kelly. Thanks for the four months. Any idea when the new patch will come? Bard feels like he should be hot fixed. I. Whether or not he should be hot, well, I'll tell you right now, he's definitely not that good. Like, he's really good, best unit in the game, but it's not hotfix material. Hotfix ma material is like when a unit, like five people play uh, a unit and they go one, two, three, four, five every game. Like, uh, there was a Bilgewater trait in set nine where every game, all eight players would play. I, like, I was, I specifically didn't play Bilgewater because uh, I didn't like it contesting units. But it was so strong that like I would literally be like the only guy out of eight who was not playing Bilgewater. It was insane. Like that's hotfix material. Bard is like first place is usually Bard three. That's fine. It happens. There are outliers every now and then. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not really the Bard. It's the combination of Bard and Kench. Combination of Bard and Kench goes a little crazy. Oh, Cinder could actually work here. Are there any other good units we think could work here? I mean, I'm sure Silas is good. Oh, any invokers? Oh, a random Azir would actually be really nice. I didn't see one of my components. It, there was a chance that it could have been a sword. I could just slam this jeweled gauntlet and say, yeah, it's just a worse IE. Oh, I kind of want Kane to have best in slot, though. Your Kane is looking chunky. Yeah, I, what do you guys think of my Kane? <laughs> Mom, can we play Kane? We have Kane at home. Kane at home. Oh, this guy didn't hit 7 fortune yet. Wow, okay, the ghostly is starting to add up. You know what's weird? I haven't seen a single Caitlyn this entire game. Alright, I'm gonna level up. Roll for Kane Morgana. Kane Morgana. Kane Morgana. Kane Morgana. Kane Morgana. Kane Morgana. KM. Oh, and Caitlyn. Kane, Caitlyn Morgana. KCM. No prison can hold me. Meet your journey, or die. Let me show you darkness. Uh. Legends are told in word and deed. No prison can hold me. Do right. I actually could have had an Irelia too. Holy shit! I. I, I, I sold it like, oh my god. I actually could have had it. Holy crap. I literally sold it and on the next roll, oh my god. Um, I might take this Hoi though. Hoi could be my Morgana item holder and then it can print, um, can print a Morgana, can print a Kane. Okay, I'm actually doing so much damage. I'm very impressed with this build. 
My synergies kind of go hard right now. We, we've assembled a very good board. Yeah, maybe it was the same one that I sold. Okay, not the one that makes rerolls one gold, please. Oh. Oh! Interesting. Is there a legendary ghostly? No. Time to take what's ours. In darkness, we find ourselves. Wait. Is there a five cost that I actually want in this build? I think it's just a Zir. Oh, maybe a uh, set. What about Wukong? I guess we'll call him for a Sage. But yeah, once I swap out the Kindred and the uh, Ari and the Yone, the Masters are gonna change a lot and I gotta like uh, recalibrate. I also have to swap out this Orin, or at least rebuild him. Keep the Quay to print. You know, it's not like free, right? I have to like int my board to print. I have to like lose a valuable synergy or even multiple valuable synergies. It's definitely not worth it to um like int my board for five rounds to print. That's like way way too risky. Yeah, print with an int. Can't spell print without int. Hello, mint lemon tea. Thanks for the 18 months. Uh I'm just waiting for a sword. So I'll take sword or highest gold here. I'm just missing one sword for best in slot cane. Uh okay, I'll take this orn. Orn 2 would go pretty hard. Wow, my Kindred 2 is doing so much damage. I'm so impressed. I just realized, I, I realized, like, okay, I, I, I realize my mistake. Oh my god, I realize my mistake. Um, I need to sell Kindred and move items, but like now I, ha I have to sell the items on Wukong. Oh, which means I have to sell the Wukong later. Lissandra offers to sell you items. I'm broke. I'm broke. Okay, should I choose the option to lack the gold to offer this spirit? Our wills align. Travel awaits. I'm coming for you. Hey, Hodge. Never a dull moment. Okay, so I can I can drop one. But I gotta think of how I wanna do this. So I have one ghost spec right here. So I can drop Caitlyn for one.
Wow, I want to hit a four cost so I could reroll it. Oh wow. This is the part where you will Uh Ghostly Udir looks good. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Shall I prove them right? Fuck, I wasn't looking at my items at all. I'm pretty sure I got a TG. Fuck, I was just thinking about getting reroll max value. Should I do Gunblade? Wait, I guess I have a choice right here. Uh, sorry to have red buff. I can do JG, I can do Gunblade. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just want to do damage. So I think it's GG. This is so overwhelming, but I think we assembled a pretty good board. Ink Shadow, Arcanist, Invoker. Could do Invoker. Team-wide mana. Or team-wide AP. Alune is better synergies. I think I'm down. Yeah, I think I'm down to see what Alune can do here. What about Yone for Reaper? Oh yeah, actually, I just realized I'm playing Kane without Reaper. My bad. Nice find. Oh god, what a dizzying game. I, I was so dizzy, I didn't even notice my TG. I would have been nice to have that. Okay, now I should go nine. I can't believe it. Dude, I have like, if I win this, I'll actually have an average of first place. Okay, this looks way better. I'm pretty sure with this, my cane will do like infinity damage. I'll just throw it on like trucks in case I get a TG later. Dude, what a game, seriously. Oh my god, the perfect Wandering Trainer ghostly game. So many things went wrong too, but like, what, a, what an exciting game overall. Eight ghostly once again. Oh, I think I lost. Wait, actually, hang on. I have a guy. I have a guy in the back. Okay, what the fuck is this? This guy has two Radiant, or four Radiant Warmogs. Oh, is this the Seven Fortune guy? Yeah, it's the Seven Fortune guy. He's level 10! Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's seven fortune. Holy crap. Wait, they're all crests? Bro, they're all crests. Um, I think I'm just taking TG. I could have taken a crest and re-rolled it, but it would take a while it could take anywhere from like one turn to like never. You know what I mean? It could, it could take forever to hit. I'm not willing to risk it. Yeah, if there was a 10 ghostly, I might've been down. 
Why not the Udyr? Oh, I just think TG on the Silas 2 is a big deal. Okay, so this guy gets first place, like, by far. It's not even close. His board looks like he's cheating. It literally looks like he's cheating. Why is Lowey in the back uh, for Unified? It literally looks like the guy's cheating, so just save HP and get like a third or a second here. Okay, but wouldn't it be so hype if I hit a Kane 3 and then it was able to win? His board is crazy. Yeah, he got two Fortune Crests at the beginning of the game, so... Uh, he definitely like wins the game. Okay, is it ever just roll it down at 8? Because I'm at 5 canes, 5 more granas. If I go 9... Does he get rewards every single round? Fortune smiles. Extra rewards, more luck no, no matter what. Hold a thistle every turn. Do you think Kendra's a good carry to play around? She looks fun, but she's pretty weak in my opinion. This guy's pretty strong. Everyone's pretty strong. I'm just waiting for people to die and try to get like a fourth or a third. I have 40 HP, but I don't think I'm very powerful. Alright guys, should I roll it down at 8 or go 9 and secure a top 3? What I want. Let's go Kane! Let's go! Okay, I mean, this, this has got to be a top three at least by now. What would I throw in at nine? I would throw in an Ink Shadow. I'd probably throw in like a Lissandra. Oh, I, I would throw in a set probably. Now, you know what? Fuck it. Let's roll, guys. Wait, this guy's holding a cane. How dare he deny me my win condition, like our ranked player. Oh wow, these items all suck. Not a single one of these is good. I'm pretty sure I just like let it reroll. Okay, um... Okay, next round I'm actually gonna roll it down. Because uh, I actually have quite a lot of outs. This guy's also holding a cane. I'm gonna roll it down, because I might hit Morgana, I might hit Kane, I might hit Silas. Wait, did I win? Wait, I almost won. Wait, are you kidding me? Eight ghostly this strong? I haven't gotten strong I haven't gotten stronger in so long. I just built my eight ghosts and like that was it. Alright, well. The last people are way too strong. TG. All right, well, I'm gonna roll it down. Let's grab every four cost. Because I'm definitely... Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm definitely dead if I don't hit, so I should just try. That guy just hit any three. He just hit any three! Oh, God! Everybody run! Run for the hills! The fortune cash out guy got any three! Okay, is it just me or did it actually look like I almost won this? Oh, this isn't the guy with any three. Oh. No prison can hold me. Okay, is he still holding my cane? Yeah, he is. Okay. Silas, maybe? I'm going all in for the Silas Wincon! Dang it. 
Okay, I have to hit a Silas on Carousel. It's the only way. Silas on, on Carousel into a Silas in Shop. It's the only way. Hello, Alan Butternubs. Thanks for the 15 months. These guys are too high roll. The GG can't handle this. Ah, 2 HP. Come on, come on. Silas? No. No. All I can do is take most gold and pray for a miracle. Hitting two Siluses at level eight with 10 gold is not very likely. I mean, we might as well try, right? Oh God. have now reached 100 gems today. Are Go get him, ghostly spat Ari! You can do it! Go get him! I put a minus 20. Alright, nice try. The good news about this game is that if anybody ever looks up Ari's best items, it's gonna tell them that Ari with a ghostly spat averages a third. And they're gonna be like, wait, ghostly Ari secret OP? All right, anyway, not a bad game. I think we did a good job adapting to the Wandering Trainers. That's probably second place if the Fortune didn't guide to exist. Although, I definitely feel like a lot of games right now in the Wandering Trainer portal is just, like, how good your portal is. I think there's quite a bit of, like, skill in, like, executing it. But you can definitely kind of tell who wins. We, we all knew when we saw that Fortune guy with two Fortune spats, like, that the game was over. And then we all knew when we saw the guy with the Store Weaver and Heavenly, like, we knew that he was getting second place. I think it's kind of cool that I got third with like what seemed to be a pretty bad uh, dummy in the beginning, but then we actually found a way to make it work. It took a lot of thinking though. It was like 20 minutes. Box Box, why are you so lame? Stop sexualizing anime girls and be a grown man for once. Wait, what, what did I say in the last 20 minutes that sexualized an anime girl? Also, this might come as a shock to you, but I'm pretty sure grown men are the one doing the sexualizing of the anime girls. Also, I don't really think my stream particularly has a lot of that. There's a lot of like, holy shit, this unit is so hot. I think it's quite different though. Anyway, oh fuck, I think I got this bug. I gotta relog. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, is he referring? Is he referring to when I sexualized my Udir? I do remember calling my Udir like the sexiest motherfucker on the planet. Wait, that might be it. Okay, yeah, something's definitely wrong with the game right now. This happened last time too. Oh, hello, Tim. Tim's my YouTube guy. Hello, Earth Todre. Thanks for the 11 months. Uh, Tim said, while you're in queue, can you do the lines? Oh, do I have to do some sponsor lines? Let me see. Oh. Uh, yeah, can you send me one more line? Oh, three more lines. Okay. 
Yeah, I, I can do it really quickly if we can just take from the VOD. All right, everyone be quiet for like eight seconds. Uh, I gotta go film a line really quick. Gotta full screen my camera. Uh, all right. No, don't subscribe. That's gonna mess with the, the ad read. Hang on. Can I remove the subscriber? Okay, I'll, I'll just like sneak it in really quick. So the line is, come find me under the name BoxBox. Box. Quick reminder to sign up for Raid Shadow Legends with the link in the description below. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> come find me under the name BoxBox. Box. Quick reminder to sign up for Raid Shadow Legends with the link in the description below. Thanks. Ha! You're too slow, I did it already. I already got my ad read. Hello, Kethos. Thanks for the eight months. I'll tell you guys a dirty, naughty little secret. You guys want to know? Whenever I do my sponsored ad reads, uh, I always put the line on a notepad document. Oh, actually, yeah, right here. Uh, this is an earlier ad line I had to read. I always put it right here because physically, like, where this notepad document is, is right underneath my camera. So, if, like, when I read these lines, it's like I'm looking at you and making eye contact with you. I always put the, the lines right here so that it looks like I'm not just reading off of a notepad and I, the streamer, am making personalized, prolonged eye contact with you. And what's really funny is if it's, is, if it's a long, uh, like a long script, uh, my eyes start slowly going down and then the eye contact starts drooping. One of my, my all-time favorite comedian, Bo Burnham, had this uh, very interesting stage bit where he was like singing a song and then at randomly he was like, it's time for prolonged eye contact. And then um, he just like shone a spotlight directly onto a random member of the audience. And then he just like, for like 12 seconds in the middle of the song. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Bo Burnham. Prolonged eye contact. The The way he delivered it was really funny. Oh, I don't like these. Let's, let's do the least game changing one. Oh, the quality is shit. Hey, you'll just have to take my word for it. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we are now going to listen to a series of songs sung by the live performers, the Rat Jam Crew. Designed to make you Rat Jam. Peace, Tinho One, and damn it, Donna. Thanks for the subs. Hello, Glubs, Glubs. Welcome. <laughs> Could it be a ghostly game? Hello, PJ Buttercups. Thanks for the 17 months. Could it be? Oh wait, no. It's it's always Story Weaver. This Story Weaver thing is not normally. All right, I'm gonna put Story Weaver in right now because I believe. I am awakened. I believe that it'll somehow give me the Story Weaver Crest augment. I just now realized that it's silver guaranteed on this portal, so I that literally couldn't have happened. Um, help is on the way. I feel like I can win streak though. 
Yeah, I feel like I could win streak here. Probably iron assets. Golden remover. Would I rather have golden remover or four gold? Because they're both a component. I feel like I'd rather have four gold and stumble my economy. Oh, but if I do, if I reroll iron assets, I get one more chance at sharing it. Nah, nah I'm just gonna take this. Okay, I might have done that wrong. Yeah, I might have done that wrong. I had Gwinces available, it might have been better. Uh, random two star Shen. Our wills align. If I can play this Aatrox at 5, it's really good. But yeah, I, the reason why I did what I did was because I was like, oh, I want two damage items. So then I was like, okay, well then Hurricane has to be one of them. I guess Giant Slayer could have been one of them. It could have been like Giant Slayer and a tank item, but having two items on a carry is way better. Also, this gives me a lot of direction. It makes the rest of the game pretty easy to play around. Now that I have uh, Hurricane GS, I'm pretty sure it's just like Irelia always as the end game. Jax offers you a weapon. Um, okay. I feel like support is in general so much better. I guess Cleaver is fine. Come on, start. It's not big gem. I guess Cleaver. The problem with Cleaver is that it doesn't do anything. Um, it doesn't do anything once you uh, get Aurelia, but uh, until then, it's really good. Oh fuck. This guy is so strong. All I can do is hope that my two-star Shen clutches this, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, any chance? No. Damn it. That actually sucks. I was thinking about leveling, but I was like, surely my board wins with a two-star Aatrox. Hello, Gloop Jack. Thanks for the 18 months. Oh, man. Okay, I probably should have scouted. I spent so long thinking about the Cleaver decision. If I saw that matchup, I... Oh, someone didn't connect. Let's start getting tank items. Wait, Bard on Carousel the Bow and nobody wants this? I can't... I can't take it. It's, like, so useless for me. I already have three items on my server, but like Bard on Carousel of the Bow is crazy. I can't believe that was available. I will not falter. Um. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to level. It feels pretty bad. of the past. It feels pretty bad because like, I just lost my streak. I know I could easily fight streak now.
Box Box, I just used Story Weaver and Dragon Lord and wiped out all the Bard abusers. Congratulations, you abused the second best comp in the game to beat the first best comp in the game. How does it feel to be a Story Weaver abuser? I could make 20, but I feel like selling the Zyra pair is really bad. Wait, I just realized. Cleaver gives you your whole team 8% AD and AP. Wait, wait, am I tripping? Isn't that like pretty good? It's like nothing. Oh, I mean, I didn't even know it existed. I previously took it just to shred. So like, I'm more than happy to like receive an additional 8% damage on top of that. Okay, I mean, this board's pretty solid. Dude, sharing is caring. 40 gold, Gwinsu's bard. Holy crap, okay. Oh god, there's two share Dude, there's two sharing is carrying, and I didn't face either of them. That's so sad. I really hate sharing is caring. Well, I just hate that it's really broken. If it were, like, balanced, I'd be fine with it, but they just, like, made the numbers way too high. Now we must all suffer. Morello's looks good. I don't think I can afford to level here. How do you even balance sharing is carrying? I mean, it, it was, in my opinion, fine at one. In fact, at one gold, it was still above average. Two gold is just absurd. It's literally like the value of two silver augments put together. Come on, Silver One, you can do it. Not little buddies. Not LDP. Uh, it could be you have my sword. Um, I want to send my gunblade. I'm just gonna do it. I'll just put it on bards. Not the greatest, but whatever. And then Aatrox can get my temporary tank. I'll belt him. This is necessary. Man, my carry's a silver one. This feels really bad. I got quite lucky with my my hits though. Like besides the silver one, I have a lot of two stars. Hello, Blue Thunder Boy. Thanks to the Prime. He's level seven. He's level seven. Thirty gold. He's literally thirty gold richer than me. What the fuck? How is this sharing is carrying okay? I go where the trouble is. Okay. I can't play this Lily, unfortunately, because I've specced into the AD path.
Oh wait, I should have put my server next to Bard. I'm playing like regular Bard, non Gwinsus. Oh god, dude, I'm always so jealous of people who force Storyweaver, but then can also hit Galio. Like Storyweaver is already the best build in the game, and then if you hit the four cost Storyweaver, you just win. It's so frustrating. Okay, uh, I have a belt. Let's start building tank items. Didn't we learn yesterday that team was better than Bard? Uh, okay. I, I'm going to try to explain this without ca sounding condescending, but it's going to sound condescending almost no matter what. We also learned that you should evaluate the context. And just because in general Teemo is better than Bard right now, it does not mean Teemo is always better than Bard. In this particular instance, I have you have my sword and I have AD items. Teemo scales off of AP. Uh, therefore, I should use Bard, the guy who is a hybrid carry and does scale off of AD. I hope you found that explanation sufficient. That's the way I was supposed to position. Can this be a Kaisa Irelia game? I don't know about Kaisa, but if I can make it to Irelia and just slap all three of these bard items on her, I'm in a good spot, but that's really hard. I'd have to like high roll it at eight. I don't think I can go nine. I'm pretty sure this is like a pretty bad game. Two players won the game already by hitting sharing is carrying. So I'm playing for a third at best and I didn't streak. So I'm pretty sure I'm playing for a fourth at best. Like that early game was really fucked. Uh, if I had won that round, I would at least feel safe in getting a top four. But yeah, I will just play for a fourth. I'll just like preserve HP, roll for a good board at eight and then uh, probably die. Die slowly. What is sharing is carrying? It's the silver, I can probably find it. Uh, it's the Silver Augment. Combat start, you gain two gold and your opponent gains one gold. It is beyond broken by far. Like, this guy is rolling at seven with 50 gold. I'm level, I, I haven't rolled once, and I'm level six, 60 gold. He is, like, over 30 gold ahead of the rest of the lobby because he was able to build two, like, two gold per round, which also snowballs into more econ. You hit 50 much faster. And, like, the quote-unquote downside, the drawback, is that you have to give your opponent one gold. But, like, that's nothing, right? Like, I've gained two gold so far, from 10 rounds of there being two sharing as carrying players. I've gained two gold. Everyone else probably gained between three and four gold. And uh, like the, the two sharing as carrying players both got 20 gold. Which remember, it's not just 20 gold, it's snowballs. You reach econ thresholds faster. It's ridiculously broken and I can't wait for it to get nerfed. And I hate silver augment starts because it's just everyone rerolls for sharing as carrying to instantly win. That was the wrong unit. Okay, whatever. Oh yeah, if they fight each other, they each get three gold. I find them unworthy. Spirit, Ash? Our way. Could this be an Ash game? These could be Ash items. That's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, it's a bit of a stretch. Kind of weak Ash items. No, I, I think these items work well on Ash. The problem is Ash is not a good unit right now, and I don't, I don't have the setup for it. I've had games where I had the setup for Ash and the items, and like even then it's still very mediocre. I think I need to play around these like two stars that I have right now. My two star frontline. 
All right, well, either way, I'm just playing for a fourth, so let's roll down now and try to set up a good board. If I randomly hit a Kale, wait, sorry, not a Kale, a Lee Sin, uh, Irelia, Rakant, like some combination of legendaries, like all the legendaries are really good. Uh, I'm in a great spot. Lucky Gloves. No, not here. <laughs> okay, I'm down, I'm down. Let's do it. what I get? Oh, 66 gold? Wait. Um... I'm gonna go 9. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna sack 2, go 9. That's actually a really good reward. Yeah, I'm gonna sack 2, go 9. Wow, that's actually really good. Because I remember there used to be an augment called Windfall++, plus plus, which was the prismatic gain gold right now, and it was 45 gold. So, like, this is, like, way better than that. All right, I'm gonna sell this. Okay, then I'm just gonna, like, set up for my god tier board. So, Irelia, Lee Sin, Rakan. Uh, and you, like, peel off of the Story Weavers. Uh, Udyr. Wukong, Set, Diana, Soraka. Am I missing someone? What about Janna? No, Janna goes in at 10 just as like a flex unit. Oh, that's perfect! Holy shit! That's perfect! Okay, next round, I'll just get so much value. Wait, I might actually like win the game if I get a good enough roll down here. Sack one more. Are we mathing out this set's legendary lasagna? No, we already know what it is, but the one that I've learned is uh, an AP one with Hui and Azir. But I have AD items this time, so it's Irelia. Um, trying to figure out what synergies I can play around. Nautilus. Yeah, you, you like get rid of Story Weaver completely. Soraka. Hmm. He's trying to pick up an Annie. Annie and Cho'Gath. For Exalted. Okay, what item do I want here? Uh, basically anything. Maybe an offensive component, maybe a TG. Yeah, probably TG. Uh, I'm probably gonna have like a random two star legendary I can put it on. Oh, was Nara exalted? Oh, he is. Yeah, he is exalted. Okay. Nara's actually pretty good here. Alright. Alright. Everyone be quiet. I gotta focus. I'm not very good at these endgame rolldowns, but I have to do it right now. I have to. Necessary. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Stick to the plan. We have a plan? I never left. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. I didn't put my Zaya on the front to make a Rakan. Okay, but I, I, I cleanse off all the bad units. Fuck. I think I have one more one more round of yeah, one more round of one gold rerolls. So I have to roll down to zero here. Alright. At least I have two lives, but I was a little bit slow there. Let's 
Need like a gnar. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Crap, I don't know who to put this temporary item on. Oh, Soraka's exalted? Okay. Okay, so how do I fit in Exalted here? Boom. And then I believe it's actually this. Wow, the synergies. What the fuck? I did it. I assembled the Lake and Pivot. Okay, I still need to roll. Hit a two star something. Um No, I can't play Diana right now. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. There's no space for her. I got owned. Oh no. Dude, I did such a cool pivot, I'm still gonna die. I rolled so many times, I didn't hit an Irelia. Oh, sorry, I didn't hit another Irelia. The last time I ate a plant was never. Shit. All right, honestly, I should just BT Rakan. Okay, I mean, either I win this round by the Aurelia or I'm dead. Fuck! Dude, I did such a cool- Ah, uh, I feel like I played this so well. I got such a cool pivot. And built such a good endgame board built around the Exalted. Like, a great endgame flex board around the Exalted. I even got the one re one gold per reroll encounter. I just, like, didn't hit anyway. Despite having so much money. I'm just dead? Still 7th place after all that? What a perfect setup. Yeah, it was so elegant and it lost to something so boring. I just lost the guys who forced builds that were well known to be good. The guys who on 2 1 locked in their game plan no matter what, no scout, no pivot. God, I'm so sad. Why Exalted? Exalted is designed to be hard to fit in, but if you can fit it in, it's a lot stronger than just putting in the best units normally. It is designed that, like, the Exalted units are awkward and don't fit well together, and you have to, like, really think about how to play it. So I really thought about how to play it and how to fit in the Gnar, the Soraka, and the Annie. I found a board that like works, playing around most of their synergies. The only unit who didn't have synergies was Annie, and she's still like, a good four cost two star as a frontliner. Isn't it only good if you can get it for the early EXP grind? No, it's really good late game. It, it, it's like the best trait late game. It gives you like a flat 15% bonus damage, which is the power of know your enemy if you share a trait with your opponent. It's like the power of a gold augment. So like, think about it. Would you rather have 
like an itemless Nautilus, which is like, you know, he's a good unit. He gives a good stun. Okay, itemless Nautilus. Or would you rather have a Gnar, who is a weaker unit in that game, but he gives your whole team a gold augment, right? That's like the interesting trade-off. So it's like, if you think hard about how to include the Exalted, you're rewarded. So I went nine with a lot of money. I sacked the correct amount of rounds to have a shit ton of gold to roll. I rolled while it was one gold. I did my pivot pretty fast. I just didn't hit. Like, I think I rolled like 60 times. I had like, I was like level 950 gold, rolled with all one gold rerolls, and then I kept donkey rolling afterwards, and I only saw two Irelias, two sets, two Udyrs. Like, oh, okay, well, I just lose. I didn't hit a single two-star legendary besides Rakan, who is honestly not that useful there. He was not my carry. Very frustrating. Incredibly frustrating game. I feel like I did everything right, and I was just like, well, you didn't hit. So you lose. And what's crazy is, like, I wasn't even forcing a specific thing. There was so many... Udyr 2 wins me that. Set 2. Irelia 2. I had, I had three different ways to win that game. And I got... I hit pairs of all of them. Like, if instead of hitting a pair of all three of them, I had just hit one two-star, I already win. Stop thinking outside of the box and force the spreadsheet comps. That is so boring. I'm down to force the spreadsheet comps once in a while. But like, if given an opportunity to be creative, I would rather be creative. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Sun Kindled. I'm sorry I missed your sub. As an apology, you can have a consonant of your choice. Hello Zicho. Hello Nakishi. Welcome. Get in touch with your spiritual side. I might open this now and see what to play around. If I have a hard choice coming up, I might open this anvil. There are no hard choices. Watch this. Actually, there there is. I'm gonna open this now. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Anima Visage here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Anima Visage. Let me just wait and confirm what my next item is. Now I'm just gonna take it. This world needs hope. Ah, uh, classic story weavers. Burdens of the past. Uh, please give me a tank item. Call to adventure.
I think it's buried treasures. I don't really like this call to adventure. Every two takedowns, Kale permanently gains. Wait, let me let, let me look it up. Uh, call to adventure, average placement four point eight. Duelist crit. No, I'm pretty sure it's buried treasures. Actually. Jax too. Four pairs. Fuck. This is necessary. Okay, let me hit a two star anything and then just like slap all my items on him. Also, I'm pretty sure I have to slam a Shojin here because I'm always going for War Monks next. Oh, fuck. I just realized. Okay. I just realized that I'm like. All, uh, all magic damage or all magic resist. But I'm pretty close to creating like an unkillable tank. A two-star Kabuki would probably be it, or Jax. Come on, give me one upgrade next round. One upgrade, please. Really? Damn, okay. Well, fuck me, I guess. Okay, well, pretty sure I can spike after this round. I'll slap a Shojin Teemo. Yeah, I'll slap a Shojin Teemo. Like, surely I hit one upgrade, right? I'm sitting on four pairs of one cost. Like, there's no way I don't at least hit one thing. Right? Any spats? Otherwise belt? Okay, three gold belt. Okay, well, I should have an unkillable tank. Whatever unit I hit an upgrade of, that's my tank. I probably should have, should have held, <clears throat> held that kindred pair. Yeah, whatever unit I hit, I'm, I'm upgrading it, and that's my tank. Slap all three items. None? Again? How is this possible? <laughs> I don't get it. And I have to, I can't make econ again, because I, I have to hold all these options again, waiting to see who my tank is going to be. No, fuck that. I... I will just make 20, and I'll just be really upset. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, we definitely just lose this game. Like, if you hit nothing, at least you econ. 
I hit pairs, 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 which griefed my econ. But it's like, you're trolling if you don't at least wait one more shop, right? Wait one more shop. You're, the odds of hitting up one of these pairs is so high. Like, at this point, like, almost any one cost gets you an upgrade. And I managed to go three shops with pairs without upgrading. We'll just lose. It's fine. I'll just try to salvage, like, a sixth. Watch me now hit a Kabuki after selling him. How many store weavers? One, two, three. Okay, so half the lobby is playing store weavers. Hopefully they're playing AP. None again! It doesn't make any sense. Go Aatrox? No, I don't have Econ. I cannot afford him. I've already healed up 3,000 HP. That's pretty good. Getting a second Declaw would actually accelerate my... Because uh... you can get four components. A second Declaw is actually pretty good here. Does the Declaw augment work off of all healing? No, it's only uh, Dragon's Claw healing. Every time you heal with Dragon Claw. Yeah, so I have to like get a second Declaw and start healing ASAP. Hopefully most of the lobby is AP. Oh wait. I'm pretty sure that it works on this round. Does it? Three, seven, two, two. Yeah, it does, it does. Okay, so I can actually like prolong this fight with this awkward positioning. Oh, maybe I could have prolonged it even harder and gotten more healing. Okay, surely I hit an upgrade now. I did! Oh. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say no to an upgrade. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking at here? I like the Bramble, honestly. Um, I have a few choices here. Definitely down to play around this early Morgana. I've been told Trojan's really bad. Oh, probably Cyberbulk. Burdens of the past. Uh, the fact that I still haven't hit, like, something is crazy. Still playing a Jax 1 carry. Why is Shojin bad? Uh, it's just the worst of the mana generation items. Okay, I think Archangels make sense here. I was thinking about, like, I've been told Bramble's really bad in general. 
But like, I feel like it makes sense to slum at Bramble because I also have a decal. Kind of like a nice offset. I guess I could scout and uh, see how many AD players there are. If there's like more than three or more than two, I'd probably uh, slum at Bramble here. Alright, surely I hit a Riven Garen Jax shop finally. For as my reward for being so patient. None! Not even a Zyra for Sage. I'm Zoe. What's your name? Alright, Scout. AP. Uh A D. AP. 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 A D. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna slam the Bramble. Dude, this is actually disgusting. Like, how long can I go without hitting an upgrade? Sorry, server. How long can I go without hitting a meaningful upgrade? This actually feels so bad. I like can't proc my Dragon Claw because I can't hit a two-star unit. I can't even hit like the correct unit for, uh, to link to my my board. Why is Shojin bad? It's just the stats on Arlo, is what I've been told. Multiple challenger players have told me adaptive is better. I uh, blue buff is good for low mana, and then Shojin's like a hey, if you have to. The stats are really bad for it, but you can just take it. All right, maybe I get a spat here, and everything becomes Daijobu. Oh, Galio on Carousel! Please let me get this Galio. I will cry. Goodbye, world. That was like the perfect unit to put all my items on, man. I don't know how one man can miss so hard in one game. So many pairs, no econ, no two stars. All right, well, I'm pretty sure I'm like forced to go seven here. I, I will be dead otherwise. I basically have to go seven and like try something. Well, no, I, I also lose if I go seven. All right, fuck it. Go seven, roll once, hit something, or die. I can't afford to roll much more. Oh, yay! Items, units. Yay, I finally have someone to put my items on. Now I can generate components. Man, not slamming the Shojin is really costing me a lot of HP. Another chain? I somehow randomly put in Exalted. I guess we're flexing it up again. Oh, wait. Oh my god, I'm getting so much regen from this. Oh, that's actually huge. So much regen.
I herald the greatest blessing. Oh wait, I, I should actually bench my Morgana for this round so I can try to heal more. All right, well, it's not looking good, but maybe something can happen. I really need a cloak here just for adaptive helm. Otherwise, I really do have to slam a Shoujin that I've held onto the entire game. Like, it's so bad. If you look at the deltas on all the units, Shoujin always has a massive positive delta. Good job, everyone. Come, let me show you darkness. Um... I think I, I have to make a Shojin. Yeah, I, I have to. It's taking way too long to hit a cloak. Okay, honestly, kind of cool flex board. Like, I was definitely not hitting the Star Weavers. This Morgana should be decent. This Kane's not really it. Come on, Morgana, ult the back line. Oh, nice. Huge Morgana ult on the back line. Oh, and Riven's healing. Holy shit, Riven's still alive. What a beast. Mm. Not a oh, actually, Little Buddies is kind of good because of Exalted. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not that great. Uh, I feel like Know Your Enemy is fine here. Oh, Magic Wand is also fine. All right, Albert, this is where you hit a random legendary. Watch this. Uh, okay, so let, let's think about this. Think about this. So Kane is exalted, so I actually do need to play him. And he fits with Morgana. Jax is also exalted, so I need to play him. And then who is my other exalted? Oh, Thresh? Okay. I need to remember to not sell those. Alright, well, I'm just here to try to preserve, like, a, a sixth place, because this game was fucked from the beginning. Find a creative way to add more damage here. Is Exalted worth holding a one cost for? If it fits in your board, yes. This one's got fire. Combat Blessing? Okay. Uh, probably just units gain AP. Whoa! I never rest. Wait. I never rest. Whoa! Wait. You have now reached 100 flush today. We are made by our choices. Wait, suddenly I see a path. I no longer need Kane. Maybe I can replace with Kench. Oh, wait, actually, no. Wait, I I know what it is. I know. I I know what to do. I need to sell my my Sage or my Morgana. It's still too ghostly, and then put it all on Azir and Lissandra. I can actually print like infinity. 
Oh my god, yeah. Every single time, man. Every single time. Every single time it's always stolen by the guy who I'm, I'm sharing a turn with. Okay, calm down, Albert. You got this. First, you need to hit a miracle. Uh, Come closer. An invoker? Okay, this will do. All right. Lissandra, I'm counting on you to print. She just ran in and died. What? What? Do you want to swap Jax out? Uh, Jax is exalted. So the only swap you can make here is... Uh, Putting in Kench. I'm coming for you. But like, that's not even better, right? It just doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna move Lissandra further back. Maybe a uh, fourth warden over Warren. Like, you don't really need Dryad Behemoth. Yeah, this is very interesting. Can my Lissandra print? If I'm really lucky, I hit a Lissandra too, and like I actually like could spike really hard. Because my Lissandra does a fuck ton of damage right now. She can print me a lot of items and I get max cyber value. But it's a bit greedy. I, I could have put the items on Azir for guaranteed stable damage, but I put it on Lissandra because I have a pair and like maybe I can print items. But as you see here, like the Lissandra does die. It's pretty greedy. Is this set hard to learn in the last set? I think so. There are a lot of people who are like challenger in last set who are like hard suck platinum right now. I got a lot of decal value. This is freedom. Did she farm one gold? Yeah, when she gets a kill, or I guess when they die in the middle of her ability, she has a 50% chance of printing an orb, and the orb can be gold or items. Why is this set harder? Uh, that's a good question. I asked Asa why, and he said he felt like it was because the way the units link together is not similar to set 10. Kind of a complicated answer, but hopefully that helps. He said like it's not similar to set 10 and how they link together, so... Uh, take that with, with what you will. I uh, I could do TG Nautilus, or I could do JG Azir. Pretty sure I need damage. Okay, yeah, Amumu looks good here. Four Warden and Porcelain. That actually helped my Lissandra quite a bit. So I can sell this Orn soon. Oh, this Orn's kinda nice. He gives Dryad and Behemoth, and he's just a good unit. So maybe it's just level nine, Amumu. Okay, my Lissandra keeps on dying. What should I do about that? I'm losing so much damage because she dies too fast. Holy wild Raichu, welcome. I barely can't level up here. Yeah, 
Okay, maybe I actually give her tank items. She hasn't printed me a single item. And she always dies before her second cast. Oh, I print, print. No, oh, lost the 50 50. Oh, God. All right, Albert, you get one more try. Come on, for fifth place. Hit something crazy here. Come on. I'm not asking for a lot, just hit. Uh, I, I don't even feel like this cane will do anything. No, he's not gonna do anything. Shuffle the items around a bit. Maybe Lissandra can survive now. Is this the end? My units are surviving a little bit better now. Maybe it's not the end? Maybe it's not the end? Oh, it's the end. Man! Once again, such a cool build. Just to die anyway. Alright, yay, sixth. I'm like very proud of how I played that too. Like, I think we did an insane job finding a pivot out. We were like, we really did not hit the, any of the store weavers. So we found a really cool win con by playing around this Morgana into Ghostly Kane, into Exalted, into the early Lissandra and Azir combo. And it's just like, nah, you lose because you can't get one cloak. Here's two item anvils, 75% chance of getting a cloak. No cloak. Okay, I guess we'll slam the worst mana item in the game, the Shojin, and then we'll just be weaker than everybody. Then we'll hit zero upgrades and five pairs again. I hit five pairs, zero upgrades at the beginning of the game, and then I had five pairs, zero upgrades at the end of the game too. It's so frustrating. We played that game so creatively. Like we played the game the way Mortdog wanted TFT to be played. We didn't use a spreadsheet. We didn't force anything. We saw what the game gave us, and then we found a way to play around it. We just didn't hit any of our upgrades. We lost once again to people who had a spreadsheet open, forced an exact build, and just like regurgitated things that top level players have already found to be good. It is so frustrating. Is Shojin the worst mana item in the game? It's worse than Adaptive. Adaptive is the best mana item in the game. We found that out yesterday from uh, two challenger players. And like the moment I swapped, I saw it. I was like, wait, holy crap. My unit is not only casting more, but Adaptive Helm gives you like 40 AP and Shojin gives you like 15. Shojin's only good on, like, three units. It's good on, like, Kai'Sa, because she benefits from the AD, and uh, she has a multiple of 15 as her mana cost. It's good on, like, Huey, if you have a lot of attack speed, and, like, maybe Azir. But, like, on everybody else, you'd rather have Adaptive, or you'd rather have Blue Buff, depending on your mana cost. It's also crazy because you can flex it. Uh, if you randomly don't need the mana, you can just put on a frontliner. Okay, this has been happening every single game. Do you want a spreadsheet for TFT? Oh, I, I mean, I have one. I just don't like using it. I think the game is way more fun when you're doing it the way we do it here, where you like solve out what your best play is based on what you get. The, the, the style of gameplay in TFT where you just, like, lock in your build in the team planner, like, make no pivots, and only just think of everything from the perspective of the one build you're already going to force. Like, it's like, oh, I want to play Bard, the best unit in the game. I'm only going to slam items unless if it's a Bard best in slot. I'm only going to take augments, assuming, under the assumption that I play Bard. So, like, there's no, like, oh, well, I didn't hit. What other options do I have? No, it's just I'm going to force it, and then either I hit or I don't. Which, don't get me wrong... If you like playing TFT that way, that is totally fine. 
I just don't think that that should be the best way to play TFT. And it definitely feels like it is right now, and that's making me really upset. I mean, like, my sample size is two, right? Like, I, I low roll two games and I roll playing flex. It happens. I'm just frustrated in the moment. I want to make that clear. All right, I'm going to play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Kelly and Vienne. Welcome. Champion conference. What's the over under on Box Box surviving the night? It's 50 50. Either it happens or it doesn't. I can guarantee a Riven. If I hit one more Story Weaver, I can guarantee it. Morellos is good. I don't, I don't think I can guarantee it, because I need to hit two bruisers. Uh, yeah, I, I need to hit two bruisers to guarantee it. A dupe? Wait, a dupe? What? Oh my god, please give me sharing is caring. Please give me sharing is caring. Sharing is... Caring! Sharing is caring! All right, team building. Oh man. Okay, wait. I've I'm gonna have four dupes this game. I can force like whatever I want. Uh, which basically means like Bard three, right? Or maybe Teemo three. Yeah, I, I could basically force Teemo 3 here, or Bard 3. Today I'll be the dirty abuser. I'll just like lose streak for a while, wait to get my next dupe. This is so unusual. Have you ever started with three dupes? Okay, uh, let me go and find what the Teemo reroll build is. I'm gonna be a spreadsheet Andy this game. Yeah, I'm gonna be a spreadsheet Andy. I'm going to be exactly the person I complained about. I read off of a spreadsheet, find the optimal build. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be barred.
Yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Bard, which means sell, sell, sell. Get a bow on Carousel. Bard three, Tom three. Okay. Also, what's nice is you can I can guarantee one Bard. Uh, oh fuck, I need a Teemo for it, but next round I can guarantee a Bard. Uh, because of Champion Conference. Okay, so. Uh, what do we have here? We have Sivir, we have Riven, Malphite, Nico, uh, Kench, Bard, Soraka, and Zoe. I personally don't like this variation of the build. I feel like with Bard, you just want frontline. So I like to run the four bruiser variation where you just do this. I'm pretty sure you can usually hit one star Galio, one star Salas at seven. Go get him, Sivir. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy. Bard slash Stefan. I'm exactly the kind of guy that I hate. I want my LP. I am going to go abuse the OP shit. How does Econ work on first notch rounds? It does work. It just doesn't it doesn't really look visible and it doesn't really feel like it works because Econ on the first couple rounds for everybody across the board is lower. So like if you have 10 gold on the first creep round, you actually do get the plus one gold. It just doesn't feel like it because the natural amount of gold you get there is really low. Alright, Bard on Carousel with a bow. No Bard on Carousel, but there is a 3 gold. And please don't take this away from me. Dang it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have called Bard so early. Because I'm pretty sure this guy took it from me just to deny it. He has Pandora's, and he doesn't actually need a bow. I'm pretty sure he did it literally just to grief, because he doesn't care what item he gets. Wouldn't you have though? I mean, what I'm saying is I shouldn't have announced Bard until after the carousel. I I didn't consider the option of someone being willing to give up their carousel pick to grief me. But now that I see that he, wait, wait, he actually did slam it. Is he going Gwinsu's Bard, seeing me with three duplicators? Because Kogma with Gwinsu's doesn't make any sense. If you're playing Kogma, you would you would go for a blue buff. He might actually be forcing Bard, which is ridiculous because, like, again, I hate this part of the game, but, like, I clearly have the advantageous spot for Bard. If he dares contest me, at best, he's going seventh because I will, like, dupe the shit out of the Bard. And, oh, thanks, Set. I will dupe my Bard so many times that there's no way he can hit. So, like, him doing this is just choosing to go seventh. Like, I'm going to go eighth, and he's going to go seventh. He, he has time to pivot off and play something else. I'm like basically locked in. I mean, I guess I could play another reroll build, but why would I when I have three duplicators? You might as well play the best build. Okay, I can guarantee a bard by doing this. Oh my god, he hit a bard. Wait, another guy hit bard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Alright. Well, I cannot pivot no matter what. Like, I'm not in a spot to do it. So, I'm gonna just force Bard, and we're gonna hold hands 6, 7, and 8. I, I don't think anything can be done about that. They, they need to pivot off, or we all die. I'm putting the, the ball in their court. Okay, so what I need to do here... Well, first I need to pass the round. Watch this. 
But I need to make sure... Fuck. Wait. I'm gonna get a 3 cost trick shot or exalted. Oh, okay, there is no 3 cost uh, exalted. Thank, thank, thank God. Okay, I'm like guaranteed a bard. Pray for a bow. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, I need to reforge a component. Probably tier. Pray for a sword or a bow. He's got a bard 2 already? What the fuck? He's level 650 gold bard 2. That means he like natural 2 bards and then dupes a bard. What the fuck? Uh oh. Pretty sure I need to take raining gold, and then this is so degenerate. Yes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a shit ton here. Try to hit my units ASAP. I just have to hit a few copies of them. Forge the tier. Bow or sword, please. I hit zero bards. I literally just need to hit like two bards? Three bards. I hit three bards and then I, I have it locked in. If only Soraka threw were actually good. But yeah, okay, I need to roll. And hit something. Every river ends in me. I just realized I have zero ribbons. One bard. Three bards. Four bards. Five, six. There's only six bards out of the pool right now. I, I think I could actually still hit it. I'm pretty sure you need to donk girl every single round though. Because uh, if you wait and econ up, the bards are all going to be gone from the pool. Like, this is pretty fucked. But again, I don't have a choice. With my setup, I had to. It, it sucks that I'm being contested. But also, like, I almost don't blame them. I'm basically coming in saying, hi guys, I would like to play the best build in the game. Everybody please back off and let me hit and win, is what I'm saying. So like, I don't blame them for this. Whether or not I win or lose is going to come down to if I can hit against odds. I will donkey roll, that's why I took raining gold. I have four duplicators. Right, so I'm basically got six bards right now. Uh, I, need, I need a bow and a bow. There's four giant slayers. But yeah, I have to use my dupes at the end because there's so many uh, bards or there'll be so many bards out of the pool. That's when the four dupes are most useful. All right, come on, Albert. Hit one bard. You can do it. 
Nice. Burdens of the past. Who are my story weavers in this build? Oh, it's Sivir, Riven, Galio. I don't think I'm gonna take the Zoe. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Sunfire Slam. I'd rather wait for like Warmog's Gargoyle to make an unkillable Kench. Okay, now I'm down to Econ up a little bit and then roll during like the creep round. No prison can hold me. Yeah. This guy's got one bard. Four bards. This guy's holding one bard to grief it. Honestly, I don't blame him. Three players are playing bard. So, one, four, one, and then three. One, four, one, three. Nine bards are out of the pool. Honestly, that's actually still hittable. That means there are eight bards left in the pool. Wait, that guy had a had six bards? Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, you're right, he does have six bards. What, how the fuck do you have six bards? How do you natural that? Okay, well, I have to hit two bards for my spot. Or two Kenches. Honestly, three-star Kench, two-star bard might be good enough. Okay, I'm actually I'm gonna roll here because I'm sure that right after the creep round's over they're gonna roll. I'd rather lose like two gold of econ and roll while they're still all in the pool. Come on, come on, Albert. You just hit two bards, man. Zero bards. That like Kevin guy is fucked. Yeah, but if I wait for him to die, I'll be dead too. Well, that was satisfying. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. Alright, come on, Albert. It's just two bards. I held the greatest blessing. Oh, I forgot to tailor. Dude. Violence to end violence. Oh man, this is actually so tragic. My items are pretty horrible as well. Looks like I still have to slam a Sunfire Cape. Well, let me wait like one more round. I, I have a fucking Death Blade, man. While playing Bard. And I'm beyond contested. I rolled down like 80 gold at 7, thanks to raining gold, and I I hit 0 bards. Well, sorry, I hit 2. I shouldn't say 0. That played Sivert, that's horrible, that, just, that deals 0 damage. I will just die, like, this is just how... This is like why I don't like reroll builds. I absolutely had to do it here, but like, I'm pretty frustrated. Yeah, I have four duplicators, and I can't even use them. Like, I, I don't even think I made any mistakes. Like, I, I played my strongest angle. Everybody else is in a spot where if they contest me, they're fucked. And they contested me anyway. So now we all die. I don't think there was anything I could have done about that. I also got fucked on items. It, it was so easy for me to hit. I have four duplicators. I have four and raining gold. It, it should be so easy to get like something, like maybe just one Kench and I just like, at least get three star Kench. Use your dupes to fuck him harder. No, I, until like I'm dead, I should at least try for the bard three, which would mean not using your, my dupes. It's, it's so frustrating though. Like, again, I don't want to play bard. I want to win. So I'll play whatever angle I get. 
And in this game, I'm forced to play Bard because of what the game gave me. I'm throwing the game if I don't try to take advantage of four duplicators. I just failed to hit, so I die. Yay! I mean, honestly, this might be decent, right? Final Ascension. And then I'll buy this Silas next round. Like, this might actually be good enough for a sixth, which is crazy. I have to complete an item on this Kench, so I think I'm, I'm gonna do BT. I need to kill off a sword. Deathblade Bard. I mean, honestly, I could. Double Green is so much better, though, but. Bard does have an 80 ratio. Get a GS. No, I I have to build a third item on my Kench. It's it's throwing the game to not do it. I have final ascension. Bard two, bard three, it's like honestly it's fine. Like as long as my bard lives, he'll kill everything. Uh the reason why I died there is because my Kench couldn't hold. And like these are obviously not the ideal items, but like, you know, what can you do? We were forced to play Bard at Kench. I'm making the most of it. I'm slamming it. These are like the saddest set of items that you could ever get on this Kench. Like, for trying to get best in slot Kench, it is so pathetic that I had to settle for this. Again, like, what can you do? Sometimes you just don't hit. I'm pretty frustrated. I don't think we made any real mistakes this game. The game gave us the best possible angle. We put ourselves in a situation where, like, if anybody dares contest us, they just die. Like, everybody who contested Bard is, like, guaranteeing their own top uh, bot four. But they did it anyway. Four players. So... What can you do? Couldn't you have slammed Deathblade? Yes. Did you not hear me earlier? I could have slammed Deathblade. It's bad. If I want to like do anything better than 7th place, I need to greed for the Gwinsus. Although I might just be dead here. Yeah. That's actually pathetic. But yeah, if you slam Deathblade, you can place 7th at best. I'm incredibly upset. I hate playing contested builds, and this is exactly why. I just low-rolled the fuck out of it. Like, I, I think I rolled over 90 gold at 7, and I only have to hit 3 bards. I only have to hit 3 bards, and most of my rolling was done when it wasn't contested. Like, it was, most of my rolling was done when I knew they were going to contest me, but they haven't rolled down yet. That was the most likely time for me to just sneak in three bards, quadra duplicate it, and then win the game. But nope, 90 gold of rolling, and we hit one bard. Like, I get it. It happens sometimes. A guy natural six bards. It happens. But holy shit, are the odds of that low? We made all the right choices, and it didn't matter. He actually natural six bards. He had six bards, level 650 gold on stage three. He saw me, he saw me hold four duplicators and a bard, and then say, me bard, slash Stefan, and was like, yeah, I'm just gonna contest him anyway. And like, normally you're a psychopath, because the moment I hit nine bards, you literally cannot hit your bard. Or sorry, the moment I hit five bards, you are completely locked out of bard for the rest of the game. Because there are only 17 bards in the game. There are only 17 bards in the game, so if I have nine, you can only get eight, unless you have a dupe. So like, he's a psycho. Because he's basically saying, I can hit nine bards before you can hit five. And he knows I'm going to roll for it at seven. And, like, 
it worked out this time. It's one of those like he made the wrong choices this time, but it worked out. He's gonna be rewarded and think that every time you should do it now. Which I mean, that doesn't matter to me. I'm just pissed that I went eighth this game instead of first. Yeah, it's one of those things that would never happen in a high elo lobby. Because no challenger player who wants to win is ever going to be like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and contest this guy who has a massive advantage on the build. Like, the only way I can lose there is if I'm in a lobby with psychopaths. And I was! I was in a lobby with psychopaths! Four players contested me after seeing my four dupes in a bard! I'm so upset! Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna stop complaining. When I watch streamers and all they do is complain, I immediately close the stream. So I'll stop complaining, I'm gonna move on. Sorry for the complaining. I'm going to go play some good TFT and hopefully I won't get fucked. I'll play the ad break, I'll see you guys in a bit. Typhits, thanks for the prime.
Thanks, Bard. Yeah, even after last game. <laughs> Our wills align. Okay, I need to remember to not pump EXP. I always accidentally pump on the bard portal. I don't like my items. Storied champion. No, thank you. I would take the Shen one. Built different. Uh oh, I like rain gold a lot. Wait, duelist crest? I I really like duelists. Target marked. Oh my god! I almost bought EXP again. Holy shit! Duelist Shen, Den. Duelist, Shen, Den. All right, I'm a big fan of Duelist. It's like the one reroll build that's never contested, but it's still pretty good if you hit. Okay, and I also have Yorick. Pretty high roll opening. If I want to stay alive in this boot camp, I think I have to average like a three for the rest of the night. Would I ever level right now? It would require selling two Yorks. But it would like guarantee me a streak. I mean, part of me wants to say like, aren't I almost guaranteed a streak no matter what here? I think I'll wait. Pretty sure I'm streaking anyway. Okay. So Duelist Rule is actually really easy. Uh, I always like the attack speed traits in every set. So you just go all Duelists. And then you throw in Nico, early game, Diana, mid game, and then late game if you make it, Wukong or Rakan. The Diana only makes sense once you get a least in though. Also, duelists get a very big spike. They get a very, very, very big spike at um at six. Because they all become 12% tankier, which is huge. What about duelist Yone? Uh it's probably okay, but I'm never selling this two-star Shen, especially knowing that my next in is this, and I get Behemoth and Umbral, like, there's no way I'm selling this Shen. What is the 8 Duelist buff? Uh, you get more damage reduction. Oh yeah, my level 8 is always going to be 8 Duelist. And then Duelist Chris on, like, Diana or Nico, or uh, Rakan, or Wukong, whoever I hit. Oh yeah, but I need to average like a three for the rest of the game. Do I want a pre-level? No, I think I make Econ. I need a lot of money to roll for this three-star Volibear. Honestly, 
Maybe I'll just become a, a duelist one trick. I was a challenger one trick in, um, I think it was set nine. I, I played Callista every game, who was like a three cost challenger. And I had so much fun. This is basically the same thing. It's just an attack speed trait. Adds a completed item to each carousel. Uh, oh shit, this is a pretty high impact carousel. What do I want here? That Tristana is pretty nice. Um, Hurricane's also good. BT is good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm taking this one. Because it makes Warmogs and it makes Hurricane. Like, yeah, it sucks to miss out on a Tristana. That Tristana is pretty tempting because it's it's like a good item, but it's not got... Holy shit! You forgot to bow. It makes a good item, but it's not going to... Uh... Alright, it's a good item later, but it's not going to make an item now. I wanted to get an item now to make sure I can win. Okay, this is very unusual. I have four four costs that all syner or four four costs. I have four two stars that all synergize with each other. Also, I'm pretty sure I have to sell this Kiana. I I have to make ten. Yes. How does Runons interact with Irelia? Uh, I don't know, but I've been told it's good. I'm pretty sure I can make exactly twenty next round now. Yeah, this is this is the strongest I've ever been on stage two. I actually just hit everything. Like, basically perfect synergies. How can you be a one-trick if this game's all luck? Oh, what a what a horrible question, man. Oh, fuck. I thought I could make 20. Alright, I was wrong. At least kind of came back. I'm not literally saying I'm going to force duelist every single game. To even just, like, to angle towards duelist when you have the option, I would consider that being a one-trick. Right now... Every single game, I play something different based on what the game gives me. I play like full flex. I just like see what two stars I hit, and then like I play a build around it. Uh, but after like seeing how our, our games have gone, where like it's pretty average placements, and then we just have really good placements on duelists specifically, I'm pretty tempted to uh, always angle duelists because nobody can test this build, at least not yet. There was a patch in set six, no, in set five where I found a really strong build that nobody liked, and then I climbed 600 LP with it in one day, and then the next day, there was three players forcing every single game. Yeah, there was a unit called Jax, who everyone thought sucked, and then I forced the shit out of him. Uncontested every single game. Climbed 600 LP, and then the next day, everybody was like, holy shit, I'm gonna force Jax. So, if we climb a lot with this build, it'll probably get copied a lot. But for right now, I kind of like it. I feel like it's literally never contested. It's it's such a simple build too, just like put all the duelists together. Like, everybody knows it exists. I think everybody just like doesn't want to play it because there are so many stronger builds to play right now. Oh, please give me a bow. Not my fault. They should have mm. bow. Feels like Edge of Knight's pretty good. Story is not yet finished. Oh, I can also do Sterex. Sterex is a pretty decent item. What are my options? Uh, Sterex, Sunfire, Warmogs, Edge of Night. Uh, Edge of Night is good on Kiana, but that's basically it. It's probably Sterex, Sunfire. Or even just like Sterex and Sit. But Sterex is not bad because everybody on the team does, deals physical damage. Except for Darius. Pretty sure I'm fine here, but if I have to, I can slam. Yeah, okay. There, there's no way anyone can beat me. I have so many upgrades. I might have to sell this Shen soon. But yeah, Umbral's actually like such a nice plus one here. Because whenever you play an attack speed trait, everybody like there's like a there's like a locket duelist from an earlier set where it's like 
You just get a locket because it's very efficient health-wise. Umbral is basically that. It's a 200 health shield on all your units. Not to mention the execute. Harmixus is really good. Better than best friends. I'm... Oh, I can't. I can't. No, I... I have Duelist Crest. I need to force this. I also don't have any four costs. Silver Veil is nice. But I'm pretty sure it's Harm Assist. Ghostly, Heavenly, Exalted. Okay, I don't think I need to roll. I will slam the Sterics. Yeah, I'm pretty convinced that this is good. And then I'll try to wait for Titans. I might even do another Sterics. Like, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be too picky with my items. I should just slam stuff that lets me win streak and then buys me time to hit later. Like, this guy is playing Bard. I don't know if he's actually forcing it though. His items look very weird for Bard reroll. Is it gonna be Warmog's Edge of Night? Uh, it's almost always gonna be Titans. Edge of Night is not good on Volibear. Edge of Night is good on Kiana if you have a Kiana 3. But I'm not sure if I'm going to hit that because I'm rolling at 7. Shen offers you a choice of starter packs containing champions and one component. Imagine it says duelists. Um, I want physical damage items, so I should probably choose reapers. Alright, give me damage items. A singular glove! Sheesh! What about Adrian on Lee Sin? Lee Sin is such a bad unit right now. He's only played for his synergies. It's really sad. He's actually like a garbage unit. Oh, if only I said duelists, and then I got like a bow and a two-star Yasuo, that would have been awesome. Our wills align. Play Kha'Zix instead of Malphite? Why? I Malphite gives, um... Uh, where is it? He gives 12, no, 8 armor and magic to your whole team. It's pretty good here. Yo, this guy's playing like reroll Shen. Oh, Ethereal Blades. Gain a Shen, your strongest Shen has plus 3 range and his spell does 100% increased damage. That sounds really fun. I've never even seen the augment. Like, I've never got it offered in my shops. Don't worry, guy. I'm going to be selling these Shen soon. Okay, best items for me. Uh, Sword, bow. Yeah, sword, bow. Sword, bow. Wait, where, where, I, I blinked. Where'd they go? Where's my sword and bow? Okay, TG Kiana. Okay, I'm gonna roll until I hit one Volley Bear. Roll until you hit one volley bear. Okay, honestly, that's not bad. And yeah, it's just TJ Kiana. Yeah, okay, interesting flex board. Four behemoth, four duelist. Okay, and the two star Tristana is really nice with these items. I just need a last whisper on her. No, I just need an IE on her. IE or Giant Slayer. Uh, out of curiosity, I'm gonna look this up. If we go to the Explorer. Oh, wait, into Sulshin. If you go to the Explorer. And we type in Tristana, three star. What are her best items? Her best items are Volley Bear. Oh. Her best items are in, are most commonly played as Infinity Edge, Gwinsu's Last Whisper. Last Whisper is really good. Giant Slayer is really good. Infinity Edge is okay. Gwinsu actually has a pretty bad delta. Hurricane has a really good delta. Okay. I mean, that, that makes my choice really easy. Don't slam Gwinsu's. Slam IE or Giant Slayer. 
Uh, what about Volibear? Volibear, Titans by far, BT by far, and Sunfire. That's weird. And even Shroud apparently as well. Maybe some people are playing support Volibear. Redemption also apparently looks really good. But I, I don't think that actually means it's best in slot. I think that just means that people are slamming it because like they have open slots because they spent all their items on Tristana. Oh, three star. Um, yeah, Titans by far, then BT. And then the next good item looks to be still even Shroud. Weird. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just, it's just always Titans, Titans, BT if you can. What about Steric Gauge? Steric Gauge is okay. Apparently Crown Guard's decent. I'd believe it. It's tanky and gives AP. You to bow. What does Delta mean? It means like how many placements you gain or lose uh, when you slam it on average. If, a, if an item says delta of plus one, that means instead of going fourth, you're going fifth every game. Uh, if a delta is minus one, that means instead of going fourth, you're going third. Or like whatever placement you're going to get before. Like let's say you had the choice between like Gwinsu's or IE, and Gwinsu's had a delta of like plus one, and IE had a delta of minus one, then like you're kind of like trolling. Now you don't. You're kind of trolling if you don't, uh... If you don't take the minus one, Delta. Travel awaits. Okay, I'm gonna roll pretty hard here. The power of a dragon. Stand back. Big strong Nico coming through. Shot for me. This story is not yet finished. This guy said, GG, I got no shens. You know, I don't mean this in like a passive aggressive way, but if he if he had waited like two rounds, maybe just one, like I'm, I'm about to sell my shen. That would have made his roll down weight go way better. The only reason I didn't sell you is because I didn't hit my Volibear. Pretty sure we're selling here. Okay, just give me another combat augment. It's crazy how like, we, we've been destroying people and it's like not even close. Uh, I don't think it's hero grab back. Can I get a generic combat augment? Okay, I, I might actually take this and then try to get a three star right now. This is necessary. Death is not always a release. My destination is clear. Stand back. I alone decide my fate. Deny me no longer. Light him up. This is necessary. That didn't feel like a good roll down. Yeah, it, it wasn't. But uh, let me try to sort through this mess. So I'm at I'm at four volibears, or I might be at two. I'm at two volibears. Oh fuck! And I'm at fortress honest. I think I just had to roll down and hit a three star. Uh, I I hope it's not Kiana. I hope it's Tristana. But like, I want to keep my streak, and I didn't hit a good combat augment. If I Hero grab bag is like only good value if you use it almost immediately. If you're waiting, you're trolling. Most of the time. So like, I want to try to use this ASAP. Honestly, a three-star Diana is fine. Choice of support items. Lock it. Oh, uh, Chalice is actually really good here. All right, let's do this. This story is not yet finished. Fuck it, Yasuo 3. Oh shit.
can't believe I hit the Yasuo at three of all things. Uh, oh no, I think I lose my streak here. If I lose my streak here, it's pretty bad. I, I really need to hit like something three starred. Oh man. Oh, this wasn't even close. Can't get past the Kench. Why is it Chalice over a Locket? Uh, the answer is simple. I wasn't offered a Locket. Okay, well, this sucks, but I need to chill now. It really sucks to hold these duplicators for so long. Nobody's holding Tristana's, right? I saw one guy holding Vola Bears. Yeah, I'm, I'm like uncontested. Okay, uh, I would like this glove, but the BT is playable. Oh wait, he is holding. Here comes the boom. Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna fuck that guy. I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. Okay, this might be like almost the worst outcome ever. Cause I'm at six 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 and I have two dupes. All right, I I I I gotta I gotta sit. I gotta sit. I'll just like try again in a little bit, and then hopefully I'll hit two of these three starred. But like this feels so bad. I should spend like 80 gold. I win streak the entire game, spent 80 gold. I'm also at six Dianas, so it's six 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 six. But I, if I don't get roll, I'll never hit all of them. So, as much as I want to hit one and then chill, I at this point I have to just fight the bullet, take my loss, and um, sack like 30 HP and try again. Why not Randuin's? Uh, Randuin's is not very good here. It takes, um, it makes your positioning kind of grief. Here's Tristana. I'm not going to dupe though. Uh, because I only have to wait for one round. I can't believe this guy contested me. Like, he, he's literally hard forcing the same build I'm playing. He's just much weaker. Like, you don't even have a duelist crest. And you can you can very clear, you can very clearly see from the beginning of the game that I'm forecasting like I'm forcing this no matter what I cannot pivot, and he contested me like he's going to go eighth. This is what should have happened last game by the way. The last game I got unlucky as fuck. Uh, this is like the this isn't a high roll for me. Well, the early game was. This isn't a high roll in terms of like how many duels I hit. This is like the average outcome. And this guy, if he scouted, he would have known from the beginning that that was going to happen. Like you had so many other builds you could have played. You weren't locked into duelist. I was. He's going 8th because he didn't read. Or like, I guess didn't scout is a better way to put it. And the reason why I'm annoyed by that is because he's going to make me go like 3rd instead of 1st. Because he's holding all my units. He made he made it so that my, my 90 gold roll down at 7 didn't do anything. Oh, well, I shouldn't say didn't do anything. I'm at 6, 6, 6, 7. Do you think he did it on purpose? No, I think he just didn't scout. Like, I, I don't scout a lot of the time. If I'm, if I'm lazy, I don't scout. There are a lot of games where I'm like, oh shit, I was contested, I didn't even know. So like, I'm pretty sure this guy just didn't scout. Actually, you know what I should do? I should wait for him to die. He's one life. Wait for him to die, and then like I'll hit everything so much faster. Um, I need a Titans here. Bow. Oh wow, I got a bow. Nice. But yeah, I'm not gonna double dupe. I'll just like sack a couple of rounds. Um. As you wish. I mean, here's Titans. And then I'll just like, I'll just belt somebody. Here you go, Leeson. I don't want to give it to Diana because she's gonna get three stars. She might have a better item waiting for her. Are you gonna go level eight? Eventually, but it's so much better to roll and hit everything. It's so much better. Do you want to play Janna over Diana? I'm pretty sure a second two-star Diana is better than a one-star Janna here. If it was four Dragon Lord, I might consider it. Helps Lee Sin get a stun off. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a one second stun on one target. It's not that big of a deal. Lee Sin's just like a horrible unit. He's only played for his synergies. I've tried playing around two-star Lee Sin with like Dragon Lords, Duelists, BT Titans. It was horrible. All right, is he dead? All right, he's dead. He never even used his dupe. Okay, well, now I'm rolling down to zero, and hopefully I hit everything. I really am unhappy about this hero grab bag. Like, it'll help me hit three stars, but it's going to make my three stars much weaker compared to, like, if I had tons of stats. Why is Tris getting frontlined? Uh, for the AP from the Chalice, and then she jumps out of the way anyway. All right, let's do this. Okay, uh, I wanted to see if I could hit one more before doing that, because I, I still have to hit this, um, Kiana and Diana. This will do for now, though. Oh fuck, I, I can't beat the bard players. He didn't. He doesn't even have his three-star bard yet. But like, uh, this Kench is just unkillable, and I don't have like a way to skip the backline. Man, this Kench unit is crazy. But yeah, now I just go eight and get Irelia. I spike really hard once I hit one Irelia. Whoa, what the heck? That was weird. I wonder if I can beat this guy. All of his items are on a one star Aurelia. Game says 4%. Oh, he has a two star Akan. Is it? Am I crazy or thinking I might be able to win this? Am I crazy for thinking that? Okay, apparently I am. That was not even close. All right, you know what? I definitely cannot go eight. I'm gonna take way too much damage. I think I need to just roll and use this dupe. Like I'm telling you, the fact that I didn't hit on the first roll down and had to just like hold on to two dupes for so long cost me so much HP. It's so sad. Literally, like, I got hard griefed by this guy who went 8th anyway, when he could have, like, went 4th playing a different build. I will try to salvage a 3rd. I'll roll aggressively, get my 3 stars, and then try to bleed out to a 3rd or 4th. Wait. Okay, hang on. Uh, there's an Irelia, which is actually a huge deal. Then I'll go 8 almost immediately. Uh, there is also a Diana. Oh my god, of course. Okay, at least I'll take the Diana. Are you serious? Dude. Okay, well, I have to take this. <laughs> Volibear needs an item. I wish it were a BT, but... Okay, well, I, I need to just roll and try to preserve HP. Hit anything here. Not happy about this, but... Yeah, I gotta preserve HP. This is all so sad. Like, I played the early game so well. I also high rolled really hard and got to streak for free. It's actually such a sad outcome. Maybe I can bleed out to a third or fourth. The Shen. Wait, raid boss? Ethereal Blades. Holy crap. This is gonna go crazy. But yeah. This is one reason why I really don't like the bag sizes. That guy, like, was contesting me for no real reason, and he barely hit. And he already, like, made it so I couldn't hit anything on my roll down. He made it so I hit zero three stars when rolling, like, 90 gold. Wait, this Shen... Oh my god, this raid boss. This guy goes crazy. It's actually a raid boss. Oh my god. He was, like, about to die, and then he, uh, he hit at 10 HP. Oh, he also got, I guess, the best in slot augment. 
I think I might have to give up on this Diana. Well, I mean, I'm guaranteed to go 8 soon. But, like, if I sell the Diana, I have more chances to roll for Irelia. But I can also go 8 and then, like, maybe high roll into a Diana 3, which is a pretty big deal. Yeah, how much damage did that guy do? 17,000, mostly being true damage. Okay. Oh, please win this. My Volibear has a little bit scuffed items, but like, it is still a Volibear 3 with pretty decent combat augments. Come on, Volibear and Tristana. Dang, I lost. It's pretty close, too. At least I'm getting good losses, but damn, winning a couple of these would like, guarantee a top 3. Oh, is the Shen player dead? Wait, okay, this raid boss is actually... It's really cool. But like, holy shit, is he gonna get first? The whole lobby is so low. Alright, I'm gonna have like, three rolls. I need an Irelia, or two Dianas. Okay, fuck it. Give me two Dianas in the orb. I only have a couple rolls at this. Alright. Irelia, please. Irelia, please. Irelia. Okay, I'm, I'm getting up on the Dianas. Irelia? It's not a horrible board. Fuck it, I'll take a fourth at this point. I'm so desperate. Okay, I'm definitely not beating this guy. The Kench 3 is unkillable. He doesn't have his Bard 3. It doesn't matter, I can't win this. I can't get past the back line, or the front line. Wait, actually, hang on. Is that my Volibear getting past the... Wait, what? Wait, we just walked around him. My, my team is so smart! They just walked around him! Genius! Absolute genius! They just walked around the big guy! Top four for sure. Give me an eye. Aye. Aye. Don't worry. I'm sure on my final moment, Irelia comes home. Yeah, in my final mo dying moments, Irelia will come home and I'll get the three star and then everybody has a happy ending. My asso position is a bit awkward. I shouldn't have given him the chalice. Yeah, I shouldn't have given him the chalice. Nice, I dodged the bramble. Because uh, I can't position him like on the edge. Wait, the Shen guy died. To who? Come on, Volibear, I'm begging you. Do the thing again. Do the thing where you walk straight through to the back line. Oh my god, he is! He is! Oh, oh, oh! Save me some HP! Yeah, I mean, that's not really too. Okay, come on, top three, please. Top three, top three, top three. That looks like a top three. Okay, I am down for this. Th considering the griefing, this is not bad. But how hype would it be if in my final moment, on my very last life, I hit an Irelia and the crowd went poggers? Wait, didn't I beat this guy before? Wait, wait, wait. I beat this guy before by walking around his Kench. So I'll make it look like I'm going there. Oh, he saw me move. He might move his Kench. Oh, he didn't. Okay, I'm probably dead, but is there a small chance, a very small chance, 
that once again Kiana and Volibear just sneak into the back line. It, it, it could happen. I doubt it. It would actually require. Ki oh, wait, look at Kiana. Kiana. She also rolled really good items. Oh my god. She's actually just like going through them one by one to the board. Come on, Kiana. Get the kill. Yes. She did it. Wait. No, but the, 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 the Kench is still too strong. No. Run. Run, little Tristana. Run. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, jump again. Ah! Nice try. <laughs> For no Irelia, not bad. That was actually insane. Like, considering the griefing and the low roll on the last augment and the low roll on the roll down, third place there is pretty crazy. It was almost a second. Oh my god. It was a pretty good game, though. Good salvage. Ugh. <sighs> I still can't believe I got griefed. And again, like, I don't think it was a target grief. I don't think he said, fuck this guy, I'm gonna go eighth so that you can't go first. I don't think he said that. I think he just like played duelist without scouting. And like, I'm in a spot where not only am I like incredibly powerful, like there's just no way I can pivot because I already locked in duelist crest. I said no to like a potentially very powerful recon bob because I already had duelist crest. Like if he had saw that, he would have known to play something else and then he could go fourth and I could go first. But instead he contested, didn't scout. He went eighth and wasn't even close, and then he made me go third instead of first. If he didn't contest all my duelists and hold half of them, I uh, like I would have been able to hit way earlier. Got my three stars, go eight, go nine, get eight duelists, just win the game. I really is my backline access. Do you think you should have waited even longer until he died? No. Even with him contesting, you should still go for the three star there. I uh, I cannot express like how bad it is if you take hero grab bag and don't use the dupes immediately. It's really bad. The only reason you shouldn't use the dupes immediately is if, like, you roll to zero and you missed. If you shouldn't hold the dupes and then be like, okay, I'll just wait. Let's just wait until he dies, take 50 damage, and then roll and hit. Like, you, you can't do that. If I had taken a combat augment, I would be down because most likely I'm not going to hit. But, like, in that situation, I had, like, what, 60, 70 gold at level 7. I was contested, but I already had, like, four Tristanas. Like, I already had four Tristanas, two Volibears, four Dianas. Like, most likely I'm getting to seven of one of them. And then I double dupe, and then I uh, use that three star to stay alive until he dies, and then I try again. But in that case, I went literally to six, 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 six. I had six of all four of my carries, and I couldn't double dupe any of them. So like, I was pretty pissed. Third place is actually an insane salvage there. Yeah, imagine if it was like seven, 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 and I could at least like choose which one to double dupe. Was the play to skip the roll down, go eight, go nine, and roll for Irelia? No, because the three star you've already slammed items on your Tristana and Volibear. Three starring them doubles the value of your items. Right? Cause like think of items as like a multiplier of your base stats. With like better or more optimized items just being like a larger multiplier. Three starring doubles your base stats. Well, it's not literally double, it's like 1.8. But yeah, it basically like doubles the value of your items. Which is way better than getting one Irelia. What rank do you need to be to not get eliminated? Uh, I need to climb about 80 LP from this spot. 80 LP in four hours. So I can play like, what, six or seven games? And I need to gain 80 LP. Which means I need to climb, I need to get fourth every single game for the rest of the day. Wait, maybe third. It's like some fourths, some thirds. Or two firsts and we go to bed early. Have you checked out Dragon's Dogma 2? No, I've heard it's a really good game. Uh, I don't normally play single player RPGs though, so I have not played it. Is it good? I've heard it's very good. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Spirits are calling. Yeah, I heard it was uh, littered with microtransactions. They did the thing that Tekken did where they uh, they added microtransactions after uh, the game released to like get the good reviews and then add in the, the scummy business things. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna hold this Caitlyn. Would you guys believe me if I told you? Wait, what the fuck? I got exalted? Exalted speedrun? Wait, what the heck? Wait, I, I've i never... I was like, how, how did I accidentally put in the exact three units? What the... Oh, it's all one cost. Interesting. All right, it's time for Ghostly Crest. Come on. Ghostly Crest. Ghostly Crest. Fuck it, I'm rolling this and taking whatever I get. All right, Slimin. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep Exalted in for a long time. I'll slam, wait, so what do I have to do? I have to, no items on your bench. So I have to slam everything. Okay. This, world needs hope. this is gonna be a very interesting game. I'm playing Slammin, where I gain two EXP per round if I don't have any items other than consumables. And then I'm also playing Exalted, the world's earliest Exalted. So I'm getting I'm getting like three EXP per round. That's that's pretty nuts. I don't even know what units to hold. Hello, it's Drewski. Welcome. Wait, this is actually pretty crazy. Okay, well, I'll probably lean towards Wardens. Yeah, I'll lean towards Wardens because uh, Garen is exalted. Is there a way I can fit any of these guys in late game? Ari, Caitlyn, Darius, Kobuko, Garen, Malphite. I could maybe fit in all the tanks. Kobuko, Garen, Malphite. Yeah, maybe Ari. Uh, sorry, not Ari. Maybe um, Alawi. Let me let me try to imagine this. Full one cost exalted is the worst average placement of all exalted variations. I am not surprised. I'm probably only gonna play it for a little bit. Udir grants four free rerolls. Thanks, Udir. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think, wait, is Caitlyn? Yeah, Caitlyn's exalted. Who's my not exalted? It's, oh, it's Jax. One, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm down to like... This might've been a mistake actually, because I had to sell Ari pair. But I'm kind of like down to commit to, let's just ride this Ari and Caitlyn to like very early high levels with Slammin and Exalted. And then uh, we'll just like go to like level eight and then sell all the Exalteds at the same time. I'll just like slam everything, try to make as many flex items as possible. I'm not happy about the Shojin slam. We are, as we found out earlier, it's like pretty weak item. Um, what do I want? What's a flex item? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure cloak and tear. Okay, fuck it. Can't go wrong with belt. It's also a warden. I'm trying to think like, what item is almost guaranteed to be useful? Adaptive helm, Morellos, gargoyle stone plate, war mogs. And belt turns into two of them. Is Shojin actually weak? Yes, if you look at the... 
Oh. I have 27 gold. <laughs> and, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Look, a beautiful woman. I don't know what to say, guys. The Amumu sold himself. But yeah, if you look at the stats of like any AP carry, Adaptive Helm does way better than Shojin. Uh, Shojin's like okay. Like I don't think you're trolling if you build it, but if you have the choice between Shojin and Adaptive Helm, it's always Adaptive Helm. But uh, like if you look at Syndra, who you would think is pretty good with Shojin, Shojin has like a plus 0.23 delta, which is a lot. That means on average you like lose placements. On average you lose two LP. Oh fuck, uh, give me a tank artifact. Anima Visage. Oh, I like Diamond Hands. Uh, yeah. I feel like Hulk Crusher's not that good. Diamond Hands is like pretty similar, and it gives you the Econ Factor. Oh my God! Wait, genius! Diamond Hands because I'm at 39 gold. Genius. Hello, Divine Courage. Thanks for the six months. Yeah. So to put in perspective, on average, if 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 you like had a choice. Like, just right there, item economy aside. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I need to play this Alawi, actually. Isn't this Alawi, like, perfect? It's Arcanist, Ghostly, and Warden. I, I should lose Econ for this. That Alawi is, like, way too good. Oh, I could also lock. I don't, I don't think I lock, though, because I still want, like, the next shop. Yeah, I'm getting so much money that every uh, every round from slamming. Okay, yeah, it says after each player combat, so I'm I'm safe to like pick up my items here. Why not just lock? You, it, it sounds like you. A lot of you guys are saying why not lock, and like I'm pretty sure those of you that are saying why not lock don't understand that like if you lock you lose two gold. Like it doesn't take it out of your bank account. You just don't get the, to see the next shop, which might have good units. Locking is what you do if you have to at zero gold because it's a really critical unit. But like. I'd rather just lose the one gold, you know? Let's just lose the one gold. It's all good. You gain new friends, same old me. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Spat? Oh, thanks. Um. Minus two from slamming you had items. Bro. <laughs> Are you deaf? I literally moused over it and was like, wow, interesting. I, it doesn't matter if I get these items on Krugs because it says player combat. Okay, I need to get out of this Exalted soon. Is Ionic not good if you're going AP? Uh, I don't know if I'm going AP or not. Oh, it's always Lake Game Specialist here. I guess it could have also been Tiny Titans, but I feel like Lake Game Specialist goes hard here. Uh, Invoker. Okay, I'll probably just play Wardens. I think I'm down to... Let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's go ahead and level. And then use one of my free rerolls and see if I can hit like a two star or it's like a good unit to play. Uh, come on. Give me something to save some HP. Okay. All right. Uh, I will be right back. I got a key.
All right. Um, when should I get out of Exalted? Pretty soon, I imagine. Okay, so I have to make it to nine, right? If I don't make it to nine, like I'm fucked. Hello, Julia Chip. Thanks for the 20 months. So all, the only time I should roll is to try to stabilize my board and cut the bleeding. Cause I'm playing like RE1, Caitlyn 1. Did I just win? Wait, I think I won. Winning is like not good here. Can I get a one unit loss instead? Uh, one unit loss? Ah, oh, two unit loss. Any spats? Okay, I'm just taking this a moment to get an MMO too. The item's not that good, but whatever. A moment two should cut the bleeding. Okay, do I want to have a Shojin and Gwinsus together? It's not bad on an Azir or Huai late game, so I think I'm down to keep it. Probably don't reforge. Yeah, I mean, not bad. I'm level 7, 40 gold. So, how am I going to make it to 9? Oh, also, I should probably do this. What does my journey to 9 here look like? Uh, well, I'm, I can already make it to level 8. Does anybody know how much gold you need to go from level 8 to level 9? I think it's 72. So, 36 gold. Okay, but Exalted's gonna turn this down quite a bit. It's gonna turn it down to like 20 gold. So, it's like 92-ish gold to go 9, and then I'm gonna get 33 gold. I can definitely do it on 4-2. Wait, I'm, I'm shocked that I won, by the way. My board sucks. Yeah, I'm shocked that I won that. Don't play Lux over Ari. No, I'm playing these Exalted units. Uh, it's a very weird Exalted game. It's Caitlyn, Ari, and Garen as Exalteds. It's like an all one cost Exalted. So I'm just like playing these right now because they're efficient and they give me one gold every round. Well, one EXP every round. But like, they're not even two starts. Like, I don't know how I'm winning. I'll try to kill a few units. Like, how do I beat an Aphelios 2 here? I don't get it. Something ain't right. Okay, I was wrong. We did not beat Aphelios 2. Ari one top frag. Okay, maybe a Caitlyn too. Wait, if I can make it to nine, let's just like start setting up our level nine board. So I know I need a Zirhui. Those are my two carries for these items. Uh, for tanks, it's always Udyr if I can. Uh, set can maybe work. Uh, the only legendary who doesn't make sense here is Lissandra and Irelia. Everybody else makes sense. And then you want Soraka and Diana, the usual. And then maybe you want Orn, maybe you want Nautilus, and maybe you want... No, that's it, that's it. This is necessary. Maybe you want Janna, but... Closer to the Oh yeah, Lilia is also playable for Mythic.
I'm getting pretty low. I think next round I'm gonna level. 98% chance of winning. There ain't no way I have a 98% chance of winning with an RE1 carry on 4-1. Why Kogma? I mean, I don't have any units. I'm not, I'm like, I'm like hardly rolling. Wait, I actually won. Wait, can you get my Garen lower so that I get plus one gold? Nice, I got plus one gold. I, I actually won, what the heck? Oh, clear mind, late game specialist. Honestly, handshake. This guy helped me out a lot. I think I can level up right now. Okay, Crown Guarded is bugged, otherwise I would take it. Oh shit. Okay. Have to take Capricious. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. Okay, can I set up some one stars to, to tide me over? Okay, I'm gonna sell the Annie soon, so I'm fine with that. Do you want to report to Shojin? No, because it, it goes on Hui. Hui or Azir once I hit them. Right now I'm just doing like random bullshit level 9 flex. I'm gonna like Donkey Kong. I, I could have sacked one more, but it feels really risky because uh, I'm already at 36 HP. I think like a pro would probably sack one more and be like, yeah, who cares if I go down to two lives? I'm just gonna be a fucking Chad who wins, you know what I mean? Temporary item. Sure. Uh, Giant Slayer for sure. I need damage. Oh, wow. Okay. <gasps> I fucked up. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. How did you mess up? I, uh... No can hold me. This blacksmith's gloves should just be put on your best unit, right? So I hit a Wukong too. I should've just blacksmith sculpted him. But I fucked up. Like, he... I mean, he's not bad at these items. But, like... The correct play was to give him blacksmith's gloves there. But this will be fine. Okay, I wasn't planning on playing Irelia. But since I have two, I think, like... I can't really say no to the two-star legendary. I'll just play around it by getting um, a, a Lee Sin. Oh, I guess I could have reforged the Warmogs off, actually. That's interesting. Okay, I need damage. Uh, tier or Rod, basically. Oh, wait, no, no, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm playing around Irelia now. So it'd actually be Sword. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, if I want to be flexible, I really make so much sense here. Hello, Spiritus. Welcome. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Am I good to stop rolling? Uh, I'm sitting on three, pretty big, four pretty big pairs. I'm gonna keep rolling. I'll hit one. Don't worry, I'll hit. I'll hit. Ready for this? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Now I think we can sit for a little bit. What am I thinking now? Uh Alawi, Amumu, and Nar can all go. 
I uh, no longer gonna play Lilia, and we're instead gonna look for Lee Sin. And then between Hui and Azir, I think I'm only gonna play with just the Azir if given the choice. Because I, I don't think I can get Mythic in now. It'll be Irelia and Azir duo carry. And this two-star Wukong is pretty nice. Not a bad pivot. There's a good chance I can win out here. Let's just like econ up a bit. Hopefully I win streak here. All right, fuck it, Irelia. Dang it. Something that I don't like about this fast nine stuff is that it's actually like really, even at nine, it takes so much money to hit a two star legendary. Each one you hold costs five gold. And then also the odds just aren't that great. It is way harder to hit a two star legendary at nine than it is to hit a two star four cost at eight. This guy looks pretty optimized. Crap, I might not win here. If I live long enough, I can actually make it to 10 because of slamming. Oh, my Aurelia was on the wrong side. I forgore about the Kog'Maw. Shit. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. Dang, I'm living for so long too. But I just lose because I got sniped. Oh, hello, Froden. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful climb. After this game, let's check in on how you're doing. Art is empty oh, what the? I just grabbed the Mumu out of the air. All right, I'm gonna sell a Mumu and a Lowie and Nar right now and just like prepare for my end game. If I don't hit, like, I'll just lose. It's fine. Surely I'll hit something, right? So what am I missing? I'm missing Rakan, maybe Nautilus. I'm missing Rakan, I'm missing Nautilus. Uh, Azir. And then just like two stars after that. Oh, dude, that's huge. We can be heroes. Legends are told in word and deed. I'm coming for you. The last time I hit a plant was never. The last time I hit a plant was never. Come on, Albert, keep rolling. Find something, find something. One life. Oh, I never hit Rakan. That Reforge is pretty nice, yeah. Okay, uh, I don't think you can play Hui here. Don't think there's room for him. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Okay, I'm gonna roll for one more upgrade. I didn't call it a day. Okay, wait a second. Ready for this? Strength of spirit. I had to dupe there, otherwise I was dead. But I uh, let me do like an Orn count. Is Soraka adding anything to my team? She's adding Heavenly, but I didn't hit Rakan. Hmm. Okay, let me scout really quick. Alright, and there's no way I can go 10, right? I'm way too low. 
Oh, this guy's got some orns. Okay, I'm just gonna roll for uh, a Rakan. No prison can hold me. We are made by our choices. Okay. I don't know how to position this. I'm also like a little sad that my Wukong has all the tank items. Those tank items should go on set. Okay, I mean... Okay, on first glance, it looks a little bad that Irelia has all the damage items. On second glance, Udyr and Set actually do quite a bit of damage. Maybe I'm fine. I'm like, Irelia's got Gunblade, so no more getting sniped by Kog'Maw. I DIED! What?! Wait, are you serious? What happened?! I just got Zoe to death? Eighth place? Eighth place? My board is so good! What the fuck? Zoe must have gotten like the perfect bounces. I have like two star all legendary. What the fuck? Yeah, wait, I was like, holy shit, isn't this so sick? I like make it to nine with late game specialist, roll down, I'm the only one at level nine, I get all the legendaries, and then I just win. And then I absolutely did not. I low rolled two fights and then died. My board was so sick. I can't believe 3 stars Zoe beat me. I mean, it's kind of cool that 3 stars Zoe beat me, but also, like, I can't believe 3 stars Zoe beat me. And I also can't believe no one else died. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that 8th place means I'm out of the boot camp. I mean, I could still go first, like, 3 times in a row, but... It's most likely doomed. I'll try. We'll see what we can do. I thought I was playing out of my mind. Like, the only thing I didn't do was position. I, I couldn't figure out how to optimize my positioning there, other than just, like, tanks in the front. And then get set some value. There might have been a way. Pretty sure it involved moving my Udyr. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna pick Lethal Legends because it's faster. Yeah, I think a lot of it was also not hitting an Azir. I really needed like Azir two with the Gwinsus, not really with Gwinsus. How's Froden doing in the boot camp? Emerald one. Let's go. He's safe for multiple days. Nice job, dude. Average rank 3.8. Alright, I'll see you guys after the ad break. Oh, it chose me. Alright, Lethal Legends rewards flex play and playing like a psycho, so I'm down. Hello, Wooly List. Thanks to seven months. Kindred 2, what the heck? Okay, I'm down to ride a Kindred 2. Give me a mana item. Adaptive Helm, please. Yeah, I'm down to flex play it up. Kindred 2 is like not normally a good unit, but like getting it early I'm sure is good. Maybe a bow. Solid warm up. Who's next? Okay, I'm definitely taking a two star. And then Dryad. Oh, I need a Nar for Dryad Warden. Can you stack Dryad on this round? Words spoil the chase. Extended duel is so fun, but I can't hear. All right, salvage. Me. Please give me an item with a tear. An item with a tear in it. Bro, what is this? I've got two even shrouds. 
Watch this. I, I don't even think I do. Okay. I don't think I do. I literally wouldn't be able to play four units. Okay, it's lethal le legends, so I, you definitely play a win streak and try to bleed out slowly. Okay, maybe this Jax is unkillable. Kindred two is fake. I kind of agree. Uh, without items, I don't think she's gonna do anything. Wait, how did one of my kindreds die? Okay, wait, hang on. My Jax is going infinity. Wait, 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 come on. Come on, dance, dance. Oh. Man, if only I had one more gold and could have afforded that warden. I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do here. I. Uh, you definitely want to three item somebody. So I'm probably gonna sell this kindred, get the glove off, and then uh, do like a chain vest. Should make for a pretty strong build on this Jax. Yeah, this kindred unit's really bad. I wanna pull. Okay, nothing says you have to play aggressively on. Lethal Legends. It's just usually good to do so because if you don't play aggressively, you take one extra damage per fight. But like, I could still just like take it slow and reroll with this lesser champion duplicator since my board isn't that good. I could still reroll a lot of units here. Okay, well, Kindred is definitely not the unit I want to reroll. So I am down to sell, maybe uh, a Lune. Uh, what's a three cost that I can reroll? It could be almost anything. I mean, I also, oh, there's so many options open. I also don't have to reroll. I could just use this for tempo, but I would need a unit that I like. I hate how I, I went salvage bin so I could be more flexible and my items were belt, belt, cloak, cloak. It's like, what can you possibly do with that? Two even shrouds? Is there an interesting vertical I can go? Because maybe you can break apart a spat. Alright, I'm pretty sure I want a tier. Okay, I know I said I was going to grab a Chain Vest and then make uh, Steadfast Heart, but I've changed my mind after losing all these rounds. I should just go for the Loose Streak and then try again later. Uh, adaptive Helm is really good, and I can break apart this Decal later. Maybe turn this Decal into a, a Gargoyle. Warmog's Gargoyle is always really solid. Then I can do Adaptive Helm, JG. Mm, I'm not a fan of playing a Lune. I'll play this instead. Okay, I'm down to like build into the, the standard Star Weaver. Can we kill one unit? <laughs> Place your bets. Can we kill one? Okay, what if I went Zoe reroll? Wait, I think I'm killing one. I'm killing one. One! This guy has a crazy board. He has Gwinsu's Bard, Storyweaver, and a Nautilus. 
Oh. I, w I chose Lethal Legends to play aggressively, and then I didn't hit, and now we are in pain. Shen offers you a choice you of starter have now packs. Reached 200 gems today. Uh, probably invokers. Probably gives me a rod. All right, fuck this, Zoe. I'll play Kogma. My destination is clear. I'll play Kogma into Lilia. Actually, Asa has a really good guide on this. Let me try to find it really quick. I pivoted like eight times this game. All right, blue buff, Archangels, Gunblade. Although I'm pretty sure the blue buff can be swapped out with uh, Adaptive. It's like almost identical. Uh... You want a spark? Sure. Frontline items will be whatever components you have left over. Okay, and you do play a Lune. Oh, actually, yeah, I have, like, almost the setup. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandel brew. I'll see if I get a blue buff. Let me go ahead and, um, paste these units in. Uh, Chogath. Caitlyn, early game. What an interesting song we're listening to right now. Okay, so stage three, look for Alawi, Aatrox, Kench. Oh, that's actually perfect, I have a lot of those. Uh, stage four, Kogma, Alune, Lilia, Silas, Annie, and then if you hit a Hui or an Azir, it's lit. Okay, thanks, Asa. What a useful guide. And then I do have salvage bins. So like, if I see an opportunity, I could pivot out, but I'm down to just follow a guide for now. Branching out could give me a spat. There's a pretty good chance it gives me a spat and I make a mythic spat. I think I'm down. I'm down. Mythic, ghostly. Oh, I could have played this last round, my bad. I wanna see everything. Arcanist, ghostly, heavenly. Okay, this is interesting. This is very, very, very interesting. So I'm gonna branching out can either give you an uncraftable spat or it can give you a craftable spat. It's about 50-50. Uh, if I get an uncraftable spat, 
I'll try to make it work. If I get a craftable spat, I'll sell it, which gives me a spat and a component, and then I can make a mythic spat. <laughs> Genius! Oh, Annie, Annie, come here. All right, what do you think of my plan? Okay, so I have salvage bin, right? Yeah. And then I just take branching out here. Yeah. And then I'll take whatever spat I get and then break it apart into different components and then I'll find a cloak to combine it with the spat that I just broke into and then I'll play Lily every roll. What do you think? Of course, that's genius. Yeah, yeah. Wait, isn't that so cool? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah check it out, all right, we're about to find out. Can I get a green man looking right? What spat did I get? Breakable, please. Invoker spat, that's even better. That's just the best one. But yeah, that's the best one. We love invokers. Oh my god, okay, sick. Oh. Wait. Uh, fuck. What do I need here? I need an Archangels. Or a gun blade, so I should a rod in general. Oh god, it's three star kabuki. Salvage bin? You you can't salvage bin the invoker. It's it's not craftable. But like it's fine, right? Because it's invoker. That's that's what I was already playing. I need to like start playing the game. Any spats? Oh, Nautilus on Carousel with a rod is huge. The only thing that would be sexier than that was a Lilia on Carousel with a rod. Okay, I'm pretty sure we like Archangels better because it multiplies off of JG. But later on, I can do like Adaptive, Gunblade. Yeah, Adaptive, Gunblade, Archangels. Is branching out tailored? No, it's random. That's why the average placement is so bad. But I, I high rolled. Okay, I think it's time for me to start with. Oh my god! There ain't no way! Oh my god. Okay, I just like win. Alright, for now, we'll keep the items on Kog'Maw. Yeah, for now, I'll keep the items on Kog'Maw, but I'll move it soon. Yeah, Invoker Nautilus sounds amazing, because he has like 180 mana cap, but his his uh, his mana, his spell is so good. Okay, this guy... Oh my god, double Gwinsu's Bard. Two-star Kench. Ah, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna lose so much HP. No! This is so. Ow! I'm so low already. What if we all hide behind, uh... Okay, guys, 30 HP is plenty, all right? I'm telling you, 30 HP is all I need. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use my duplicator on Kogma, so I can move items over.
All right, so my Lily items are already done. I actually tank items now. It looks like in this build, you just itemize Annie and you itemize Lilia. Oh, I would much rather uh, dupe the Kench if possible. Hopefully I can, on my roll down, I can just like find a one star. If I could just find a one star um, Kog'Maw, life becomes so much easier. Because I'd much rather dupe this Kench. Okay, what items do I want here? I want all tank items. Okay, the sword is bad, but I have a reforger. Fuck it, two carries. What? Bro, two swords? Two swords? Every river ends in me. Okay, well, I will slam a gun blade. And I think I'm just going to reforge this whole item. Yeah, I'm just going to reforge the whole item into hopefully a tank item. Easy. Okay, sack one. I'm gonna try to wait until I get an Annie and then itemize her. Otherwise, I'll itemize the Kench. Oh shit, is there a chance that this Gnar goes straight to my Kog'Maw? I feel like there's a chance and I'm getting really worried. Oh, okay, he didn't. All right, give me Invoker Crest, please. Uh, I think Unified is pretty good here. I think LDP is also pretty good, actually. I I'd rather have Unified. to hit a Janna. Okay, there's also an Alawi in my shop. Dupe Cog. Not yet. I might dupe this Alawi for more frontline. Like, this Kog'Maw is actually not bad, right? Two-star Kog'Maw versus uh, Lilia, and like, the Lilia is not fully mythic yet. Oh fuck, did I lose? Oh my god. Guess the outcome of your fight? Bro, that is so... Okay, I am praying that I win the next fight. I have to win. I have to win. If I don't win, I'm fucked. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Come on. Oh. Is empty without empathy. Your spirit is there. Take it if you can. Please. Please win. Please win. I'll even put this thing on you. Eventually, Amorellos. Come on. I need to win this for that 14 gold. It's such a big swing. Also, fuck this event, because it's definitely like a win or lose based on if you guess correctly. I have to win. I have to win. It's the only way. It's the only way. <laughs> Get it? Okay, please kill the Janna. Dude, it's so fucking close. Okay, well, I, I, I lose the game. Give up. Goodbye, game. It's like one auto attack off.
Was I ever make JG on Huey? I mean, knowing that I lost by one auto attack, yes. But if you make a JG on Huey normally, you're trolling. Because this is significantly better. The odds of JG making a difference are very low. In that particular case, it did make a difference. And it just cost me 14 gold. And my streak. And HP. So like, I, I lose the game, because now I can't roll. Otherwise, I could have rolled for Lilia too, and been fine. All right, never punished. <laughs> Why more Ella on Hui when you Annie already has built in Sunfire? Okay, first of all, Annie does bonus damage if they're already burning. Second of all, Hui hits the entire board. I think I can play for like a fifth here. This game is pretty fucked. I really hate the design of that event. It's like gambling the entire game. If you're like in the middle of the pack and you're not entirely sure if you'll win or lose, like I was, you just like lose. It's so sad. I'm so sad. Losing that was so much more than 14 gold. Because I can't make eco. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like losing that cost me like over 30 gold. And it's like by like one auto attack too. If I just like got completely owned, then whatever, right? Like my fault for thinking I could win. For it to come down to the one auto attack, it just has me depressed. Whatever I placed here, I know I could have gotten like four placements higher. I might be able to squeeze in a fifth here. I'll, I mean like, I'm gonna try my best, but I'm, I'm very sad. Maybe I get a miracle. Maybe I get an Annie right here and then I print for two star Annie. I think I have to roll next round. I need to roll for um, an Annie or a Hui so I can print. I don't really need to print multiple Lilios. I don't think I'm hitting Lilia three. You hit the unit, so it's all right. Yeah, I mean, like the game's not over. I, I can, I can make an attempt. It is my mouth into which all travels end. Every flower blooms to be seen. I'm gonna hold that bard. There's two players going for it. Ah, uh, there's no room for this stylus anymore. Way or uh, I channel the spirits I feel closest to. All right, shit. Oh, I need a shred. Um, I need to keep rolling. I need to get like one any. I don't think I can play uh, this food here. Okay, there we go. That's a two star bard, dude. Um, my offense is pretty good. It's probably Zeke's here.
All right. Box, box, why do you always roll below 10 gold when you're not one life? I thought this was an instructional stream. I don't know how to answer that other than you might be a dumbass. I'm two lives and I'm about to print a four cost and I don't have a four cost to make a copy of. So I need to roll to get a copy of a four cost, either Annie or Nautilus, so that next round I can print it. I, I hope that was clear. If that somehow wasn't clear enough, let me know and I can try to make it even more clear. If I don't roll there, I die immediately and I don't get to print a, a guaranteed two-star forecast. Like, yes, if I'm 75 HP, I should not roll. I should econ. But I am... 30 HP. I'm two lives, man. Box Box, is it true that you are six foot five on a good day? Oh, my penis is not nearly that long. All right, pray. This is probably my last life. is empty without empathy. What? Yeah. Wait, Alright. I am very happy if I get a fourth here. Losing that 20 gold just like fucked me so hard. Just get my fourth and get out. Or fuck it, Huey on Carousel. Well, actually, I could almost get third. All right, Huey on Carousel, please, with a Huey item. Pretty sure Gwinsu's is decent enough here. I was trying to think about any interesting spat shenanigans I could do. No. All right, well, I'm about to die. Roll it down and pray. Just hit either one of these, please. Dang it. All right. All I have to do is outlive this guy. Okay. I'm just gonna stand still. Don't slam this yet, because th there's an off chance that you can do something interesting with it. If I'm not dead here. Last time I lost this fight, it was because my Janna or my um my Lily was not in the corner. This time I got a better lineup. It's one auto attack! Oh my god. Alive. Okay, come on. Come on, Albert. Hit one of these bad boys. Shall I prove them right? Okay, honestly, I'm down for this. I'm not gonna sell my way for it. I'm gonna do a little greed play. It's it's pretty greedy. Sell Kench? No, he has full mythic stacks. It's it's not worth it, I promise you. I'm gonna I'm gonna greed and like I might die, but it's fine. I think this is a gamble that's worth. Yeah, like I might die here, but if I survive, I get Annie two and then I print Hoi two in one round. I'm just like banking on getting like a decent loss. If you sell Kench, you lose a lot of power. Like you get a little bit of temporary power. And then you like lost all your mythic stacks on a two-star Kench, who is pretty strong. If I can kill everyone but the Bard, that's why I angled my uh, Lilia away. Am I alive? 
Oh, moving the lily away from the bard so that we kill everyone else was actually huge. Wait, this guy is one off of Trist 3 with a duplicator. If he gets that, he beats me. I need to hold this Trist. In word and deed. Okay, this guy is mostly physical damage. Bramble. Alright, this is basically the last fight. Anyone do physical damage? Here you go. Wait, where's my Zeke's? Oh, was the Zeke's temporary? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Okay. I'm most likely dead here, but maybe... Oh, he didn't hit. Maybe my Lily gets a crazy angle here. Pray. I'm already happy with fourth. Maybe by some miracle and the healing reduction on this Volibear. If we can kill this Volibear, I win. Wait. Wait. All right. Insane salvage of a ruined game. And I got my Hoi too. All right. It's showtime. Cue the music. Bard three again. I mean, this time I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm probably fucked. I, I took a Bramble to win that matchup. But like the it, Bramble's not that useful here. Actually, I have an idea. What if my Nautilus gets him? This time I need to try for the snipe. Lily needs to somehow kill the Nautilus or the Bard. Any chance for a miracle? Any chance? My Annie's still alive. Oh, huge stun. Is there any chance? Come on, Annie! Come on! We're splitting our aggro too much! No! No! Do something, Lilia! You are so close! No! Man, you know what's the craziest part? That's a that's a Kench too. <laughs> that unkillable thing. I even had two sources of anti-heal. That was a Kench too. He didn't hit, and that's how strong he was. I mean, I'm, I'm very happy to get third there. I think we got an insane salvage for, like, what was a pretty fucked game. When is the deadline? Uh, midnight. So I have enough time to play... Three or four games. Wait, how many minutes do I have? I have two hours and 40 minutes, which is 160 minutes. If each game of TFT is about 35 minutes. Yeah, uh, four games. So I have four games. It's looking really bad. That one eighth place when I went level nine had a really strong board. Low rolled one fight and died and went eighth instead of like third. That one like cost me the boot camp. The other games, like some of them I just like didn't play well. Some of them I was really unlucky. That one, that one uh, level 9 game where, like, everybody was 1 HP, I was level 9, and I low-rolled one fight, I, like, didn't move my set one step to the right, and it costed me the entire game. It costed me, like, a net, like, 70 LP. It's like, instead of going third, or even first, because I was the only one who made it to 9, uh, instead of doing that, you, like, low-rolled one fight, and you went 8th. If I, if I had, like, just won that fight game, or even top forward it, I would have already been safe. So I'm very sad. But now because of that game, or because I failed that game, I have to climb about 80 LP. 
uh, in four games. So I need to go like third, 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 third. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. What are your odds of advancing to the next round? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the odds of me making it to the next day is 17%. Hello, Skirmish Lol. Hello, Ninja Squirtly. Thanks for the prime. I already know my build. Mythic, Arcanist. It's almost exactly the same build I played last time. Like that. <laughs> Give me Kogma, Cho'Gath, Malphite. Give me like two of those. Okay, one. But yeah, Kogma. It's actually like the perfect Kogma game. Uh, let's see what everyone else got. Mm, faded. Sniper, Bruiser. This guy is crazy. Altruist, Story Weaver. And Voker, that's so free. Fortune, Sniper. Kindred. Okay, no one got anything too good except for that one guy. Yeah, only one guy got anything good. Not too bad. Finished. Mm, shit. I didn't hit like any of my units. I hit one Kogma. And I, I, I basically have to play it. Play around your dummy or die. Gunplay is good. Spirits are calling. Mythic crown. Okay, please let me be the one who hits sharing is caring. Please let me be the one who hits sharing is caring. Dang it. Well, I'm sad. I know exactly what I have to play this game because of my, tar my target dummy. And I got nothing. Well, let's just go ahead and sell and uh, set up for later, I guess. Yep. What is sharing is carrying? Uh, oh no, this guy hit sharing is carrying. How many other people hit sharing is carrying? Two? Okay. It's the be it's the best augment in the game by far. You take it like like you should never skip it if you see it. You, you always click it instantly no matter what if you see it. It's that strong. There are there are zero situations where there is a better augment. The numbers on it are just like so overtuned. You get two gold per round and your opponent gets one. Elena will permanently empower one one tier of champions. Oh, what? oh my god! No four costs or no one cost? All right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna do four costs and then. All right. Okay, so I'm not gonna do Kogma reroll. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to flex to Lilia then, and then get to this board. There we go. 
it's doable. I'm just gonna have to like take up the ass for a while, but like I took stationary support, so we were expecting to take up the ass anyway. I I, I think it's winnable. Uh, I just get like beyond tilted whenever it's silver augment because you have about like a 10% chance of finding sharing is caring. And like, if you don't find it, you already know some other guy found it or even two people like in this game, you already know they found it and they're just gonna like shit on you. You can't really play for our first place here. That's reserved for sharing is caring. I mean, okay, let's be real. You you can beat it. You just have to play significantly better than them. I uh, to put it in perspective, sharing is caring used to be one gold per round, and your opponent gains one gold, and that was already an above average silver augment. I would still take it most of the time if I was offered sharing is caring at one gold. They then doubled it to two gold per round without increasing any downsides at all. So it's just two gold per round, and your opponent gets one. So every player who gets sharing is caring goes to like. Uh, level 650 gold on Krugs. So like, every time it's Silver Augur, I'm just like, man, I am so sad that I am not the one who hit. Sorry, I know I complain about it a lot. I just really want to gain LP. And knowing that like I lost the Silver Augment lottery makes me so sad. But I'll shut up. How would you nerf it? Just bring it back to one. It was already above average. It was already above average at one. I'm gonna bring in a group of live performers performing the Dog Jam playlist. Sit back, enjoy the ride, it's gonna be a while. I need to just like int for a while until I get my stationary support, until I get my Lilia. We're gonna play around these four four costs and that's, that's gonna be like the end game. It, it will be very strong if we hit it. It will be very strong. I just have to get there. I need an Archangel on my Lilia. I got a pause champ in the chat. I pre level to five for my level five Lilia or Orn or Nautilus or Annie. Boom! It has been a while since I last high rolled a four cost. I think I'm due, guys. I'm due. Okay, I'm begging you for an Archangels, but I'll take a blue buff. I'll take an Adaptive Helm. Actually, Adaptive Helm would be sick. I could put it on Kog'Maw and then not put it on Lilia. Okay, I think that's fine too. 
Good tank item. All right. Thank you, DDD Roscoe. Thank you for the sub. Welcome back. Thank you for the 98 months. Yeah, two more until the big one hundo. Welcome back. All right, I'm going to itemize Kench. Remember that earlier Kench that we lost? It was a Kench 2. Let me make sure I have all the correct units. Oh, wait, this is the Explorer. Uh, Udyr, Nautilus. Okay, Legendaries. All right, I'm not going to put the Legendaries. There's too many units. Um, Alune, Annie, Orn, Kogma, Nico, Silas, apparently. I'm getting sharing is carrying. I just got one gold. Oh yeah, I don't need this Caitlyn actually. I'm already at two sniper. Nice catch. Okay, I'm begging you. Mythic or Invoker Crest. Mythic or Invoker Crest. Mythic or Invoker Crest. Mythic or Invoker Crest. Mythic or Invoker. Um. It's not Triforce. The Golden Remover. Uh, I kind of like that, because then you don't have to, like, remove units. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, like, on average weak here. I don't have to sell Kog'Maw. Uh, Exiles, one. I feel like I'd rather position around Unified than Exiles. I have four Arcanists. Oh, wait. This is definitely better. My poor little one star Kogi. Would you still pick sharing his carry on stage three? It can't be offered in stage three, but if it were offered to me, yes, it's that strong. Of the past. Okay, pretty good synergy so far. All right, this is where I need like the miracle, the Lilia on Carousel. Oh, I'm about to get my target dummy. Udyr grants you two components based on the chosen spirit. Um, well. Wait, do I want tank items or magic? I'm gonna do magic. Oh, I had a Galio. Oh, I got exactly what I wanted. Archangels, holy shit. The last time I ate a plant was never. I should have played Galio over Alune. Kongma doesn't actually benefit from Invoker. It's weird because he is an Invoker, but he doesn't benefit from it. It's because um, at two Invoker, he gains five mana, which brings him to 25 mana, and then like it doesn't actually do anything. Okay, the sexiest thing that can happen is a lock. Lilia on Carousel. Any on Carousel is also pretty good. Any on Carousel is... like I'll take any four cost because my items are complete right now. All right, Lilia on carousel. Lilia on carousel. Dang it. Uh, pretty sure I want belt here. Dang it, there was three, there's three four costs and none of them were in my build except for Silas, but I already have a Galio who fulfills the same purpose. The only reason you play Silas is for uh, for Umbral, but like it's not a big diff. Okay, wait, I'm about to get my target dummy. Hopefully it's a good frontline item. Okay, that is the worst frontline item. It's okay though, I level up.
Dude, I feel so bad for this Kog'Maw. This poor little Kogiwagi is, it's a Kog'Maw one with three items and he's like expected to do everything. This poor guy. Do you still need mana item even with Zeke's? Well, I mean, you don't need mana items in general for Lilia because you'll have four Invoker. So you just want three damage items. So what I have right now is actually really good. Uh, you could replace the JG with a mana item, but I like I had this in the moment, so I'm down to slam it. Come on, give me a Lilia one. Cho'Gath offers you a boon if you sate his hunger. I don't think I can take this. I I have a lot of rolling to do. And my items are like decent enough. Oh my god, it actually Oh my god. She's here! Dude, you know what's crazy? She was in the fifth shop slot. So if I'd taken the offer, I would have lost my Lilia without ever realizing it. Holy crap! I would have never known. Oh okay, yeah, I should probably do this now. Malfoy might be better than... Ah, oh, whatever. Hello, Colorblind Joey. Hello, Salt and Potatoes. Okay, one star Lilia just like transforms this game. Because I got that four cost boon from earlier. Okay, I do need to get four invokers though. But yeah, this Lilia is so optimal. Last guy rolled down, we beat him. Box box, I always take that boon even with rolling left to do because it's so good. I mean, the correct answer is sometimes you're supposed to take and sometimes you're not. Uh, in this one, I'm pretty sure, like, regardless of the Lily in the fifth slot thing, I had so much rolling to do. It's like, do you want your average roll down to be like 20% worse? Or do you want three items now? Or is that worth uh, getting th three components now? It's it's hard to say. I'm pretty sure we made the correct choice here because I'm about to roll a shit ton. Good job, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna level now. What am I missing? Oh wow. Oh, I'm missing an Annie. Oh, and a Nautilus. Oh, and a Kog'Maw. Yes. Okay. I... I still... Have, I'm sitting on a lot of pairs. I don't need... A, I don't need a Lowey. The 7 Mythic is pretty nice. I think I just go 9 and play Azir. And then I need Annie over, um... Annie over Alune. How strong is 10 Mythic? 10 Mythic, you, inst you instantly win the game. There are a few traits that are like that. Oh, come on, 1-star Cog! Oh my god! Keeping my streak there is so huge. Okay. Okay, wait a second. I'm in a spot where I could consider it, actually. Sorry, guys. I wanted to consider it, but I gained way too much from this one. I'm sorry. I know it's a little boring. But I need to win the game. <laughs> yeah, like the egg is fun, but like without my guaranteed like Lilia 2, 
and like the four invoker like i i have to do this i'm sure you understand i have a boot camp to win or at least not get last in <laughs> my synergies become beautiful with new recruit i had to man i was sitting on so many pairs of forecast i wanted to hit the lily naturally and then dupe someone else it's fine Okay, this is such a beautiful end game. The fact that like I I chose the forecast, I chose late game augments, like the stationary support, and we like lost streaked and played played around this dummy. Everything worked out beautifully. I have so many forecasts. I hit my two stars, I got almost best in slot. And I hit the carry. Hello, not jewels, welcome. What's today's viewer bootcamp cutoff? Great question. Ask me after this game and we'll take a look together. For now, I want to focus on this game. This guy went Fortune Crest or Fortune Crown. Wait, are you a psycho on 4 2? He has 37 health. Does it give him 7 fortune? It does. Oh, wait. 7 fortune? What does that do exactly? Gain extra rewards and more luck no matter what and hold a festival every turn. Wait, I want to watch. Is he going to like get insane rewards next turn? Because he's kind of getting owned right now. Hopefully... Well, I really want to get first, so hopefully he dies here. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? What do I want here? Uh, TG. Okay, I want to see what this guy gets. Every turn, I think he's going to get like a gold augment. We need to kill him fast. What are you, What's your reward? Let's see. Oh, he got money and a lot of four costs. That's not that great, honestly. Let's move. I've got people to expire. Should I... Oh. Who should I TG? Should I TG my Orn? Or... No, no, my Orn. Should I... It's definitely got... It's got to be this guy, right? I was thinking about Annie because she might get two-starred. But Nautilus gets seven Mythic. Nautilus gets seven Mythic buffs. So, like, TG actually seems like, like it makes a lot of sense on him. But, like, the actual answer is, like, whoever you two-star. So, like, I kind of wanted to roll here and see which one I two-starred. But also, like, I have dreams of going 9, and I'm pretty sure Nautilus is the best one right now. Hello, E. John Musk. Hello, Fuming at Life. Welcome. Oh, no. The guy is the Fortune Guy 1. The Fortune Guy 1. Oh, no. It's beginning. He's level 8, 50 gold, and he's winning every single round. What did you get this time? Oh, no. Another 30 gold. Oh. Ready for this? Oh, hey Nautilus, could you uh, hand over the TG? Oh no, guys, I can't get first. I mean, I've got 69 HP, which is pretty nice. Uh, I can play for a second. Wait, he got another fortune? He's at eight fortune. Okay, I mean, second place is fine. Yeah, what if I sneak in a Lilia 3? If I get an early Hui, I could do it. Oh, he lost! He lost! Oh my god. Oh my god. We all must work together. One of us can beat him, right? Guys, come on. Oh, it's probably gonna be too... Oh, he's getting even stronger. Oh god! He's getting an item in 30 gold every round. 
if he is able to process his role, like, he's playing like a two search first, which is pretty weak. If he's able to like pivot to like a good board, we're so fucked. If I'm going up against him, I might actually roll to try to hit two-star Annie and Nautilus. Oh, another TG. TG or Steadfast Heart. Oh, I got a Hui. Heart is empty without empathy. Okay, honestly, isn't it kind of hard? I'm pretty sure the the Hui has to go in over Nautilus. Cog, Cog is Invoker. If I if I lose this Cog, I lose so much power on my Lilia. <laughs> Cho'gath. If I lose Cho'gath, I lose a lot of power on my uh, my Orn. I mean, that's probably like the least bad solution though. That's probably the least painful solution. I mean, yeah, I'm down. The power of a dragon. He's at three health. Somebody has to beat him before he gets nine fortune. What do you get? What do you get? Oh god. No! He got a tome! No, 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 no. Not a fortune crest. Not a fortune crest. Okay, he's thinking. That means he didn't hit the fortune. Okay. As you wish. Wait. Okay, I'm actually down to just like. I'm just gonna level. And play Hoi. Is there a nine fortune? Wait, this guy nice forty nine says there is no nine fortune Lumafau. Okay, so you, you clearly don't watch videos. How dare you Lumafau me? There is a nine fortune trait. It's like a secret that you have to see it for yourself, uh, and you instantly win the game. It gives you a ridiculous amount of power. Oh, they're all one HP. No, they're all one HP. Okay, I'm gonna just donkey roll, because I need to uh, try to kill this guy. Okay. Yeah, I'll sell. Oh! I should've played Udyr. I should've played Udyr over um, Cho'gath. Hello, Emily Wang. Nice to see you here. Okay, so I need Azir, I need Udyr. Does the counter still go up? No. I could put this Nico in there. I think I'm actually down. I'm down to put this Nico here. It'll, it'll give me two gold. It'll just give me a Nico to duplicate. Um, Heavenly Crest is good. Dryad is good. Ghostly doesn't do anything. Oh wait, Dryad? It's pretty late for Dryad.
Oh fuck. Azir and Lilia should not be next to each other. Might get AoE'd. Oh perfect. I faced the sharing as Karen guy. Maybe if I win, I can get this Lilia. I think I need, I need to try for something like Lilia 3, even though I'm like out of money. It's the only way I can get first. Oh my god, this Yone. Oh fuck. This Yone like perfectly sniped my carries. I I can't deal with him. He scales to infinity, I don't have single target damage. To be seen. Okay, well, I'm I'm almost guaranteed facing. Oh, he definitely wins. He he's made it to like incredible levels of power. Damn, we were so close to killing him off. Well, all I can do is hope I don't face him now. Yeah. What the? Huh? What the? Drop Cho? Yeah, I'm trying to drop Cho for Udyr, who I haven't hit yet. Well, I, I had one earlier, but I had to skip it because I needed to hit the other thing. Oh, losing this is so bad. Oh, that might be the end of the game for me. Okay, Lily is too contested for me to hit three star. All right, just pray for something. I need like a Gwyn Suza Zero or something. Stop the fortune guy. I mean, I was strong enough too before he got too strong, but I never got to face him, so now he wins. Man, I spent so much effort playing around my, my uh, dummy. I'm pretty sure I'm going like fourth or even, even maybe fifth. Art is empty without empathy. Oh my god, I'm facing him now. Oh, I'm facing his ghost. I'm probably still dead. He hit 9 fortune. He finally hit 9 fortune and now I face him? Dude! Why couldn't I face him when he was weak? If I take 18 damage here, I'm actually gonna be so sad. Please at least give me a 4th. 4th, I can still survive in the boot camp if I play the rest of the games well. 5th, it's just over. Okay, someone went minus 19. Wait, I won. Wait, what the heck? What is this? What? What is this? Wait, I'm gonna- I can't kill it in time! Wait, guys, hurry! Kill it! What? I took damage for that! Are you- are you kidding me? Oh god! Alright, come on, hit something. I'm facing him again?! Man, there was a small chance that I survived the, the loss last time before the, the tie. I mean, is there anything I can do? Why did I only face him after he hit 9 fortune, man? Alright, well, 4th is fine. Maybe if I kill like a lot of units and this 3rd place guy loses by a lot, you know what I mean? Maybe. Lilia is pretty good at like killing off all the weak units, so maybe... Where is all this money coming from? Oh god! Okay, minus 13. I'm gonna be so sad if the seven or eight damage I took actually makes the difference between getting third and fourth. Okay, it actually didn't. 
I lost by 10, so I, I feel a little bit better. Oh, I took 11 damage from the tree. Oh, then it actually did matter, and I'm pretty sad. That's so stupid! <laughs> There's just an invincible tree! Even though I beat the ghost, I just couldn't kill the tree. And it was about like half a second too. What a sad way to lose 10 LP. Didn't watch the 9 Fortune Gamer. Bro, I got a boot camp to stay alive in. I gotta, I gotta queue up immediately. We've had a lot of frustrating games today. A lot of games I did not feel like I get to play the game today. And like, that's just how TFT is sometimes. TFT is a very high variance game where you will walk in with like a certain amount of LP and you could randomly walk out with 200 more or 200 less than you started with. And like, over the course of many days, it will even out if you are a good player. It'll like converge on a certain result if you're a good player. If you are a very good player, you will tend to gain more than you lose each day. But it doesn't change the fact that in the short term, you can just have one day of like the worst games of your life. That's what I feel like is going on right here. So many games where it's like, okay, all I have to do is like hit this really easy to hit unit to win, and then I fail to hit it. All I have to do is like face the fortune guy before he cashes out and hit something crazy, and then I didn't. And then he hit nine fortune, and then I faced him twice in a row. Like, there's, there's so many ways that I can gain so much more LP, and we just like fail the RNG check. You also missed the start of the set. Yes, missing the first two days of the set was really sad. I could be like 300 LP higher if I had t more time to play. All right, let's take a look at the boot camp standings. I told I told somebody I would uh, look at where the viewers are. All right, viewers that are in the community leaderboard, give me an eye. So half of the viewers are gonna die today. Where where is that cutoff? Uh, oh, we we're not. Oh man, we need to get this fixed for next time. But we're not currently showing like where the elimination cutoff is. Uh, the elimination cutoff is at 2048. So let's scroll up. Oh, a lot of people signed up. He'll donate you $100 if you start the game on a 10 game loss streak. No. Alright, so the cutoff right now is Silver 1. Pichu XD. Silver 1, 11 LP. Silver one is the first cutoff, and after that, it'll it'll cut off again to have fifty percent. So after that, it'll go to right here, one thousand twenty-four. So the cutoff to make the next day is gold one. Oh, that's rough. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I have time for three games. I need to like go third, second, second, or something to stay alive. Is it too late to sign up? Yes, the signups closed yesterday. There was four days to sign up. Don't worry, we will do this again next time and we'll do it better. Solid warm up. Who's next? Yes. Hello, Mr. Matic. Thanks for the nine months. No one is promised tomorrow. Hello, Sacred Ninja. to this up uh if i get a cloak or a bow i'm in a pretty good spot here fate hunts you today maybe faded yasuo there's also a ribbon ribbon's in general a high priority unit this one's got fire <laughs> burdens of the past oh the game chose me Oh, 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 oh. Spirits 
Sniper calling. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's do this. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. I have eight traits on my board. And then if I get Faded, I'll play Faded. If I get Storyweaver, I'll play Storyweaver. Altruist is a good flex. Bruiser is good flex. Duelist is also playable. So of these eight traits, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get two from in this tome. I'll set it up, and then I'll see what I can do. And then also, I've got Sharing is Carrying, which is crazy. I feel like I'd always prefer Faded, because Storyweaver is so contested. A lot of people are going to play it. Okay. All right. Pause, champ. Give me Faded or Storyweaver. Okay, Faded. Faded. Easy. Let me, let me scout really quick. I'm, I'm happy to just Econ now. I don't need to slam anything crazy here. Uh, if I have Faded, I already know exactly what the game plan is. It's probably my second best build, or like in terms of placements. You just play every single Faded unit. It's so easy. You play every single Faded unit. Am I missing someone? Set. Okay, you play every single faded unit, and then you play Orn, Alawi, and Lissandra. And you just like play some combination of that. Okay, I'm actually gonna sell this Kindred so I can make 20. Actually, no, I'd rather sell this guy if I'm gonna... Yeah, if I'm gonna play for like a loose streak, I'd rather keep the faded unit. Does the emblem give any passive? Yeah. Restores 3% health every 3 seconds. It's not very good. Okay. Imagine there's another spat. I just get two faded crests. Holy crap. How do you know who to connect with faded? Well, I'll tell you right now, if you're playing Syndra, you should always connect Syndra with Ari. That's because they're dating. And it'd be rude to separate them. No, the real reason is because otherwise she doesn't do enough damage. But uh, until then, it's just like usually your two best units. Spat, tier, spat, tier, spat, tier, spat, tier, spat, tier. Okay, tier. Box, box, I don't want to be annoying, but the faded bonus on the emblem is really bad compared to the others. Have a look. Uh, I don't need to. I already had a look. I know it's bad. You should never link the faded emblem. Actually, I might have not needed to that. I've got sharing this carrying. Okay, well, I'm, I'm happy to lose streak here. Congratulations, Shogath. You are faded. For now. I, I'm not going to slam anything yet. Kindred will be my, my Sindra item holder. Dude, thank God I was the one who uh, got sharing his carrying. I need, I need like a good chance to play for it first, and I feel like Cinder can do it. It's really weird because normally when you put like weak units together onto a board, it like loses to big endgame flex boards. Oh fuck! I could have saved some HP. It loses to like endgame flex boards, but 
Uh, Cinder is actually like very useless without the seven faded. The seven faded is ridiculously powerful because when you link faded, uh, seven faded, Ari and Syndra, you get 90 AP and 30% bonus damage, which adds up to a lot of bonus damage. This world needs it is hope. a lot of damage. Hello, is it Gulen? And like without it, she can't one shot people. So like you actually can have Syndra be your only DPS as long as you like play around her. So then you'll have like a random useless Ari, useless Kindred, and like they don't really do anything. They just like die instantly, but it's it's actually worth the, the unit slots because otherwise your Ari just can't do it. Uh, your Syndra can't do it. I've tried doing like Syndra with like three faded, just like Ari, Syndra, and Thresh, or Ari, Syndra, and- Oh my God! We're just sharing is carrying 60, 90 each other. Wait, I can, oh my God, okay. We just got three gold. Wait, I need to face this guy more often. Okay, I lost a lot of HP though. I probably could have slammed like a rod and saved some. That's not bad. Could have saved like four HP. Death is not always the release. Oh, I just realized I didn't even link anyone. I definitely could have saved four HP. All right, give me Adaptive Helm or Blue Buff. The weft and we, the fate guides. Hard spoil the chase. Gunblade. And then this item is decent. Need to kill off the chains. I think I'm gonna go seven extra on roll a little bit. Need to hit like at least five phases to start playing. Okay. The augment was really lucky. The item, like the faded crest, really lucky, but my actual items are pretty bad. I guess I could slam a vowel, but I, I really need um Syndra items. Wait. Uh, let's go to the Tactics Set Tools Explorer. It's probably just tons of stats. Okay, Albert, just hit like, like two good units. Spirits are calling. This story is not yet finished. These are absolutely not good units. Are you serious? I didn't even hit a faded unit. Wait, this is so bad. I didn't hit a two star, I didn't hit a faded unit. I didn't hit a single four cost unit to like put my faded spat on. Okay, let me look at the explorer. So Syndra, two star items. Blue buff and adaptive helm are both really common. I definitely need to like roll a little bit here, at least until I hit one like Arcanist. 
<laughs> it's actually so insane that I... Okay. Alright, I finally got one. Okay, I mean... I don't know what to say. This is really fucking sad. That took me forever to hit. I, it took me like 30 gold at 7. Like, I still don't have a two star. That was actually just such a pathetic roll down. I, I have my entire team, like the, the most relevant 10 units bookmarked. I didn't hit like a single one of them in 30 gold. We are actually so fucked. I didn't even hit a two star. I'm still sitting on one star everything besides the also. Oh God. Okay, I said like Mortdog chose me to be the one to be sharing his caring. But, like I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. Pretty sure we just lose. I'm not gonna be able to stabilize this board. Please Sindra on Carousel. Dang it. Not a single one of my four costs. All right, well, I'm pretty sure the answer now is to take it up the ass. Take it up the ass for two rounds, go eight, and then just pray that you spike really hard. That, that's like the only thing I can think of. Because if you roll at seven even further, like you just have no chance. You will you will not hit Syndra two at seven. You can maybe hit one star Syndra. And I was hoping I would just hit like a one star anything. Oh, wait. Adapted home. Is this a chance? Burdens of the past. Random Udyr might actually make the diff. All I can do is set up for the level 8. This is so sad. Remember that guy who was like... Oh, combat blessing? Probably need AP. Thanks, Ari. Remember that guy who was like, I'll give you $100 if you start the next game 0 and 10? I'm like unironically doing that because I just couldn't hit anything. I even rolled to try to prevent it. Oh, God. I'm still sitting at four faded. How is this possible, man? How is this possible? I'm uncontested as well. All right, well, lose one more. Hopefully I still have two lives. I go eight and then I just send it. Hopefully I get a one unit loss. If I win, it's also not too bad. Crap, that is not a one unit loss. Okay, 19 health is two lives at least. All right, Albert. You better hit on this roll down. You need to hit like three Cinders and 20 gold. That's like how desperate we are. We were actually so fucked. All right. I'm going to sell. Uh, I'll hang on to the Riven and Galio. But I'll be ready to sell them if I have to. If you win this game, it'll donate you $500. Oh shit, he actually donated. I did not expect that. Considering I said no earlier. Alright, let me just go win that really quick. I got you. Okay. A tome? Okay. Ah, 
I herald the greatest blessing. Fate hunts you today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Please win this. Fuck. One life. Thanks, set. Okay, well, I hit zero Sintras. <laughs> This might actually just be the saddest game of all time. Pretty sure we are just going 8th place. Unless I hit like the nuts here, like a set, a Cinder 2. Too many things have to go right here. Oh my god. Alright, I mean, I'm at one life. The only way I can actually like win this game is to go nine from this spot. If you keep rolling, you lose the game no matter what. You'll lose like the moment you'll win immediately, and then as soon as somebody like patiently gets to nine, you lose. The only way for me to win this game is to sit on this board to nine. Like thank god I hit the three Syndras. Wish I hit it or wish I hit one Syndra one round earlier so I could have kept two lives. Like my combat augments are insane. Tons of stats gifts from the fallen. It's it's really good. The scary part is one bad fight and it's all Jover. I could go anywhere from 8th to 1st tier and it definitely leans towards 8th. I was able to also uh, make use of this Behemoth spat. Obviously I wanted a, a faded spat, but I made it work. I had to drop the 2-star uh, Lowey though, which felt a little bad. Uh, now I need to go 9 and then just play like anything. I might actually play like uh, set over someone, like a set over Aphelios. Yeah, I might play set over Aphelios. And then uh, play a Warden. I should do this. Actually, maybe I should itemize Yasuo. Behemoth Yasuo is probably better than 2-star Orn. Oh, 1-star Orn. Alright, pray. One life and a dream. One life and a dream. I wanted to get a rod for Syndra, but I need the I need this set. Is it over Kindred? No, Kindred's Dryad. It's over Yasuo. Do you want a Link set and Thresh? No, it has to be Ari and Syndra. Otherwise, you don't do enough damage. You, I promise you, you won't do enough damage. My Thresh is one star. This is so risky. But like, I cannot afford to roll here. I have to go nine. I have to go nine and get more frontline. 
if we die here, like, so be it, right? Like, I'm so far away from the next placement. Rolling down is such a bit bad play here. Pray that my Udyr and Syndra got this. We do have a shit ton of combat augments. Tons of stats gifts from the Fallen. At the end of the fight, Syndra and Udyr go crazy. Is that why whenever I play Faded, the damage from Syndra seems so low? Yes, if you use a frontline bond, or even like a Syndra and Set bond, for like half frontline, half backline, she's too weak. You need the Ari bond for 90 AP. The last time I, ate a plant. I could level now, but... No, I, I need the income. I have to just risk it. Let's move. I've got people to inspire. I'll roll twice and see if I can hit an Orin or Ready for this? Okay. It might actually be an Orin 2 diff. If I take a one unit loss, I think I should survive. I am so nervous. Holy shit. My set is getting stronger and stronger. If we make it past like the critical mass point, we could actually win out. Come on. So there is a bug where Syndra loses her ult every now and then. I hope that doesn't happen here. Okay. The first major checkpoint complete. We are alive. The gunblade's really nice on Syndra. It makes so she doesn't randomly die. Okay, I'm just leveling it up here. The best unit I can get is a Nautilus. But I'll, I'd be down for like two sets or two Udyrs. In general, these units are really good. Two Udyrs especially, because it's Behemoth. Oh. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. <sighs> I need a Syndra item. I'll take anything. Anything. Giant Slayer is good. Blue buff is good. Uh, any AP. I'll even take like a Morellos if I... Okay, Morellos is really sad. Come on, come on, come on. This could be the greatest comeback of all time with my boot camp life on the line. Cloak? Uh oh. That's not good. No, no, no. I need an item first. No. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? Oh. Wait, I can go 10. I need a spark! I kind of didn't want to put on set, but I feel like I have to. Okay. I feel like I have to. He's just too many stats. Okay, come on. I mean, like, just go 10. I, I could roll down for Udyr too, I guess. But I, I, I want to gamble. If I want to go first, I'm pretty sure I do need to go 10. Come on, live to the carousel. Get the Syndra item. The problem with set with the spark is that he jumps into the back line, which is actually kind of nice because it helps Udyr and, like, Udyr and set work together to kill the back line. But uh, Syndra doesn't get the spark. What are you going to put at 10? Literally just a second Udyr is huge. Okay, if I win the next two fights, I should be able to go 10. Wait. No, I need, I need to roll, actually. I need to roll. There's a couple things I can hit. There's a couple things. I need to hit Thresh 2. Uh, Syndra 3 is an option. Aphelios 3 is an option. I, the I need to roll. I need to roll. I, uh, there's, there's a decent chance I die here. Also, you can, if you hit two Udyrs, you just win the game. Oh god. Syndra getting a little low. Syndra getting very low! Getting very low! Very low! Okay. Okay. Calm down. That was really close. Calm down. <gasps> it's because Orin printed her a death cap. That was the only reason I stayed alive. Five hundred IQ Orin. All right, come on, come on. Let's move. I've got to Give me a U. Give me a U. Such power. Thank 
Strength of spirit! Come on. Faded, two-star Udyr. Two-star Behemoth set. Two-star Syndra. Make me proud. Syndra's getting kind of low. Syndra's getting very low! Please! One more cast. Please, please, please. Kill them! Come on! You're so close! Come on, come on, come on! Oh my god! Oh, oh if I didn't fucking roll... All right, Cinder item. Nothing? I have to take this adaptive. Wow, really? Set an Ari link? That would instantly lose me the game. I need the damage. Set Cinder link loses me the game. I don't need more Omni Vamp. I need, I need the 90 AP. It's 30 AP times 3. It's huge. Otherwise, I do no damage. Alright, give me a Thresh. Oh, wow. I didn't, I didn't have that. Such potential! Syndra will never be the lowest, so Kog'Maw shouldn't be sniping her. Alright, two Adaptive Helms isn't bad, but definitely, I definitely was hoping for like a Giant Slayer or a Death Cap or a Jewel Gauntlet. But look at this set! He's in there, baby! Oh, that was scary. Wait, Caitlyn 3. Oh my god, the Caitlyn 3 almost sniped me. But somebody stopped it, thankfully. Alright. No point in rolling now. I hit every upgrade. Just save up some money and try for Sinja 3. Man, everybody's alive. Everybody's one life. Not a single Sinja in sight. Wow, a single Sinja in sight. Okay, I learned from Asa that you want the Udyr to immediately get procced. His ability is very complicated. Forty-one percent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, all I can do is hope that this set Syndra Udyr combo, just 3v5. Hang in there, set. You need to live for the spark value. You need to live. Nice. Is he dead? Please play cutscene. Oh, it was one unit. Oh my god. I barely survived. Yeah, the Syndra is actually going infinite. Yeah, my heart can't take this. Holy crap. Nobody's dead! Everybody's one life! <laughs> okay, Syndra's uncontested. I can do this. I can do this. I need two S's. My set is getting stronger and stronger. Alright, just get like a TG or something tanky for Orn or... Nautilus, probably Orn, because it's Behemoth. The power of a dragon. All right. Why do you keep up? Monsters are everywhere. I will not hold back.
I should actually roll right now. Just because people are going to die, put their units back in the pool. I'm more likely to hit right now. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. This is so close. Come on, Syndra. Please. Clutch it up. Clutch it up, Syndra. Walk up and finish him off. Yes. Oh my god, top four. Yeah, the set killed the Lilia. All right. Yeah, this Gunblade is so much value. I know I said I was going to put the item on Orin, but then I realized Nautilus is in the right spot. No prison can hold me. Such power. Let's do this. <laughs> what a comeback. Just relink it just to be extra safe. Three star Syndra. Actually, unreal comeback. Actually, just one of the greatest games of TFT. One life, zero Syndras, into nine. And we, we, so many of these fights were close calls too. If I didn't roll when I did, I would have barely died. Cinder like barely clutched it up against some of the stronger players. Give him the stare. <laughs> All right. What do you got? Oh, I got everything. This is the guy who almost beat me. If I didn't roll earlier for the Udyr 2, I would have just died when I faced him. That's actually a Pog. I was here Pog moment. Wow, I hit a very contested Nautilus. He, he has four. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Thanks for the gift sub. Hey, Nodders, hey, Nodders. Thank you very much, Elliot Pison. Let's see the Cinder 3 in action. Enjoy this moment for one last fight. Okay, never mind. That's fine, honestly. Too many things happened. Too many clutch things happened, I can't even be that upset. What a game. From 8th to 1st in a 12 whatever how many win streak? I don't even know. Nobody died for so long, I almost died like 6 times. Everything barely worked out in time. Pretty sure I lose to this guy at the end if I didn't hit the Syndra. Alright, hello Forceive. You think I was gonna donate $500? Let's wait like a second and see. Yeah, what a hype game. I was so upset earlier. Hello, Ryshore. Wait, he did? Oh, he did! It just got- the message got cut off. Anonymous donated $500? Congrats! Holy shit. Thank you so much. I really didn't expect any money because when you made the offer, I was like, I'm not throwing for your entertainment. And then we ended up throwing for entertainment! But not on purpose, we just didn't hit anything. I appreciate it. I appreciate you sticking to your word. I, I honestly like was not expecting any money. I'm gonna use the $600 that you just donated on... Quick, name an item worth $600. A high-end smartphone often falls around the $600 mark, offering advanced features, camera technology, and processing power. Give me something more interesting. I'm going to use that $600 on a... I'm going to spend it on food. Thank you for the $600, Anonymous. What a game. Hello, Arnold. Thank you for the 28 months. All right. Guys, my bootcamp dreams are alive. I have two games? Wait, where do I? I, I, have, I have time for two games if I queue it up right now. And for me, the cutoff right now is Emerald 1, 20 LP. I have two games to go from where I am now. Emerald 3, 88 LP. So I have to gain 32 LP. 
In two games, I have to gain 32 LP. That's like a third and a fourth. Wait. Wait, am I looking at it wrong? Wait, why is everyone saying 132? What? Wait, Emerald won? Wait, what? It says on the website Emerald 2, or wait, Emerald 2, but then when I click on it, it says Emerald 1? Wait, what the heck? Wait. Oh, did that guy like just get a first place or something? Such a waste. Okay, let's worry about it later. All I know is I'm gonna play the best I can. I've got time for two games. We can we can do the math later. I'm gonna play the ad break, I'll see you guys in a bit. Can somebody else look at the website and tell me how much LP I have to gain in two games? Oh, story weavers. Oh, story weavers. Oh, story weavers. This world needs hope. Hello, jocular. Hello, Summoner Baka. Welcome. Oh my god, please let me be the one who gets sharing. When life gives you sour bandle berries, make bandle brew. Let's do this. Watch this. I sure I didn't have to do that. I've got sharing is caring. Never a dull moment. I need a sliver. Three, four. Pretty sure I can win streak really hard here. Well, I could just wait. I could wait until I hit one upgrade. Yeah, let's wait. Two options I can go for. Option number one, on carousel, I can try to get, um... Actually, I'm kind of down to not play any of these and make 10. Destination is clear. New day, new friends, same old... Okay, I can either itemize my two-star ribbon, or I can itemize my Teemo. I'm pretty sure it's Teemo. I want to get half of an adaptive helm. Thank you. 
Okay, I want half of an adaptive helm. Or just tier in general, I think is good. Uh, or I could take a Riven item. There's a lot of choices. It's probably Cloak, because it's half adaptive, half gargoyle. No, there's a spat? No. Dang it. There was a spat and I didn't int hard enough to get it. Fuck, he also gets whatever he wants because everybody's getting component anvils. You need to get to Emerald 238 LP. Easy. Here? Okay, Gargoyle. So I'm gonna be a lot of people forcing, like, uh, Bard. Because <laughs> it's so easy to get Gwinsus. There's a Lilia player, there's a Bard player. Uh, this looks like Aurelia. I can just do Flex AP. Get a Morgana or something. Sword Weaver Flex. Pretty standard. Try to cap out my board at 9. Done this a million times. A first place gets me safe in the boot camp. A third or fourth place lets me try. Thank God I got Sharing's carrying though. That actually makes me feel like I can do it. I will not falter. Hopefully I win this. Wait, one, two, three. Oh wait. Oh, I. <sighs> I can't make econ. Oh, well, I could if I sell a Lowey pair. But selling a lot of pair is kind of bad here. One, two, three. Yeah, I feel like Alawi 2 is going to be like a win con. Especially if I'm playing AP Flex. She's Arcanist Warden. And Ghostly if I end up wanting to play um, Morgana. I need to keep her. My icon will probably be okay. By the way, was I the only person in this lobby who hit sharing is carrying? Let's go! Let's go! Are you gonna get eliminated? If I get first place here, no. I'm gonna play very aggressively. Of the past. Gonna play for our first. I need a sever. Get trick shot in. Okay, now I want Adaptive Helm. Should be pretty easy to get here. Oh, wow. A rewarded. Okay, let's try to get a Cloak again, because the tier's a bit riskier. I guess you could Shiv. Alright, let's do this. Cloak, and then tier! Uh, Spark. I need a Sivir! Or fuck it, skip straight to Morgana. Hello, NBQQ. Welcome. Okay, two star Lowey is pretty crazy here. This is a very high roll game. None will escape my grasp.
Mm, it's not drop blossom. Support cash. It's probably drilled lotus. Yeah, drilled lotus. Oh. Um. Okay. What's the plan in this game? Uh, no specific plan. I'm playing AP Flex, that's it. Try to keep up. This looks... Alright, I was playing Storm Weaver, but... Uh, I hit this really early Alawi too. So I'm pretty sure now my game plan has changed. Um, now we want to play the Morgana Kane. Oh. Morgana Kane. Uh, I don't remember what it was. What is the Morgana Kane build? Let me go find it. Did I just lose? I think I lost. Wait, 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 wait. One more cast. <gasps> oh. Okay, not the end of the world, but damn. I did not think I was going to lose that. Okay, yeah, not the end of the world. My Econ's still pretty good, and I do have Sherry's carrying. The Kogma almost killed himself with the spark. Uh... Morgana, Kane with Heavenly, or Morgana, Kane with Storyweaver? So there's two variations. They're both averaged here. One of them is like every Heavenly unit, and the other one is Galio, Riven. Galio, Riven, Zyra, Diana, Kha'Zix for Heavenly Reaper, Malphite. Oh, no, not Malphite. I'm missing a unit. Oh, I'm missing Soraka. Yeah, I'm in a pretty good spot for this. Oh, wait! Hang on, this build doesn't even involve Alawi 2. Oh, fuck. The whole reason I wanted to build this is because I thought it, it, you could play around Alawi 2. Yeah, maybe I'm playing Lilia. Maybe I'm playing team. <laughs> Two, three, four. Maybe I'm playing Teemo reroll. Bard. Is there a Teemo reroll build? Oops. Teemo 3, Lux 3? That doesn't sound good at all. I guess you can reroll them together though. Oh, it's a too healthy build? Okay, I, I don't mind just like not playing it. I'm not too attached to this Teemo. Yeah, I, I'd rather not like mess with a new build. Upgrade your next two cost champion or gain gold. Wait. Oh, I could have gotten a team of three. Oh. Burdens of the past. I herald the greatest. That was actually just like, hey, get three teamers. Oh, fuck. Fuck it. I'm going fast nine. Yeah, let's go nine and then do some legendary soup. I'm pretty comfortable with it. I've done it a million times. 
Level 740 gold's pretty good here. I, I played pretty aggressively econ-wise. Or, uh, like, I spent money to level whenever possible. And I lost a lot of econ. The sharing is carrying kind of makes up for it. I, obviously, I was hoping to streak, but I didn't streak. But the sharing is carrying actually, like, offsets it, so it's not too bad. But I'm no longer in, like, the high roll spot I was in before. And what the fuck, that is a level 7 Wukong. And Azir. How? I, that probably wasn't necessary, whatever. I kind of want to take this Thresh too. As a flex play, I'm pretty sure it's good. Crazy I never hit a Sivir. Okay, I'm down to level and like play aggressively because I know I have sharing is caring to get my econ back up. I'll just like buy a good thing, put good thing together. The standard. Wait, I'm out of money. Man, I bought a two-star Soraka, but it was actually like too early to set it up. Please win this. I, I really need to keep this streak. Okay, I need a four-cost AP carry to play around. Ideally Morgana. Okay, I don't think I want to do reinforcement. I'd rather have a combat augment. I didn't Ari. Oh. We are made by our choices. Crap, I'm a little dizzy. I'm gonna throw it all on on you for now while I figure this out. I have, I have so many pieces. I, I definitely think I'm really close. It's not it's not Syndra though. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Morgana. Or uh, no, it's Lilia. It's Lilia. I'm just taking AP. The power of a dragon. Okay, come on. I need like a... Oh. Wait. Legends are told in word and deed.
Okay. I, th I think I can go nine. Please win this. Oh, dang it. My early items are a little scuffed. This board seems weak. Yeah, I just rolled like 60 gold at 8, and I did not hit my AP carries. I needed a Lilia, but I, I can maybe make this work till 9. I'm not, there's no way I'm actually playing Aurelia with, with Spark and Morellos, but it will hopefully be good enough for now. I can't really afford to roll anymore. two more maybe even three go nine i i don't feel confident about this game at all though that roll down was so bad i have like pieces of what could be really good later uh let me start setting up in the team planner we pivoted like eight times and i rolled quite a lot and didn't hit um it's nautilus lilia orn diana soraka and then after that it's all legendaries mm. that was gonna hit a three-star bard Oh. Every flower blooms to be seen. I need to play a Lunar. Hawk, my brain's too slow. I'm too nervous. Knowing that I have to play for our first tier. Ice is not literally a first. I think a top like three is fine. Okay, so then what legendaries do I want? Azir, Rakan, uh, Wukong, Udir. Set will be fine. Quay is probably fine as well. But like, I'm basically buying every legendary. It's just it's more important the units that aren't legendaries I need to buy. Otherwise, just go nine, play everything. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? So at least a no. Okay, I need to hit a front line. I'm pretty sure I have to sack one. I need a lot of money. I need a lot of money to hit this. It looks like nobody else is making it to nine. I sack one, I go down to two lives, and then I just fight for my life at two lives. Because otherwise, I, I won't hit. I won't hit at all. Okay, come on, Albert. Uh, I need two item, two carries. Uh... I like tier. I need a mana item. Okay, Gwinces will be my mana item. Oh wait. Ah. Uh, no, adaptive. Archangels. Okay. This this round's gonna hurt. This round's gonna hurt a lot. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And then I level up. I level up. I go nine, and then I just do my best. Pray for me. This is anywhere from last to first, depending on how this rollout goes. Okay, we killed a few units, not bad. Okay. All right, two lives, let's do this. I'll have like 40 gold. 
for the for my life in the boot camp. Legends are told in word and deed. My journey's only beginning. Try to keep up. Every flower blooms to be seen. Dang. Dang. Jenna, maybe. Okay, I think he dropped Starker here then. Try to get four Invoker in. That was like not that much. Mu oh, wow, I killed him. One, Albert. Heavens bless me. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. It's not a bad board, but I need two stars. Oh no, here goes one of my two lives. This is yours pretty good. I just really need a two star. Man, that was a 40 gold roll down. Here goes one life. All right, pray. A zero on carousel, maybe? Oh, Hui on carousel. No. I'll take the Nautilus. Wait, do I have a shred already? Yeah, I do. I was thinking about this giant slayer, but the Nautilus too might actually make a big diff. All right, with my tournament life on the line, is this good enough? It's a pretty good board. Got my two-star Wukong as well with pretty decent items. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, Azir, one-shot them. Oh, wait, <gasps> no, you were so close. Wait, is it fourth, 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 I'm still in. Yeah, my board lost to a bard too. That's the current state of the game. I mean, I, I played very aggressively in the early game and I lost my streak, so that was kind of my bad. I had sharing is carrying. If I just like played very safe econ, I would have made it there with a lot more money. I took the risk of like trying to like dominate and go for first by win streaking with sharing is carrying and then having like infinite money and HP, but I failed to keep the streak. So fourth is a decent salvage there. My board at the end was pretty sick, but just no two stars here. The odds of hitting two stars here were not that high. It was. More like a crap shot of like, I hope I hit it. If I do, I win, but odds are probably like less than 30%. I don't know the actual number. Oh, 
Thank you for the bootcamp invite. You're very welcome, Monkey Radio. Hope it was fun. How much LP do I need? I'm probably in a spot where only a first place moves on. Let's take a look. I'm Emerald 398 LP. Oh god. Wait, the the cutoff is only Emerald 26 LP? Wait, to be safe? It's only Emerald 26 LP? Wait, that means I just have to get a fourth. Oh, VN Shaw is higher. Oh no! Oh no! Emerald 2, 40 LP? That means I have to get a first. Only a, only a first. All right, fuck it. With my tournament life on the line, let's do it. Get a first. I'm gonna play the ad break, I'll see you guys in a bit. This could be the most epic comeback, or it could be very disappointing. Seven out of eight times, it's probably gonna be very disappointing. Did anyone start with Bard? Oh my god, he did. Alright, maybe I'll play Syndra again. This oh, tears? Freedom. Spirits are calling. Oh, I like these items. Okay, uh, maybe Teemo? Archangel's Teemo goes pretty hard here. Watch this. Don't need bruisers, I'm pretty sure. Do keep the wardens. Ooh, adrenaline is pumping. Uh, what do I want now? Maybe a cloak? Gargantuan Resolve? Uh, not in my current spot. Wrath of the Moon? No, not in my current spot. Oh, I, I like Slammin. I like Slammin. Let's do some flex play. Oh wait, I actually have a really interesting build. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Hopefully I face a weak player here. Is it too late for me to join the bootcamp as a streamer? Oh, for a streamer. I, no, it closed yesterday, unfortunately. You have to join before the first elimination. This guy's already got a Gwinsu's Bard. Oh my god, I lost. Quince's bard already? Oh. Would you have won that if you went if you cornered Timo? I think I would have. Timo being the last one to die probably makes the diff there. I mean, I'm fine. If I get a Teemo 2, like, I, I can tempo that to 9. These aren't the best Teemo items, though. Honestly, I had Archangel's Red Buff or Gwinsu's Shiv. I did Gwinsu's Shiv because it might be a Bard tempo to 9. I don't like Reruling Bard because he's too contested, but like if you get an early Bard and then just play it with Gwinsu's Shiv, it's really strong.
All right, Albert, only a first place keeps you alive. Try your best. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What a game. We are most likely going to die. But isn't this just a great time? We are living life right now. This world needs hope. I do have Kabuki. You but now reached I want to make Econ. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I play Bruisers here. Actually, you know, Bruisers when does make a lot of sense. Sour bandle berries, they bandle brew. If I lose at this health server. Come on. He's got a D-claw. Pew, 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 pew. All right, Teemo on Carousel. Oh, I need like a ZZ rot. Oh, Bard on Carousel. I would take that Bard in a heartbeat. It's also half of a Gunblade. All right, the only way I'm not playing this Bard is if I hit a two-star Teemo in this next shop. There was also Kench with Locket, which is... Fuck, honestly, the Kench with Locket might have been better. Kench with Locket and Rod, so it's like, all the components are good. This one's like, it's, I'm mostly... Well, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. I can't actually play the Bard anymore. Oh wait, that was silly actually. I'm just gonna do this. Oh wait, I, I can actually still play Bard over Sivir, yeah. I'm not playing Story Weaver. Okay, that Kench would have gone crazy here. I mean, you can't predict that you're gonna hit the Teemo there, but now that I saw what happened, I'm really sad. The Locket was so much better. And the Kench. Oh shit. Does this work? Oh, it doesn't work. I forgot about Slimin. Fuck. Oh my god, yeah. If I'm playing around Slammin, I definitely always... I, I had to take that Kench, dude. Alright, I'm just gonna throw this on Rek'Sai and sell later. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just wasted two gold. Don't do Bard over Sivir. No, I'm pretty sure I have to sell. Pretty sure I have to sell this Bard. My Icon's not in a good spot. Okay. You're allowed- I'm pretty sure with Slammin, yeah, after each player combat, you are allowed to have components here for now. I should have taken the fucking locket, man! Banshee's Veil doesn't actually make that much sense here. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a little good, because it gives attack speed. But like, it's not that good. The locket just makes so much more sense, and it was a Kench. i will probably easily win streak with that. What am I doing? Oh, Gunblade is perfect. Yeah, I am that good. Yeah, Gunblade is perfect here. Okay, two talisman of speed because I already have a shiv. OK. 
Okay, uh, I'm just gonna slam this glove on a Moomoo for slamming. Okay, this comp actually looks kind of good now. Now I just need to focus on frontline. Alright, don't tilt too hard, Albert. You do have a two-star Teemo. Could you go Bruisers and run Kai'Sa? I already have Shift Slam, so it almost always has to be AP. I'm just gonna try to AP flex to nine. Final Ascension actually sounds pretty good here. Yeah, I like the identity of Final Ascension here, and then you only have one damage dealer. Fights usually last pretty long. I seem to have gotten you wider again. Okay, so now I just only do tank items. Or TG. So TG. And then tank item. Okay. So the nice thing about this slamming is that, or not the slamming, this final ascension is that now all I do is worry about living to ascension and then we win. Gunblade, Gwinsu scales really nicely and then we just kill everything. All, every item, every unit I put in is just going to be uh, a tank from now on. In time. Two, three, four. Okay. Are you gonna go for trick shot all front line? I mean, two is plenty, honestly. Two is actually plenty. My positioning is so weird though because of this Banshee's Veil. Why did I not take the locket, man? Yeah, it has so much more identity, even before the ascension. When you try to play Zaya at 8 and 9? No, Zaya is AD. I had to play AP. So, like, my endgame units are gonna be Azir Hue. It's the same. It's like what I played last game. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, set, Udir. Sometimes Wukong, sometimes Rakan, Diana, uh, Soraka. Lesser Champion Duplicator. Uh, I want this Galio really badly. Please let me get this Galio. Okay, any tank item? I guess maybe it was the Cloak. I'm just doing more TGs. I might actually just randomly hit 3-star Teemo. Travel awaits. Crap, because I missed that one slamming round, my, uh, my econ is like off-tempo every single round no matter what. It's so awkward. Why does he keep saying can't be disabled on my Teemo? Do you guys see that? Someone was like hitting my Teemo with a CC. Okay. 
so weak. Oh, Eternal Winter, I see. I'm so sad. That choice to take the Kench, uh, to not take the Kench in the locket, like, soul just fucked me. I, I fucked myself. No, don't worry, Albert. You can still figure it out. This item's not horrible. You can make it work. You can make it work, Albert. You might randomly hit a, a, a three-star Teemo. Does three-star Teemo do anything late game? It's probably still worse than like two-star Hoi. How does the duplicator affect Slamon? It doesn't. You know what kind of play would actually lead to like a a first place? I only make this play because I know I have to play for first. I'm on a pre-level. Yep. Pre-level to seven and get a five cost. It was worth a shot. Alright, I need to like win out very soon. I need to just buy every frontline piece. If I'm really lucky and hit a one-star Hoi, I could actually first place. I'm fucking down. Go eight here like a psycho. Roll it down at eight. Hit a random one-star legendary. Win the game. Yes. Yes. You gotta be a little psychotic. <laughs> the power of a dragon. Let's do it. Yes. I can do it, guys. Trust me. I'll hit a legendary. I'll hit one legendary unit, and it'll all work out. I didn't hit one legendary unit. Hang on. Okay. I won. Here we go. Watch this, watch this, watch this, guys. Call to chaos. Okay, uh, shit. Don't worry. Unified resistance is great. I can still hit something. Come on. Just any legendary unit to play around. Guys, I can, I can win. I can win, okay? This is playable. This is playable. TG Orn? No, I gotta TG the two star. All right, I got a front line. We live to ascension. Pog, I was here, Pog? Why isn't anyone pogging? Please, Pog. I can do it. One star Hoya or Lilia coming right up. One star Hoya or Lilia coming right up. Two star Morgana. Something, please. Please.
No, no, no. I didn't see a single legendary. It's all cooked. It's all over. Wait, no, no, hang on. Maybe my two-star Alawi. <laughs> maybe, maybe I gotta set on carousel and get four wardens and it's all Daijobu, baby. Yeah. It could be Daijobu, baby. <gasps> set on carousel. It could actually be all Daijobu, baby. Wait, on Carousel! It could be all Dajobu Baby! Oh. Galio on Carousel! It could... Oh? Oh, actually. Okay! Galio! Orn! Morgana! Wait! Galio, Orn, Riven, or Morgana? The pantry flower blooms to be seen. Okay. Ready for this? I almost have Exalted. Oh, Garen's actually Exalted. Wait, did I win? No way I won. Guys! Guys, I... Uh, I I'm not... I, I'm not kidding. I'm not... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I, I, I can actually do it. I can actually do it. Somehow this board's staying alive. I need the five streak though. Please, Morgana, Galio, Zyra. Please! Please! No! How is this possible?! I can't hit. Please win streak. Please. Even better, Lissandra, please print me something. Why don't you corner your carry? It's because I have a Kale speed buff on the left and then the Banshee's speed buff on the right. So you, like, by, by default you can't corner. Please, I need the streak. It's all I have left, man. It's all I have left. This is actually the most degenerate game of TFT of all time. I've been rolling a zero every single round. <laughs> come on, come on, print, print. Print, print. No. Okay, at least I got the streak. Don't, 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 don't worry, guys. Morgana is coming. Any second now. I'm actually like playing to my identity though. I have a bunch of frontliners. There's like not a bad level eight board. If I could just like sit on this to nine, but I need a two-star morgue first. Kane is exalted. Oh fuck, you're right. But how can I put him in? Wait, yeah, putting in Kane's actually hard. Um, it'd be over Alawi, I guess. No, 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 D don't think about it. I don't, I don't think it's worth. I need to roll until I hit at least a Morgana. Okay. Maybe I can sit on this. Yeah, it'd be like this for exalt. Oh, no, Lau is also exalted. Oh, Zyra is also exalted? Wait. Oh, I only have one exalted. Okay, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right. Guys. I'm going nine. I'm slamming. This isn't a drill. Nine is possible. 
Oh my god, huge! Huge Lissandra stun on the Yone! Game winning! Game winning stun! I was gonna die! It's possible! This could be the greatest first place of all time. Come on, we just gotta go nine. Oh my god! It's time to evolve! Next round! Next round I can do it! This is necessary. Yeah, yeah. It's for the next three rounds. I just gotta- I just gotta win this one. Just win this round. We're almost there, baby. We're almost there! Alright, at nine, just get the legendaries and start throwing them in. Come on- oh, this guy looks terrifying. Three-star Aphelios, two-star Ash, two-star Syndra. The Syndra's pretty weak. Okay, don't worry, we know the plan. Just live to Ascension. Live to Ascension, Morgana will clean up. Literally, everybody will melt. Without any AP on my Morgana, besides like the base from the ship and the Gunblade and the Gwinsus, Final Ascension should get the kill. An item! Wait, don't grab the item yet. I lose my slamming bonus. There is just no way that with my tournament life on the line, this particular sequence of events actually happens. All right. Do I have any leftover components? All right, I need to roll for an altruist or behemoth. Um, it's actually hard to fit in the Hui. Hui would take the spot of Morgana. I don't think you play it. Unless I, unless I hit two-star Hui. I still don't have Lilia for Mythic. I think this, this Morgana will do fine. I'll just play Sages. Do I win this? My frontline is kind of insane. Morgana just throws pools randomly and indiscriminately. The funny thing about Taxi Morgana is that she's actually less likely to get unlucky. Because a uh, high AP Mor- wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck. <gasps> wait! Oh, no! Heart is empty wait. Without empathy. I was 50 HP. Okay, I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. No. No, oh, I got it. Wait, I, I, I like thought it was one life this whole game. I, when I lost that fight, I thought it was dead. <laughs> okay, uh... I'm not gonna have to play this way. This this Morgan is doing fine. I can either try for level nine or level ten. Like my, some of my units are pretty outdated. I'm pretty sure I need to save up some money to like 40 gold, roll again, drop Zyra, drop Riven, drop Galia, drop the Storm Weavers entirely, play Wu Kong, and then like the legendaries. But our, we're playing to our win con beautifully. Just be tanky. Be tanky and let Final Ascension do all the work. But yeah, Morgana targets completely randomly with her pools. So if you have AP Morgana, she might randomly get unlucky and get a bad pool, but attack speed Morgana just throws out pools everywhere indiscriminately. Okay, this guy was kind of strong. Oh no. No. Oh, this is worth holding. Hui and Lilia. This could this could be the pivot.
So, let me think about this. You would sell Morgana, Lissandra, all, and all the Story Weavers, and you'd play Hue, Lilia, uh, Udyr, Set. Oh, fuck, that's a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna do this this time. Okay, this fight doesn't look promising, but I do have a lot of AoE. Wait, my Morgana is actually destroying them. Oh, wait. Wait, I actually destroyed him. My Morgana like got so much AoE value. Oh, he's dead, top four. All right, I'm just gonna pre-sell these guys. Like, it, let's be real here. If I don't hit something better than these guys, I lose anyway. Come on. Let's do this. Our ascension is at hand. Heaven bless you. Wait. No, 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 no. Please don't end it like this. Please! I, I, I need, I, I, ah! I need something. I'm not sure what I need. Oh, I know what I need. I need a miracle! Oh. We are made by our choices. Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Please! Please! My board actually looks kind of good, but my front line's pretty bad. Can the two gun blades keep us alive? Oh no, 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 no! Morgana, do something! No! Oh, cute. Dang it. Okay, I, I played that game like shit, so I, <laughs> I definitely did not deserve it first there. It was pretty hyped though, I enjoyed it. It all went back to that one locket blunder where I didn't take the locket. That actually would have saved so much HP. Are you with him, baby? Uh. What interesting timing. Uh. I yes. Go, yeah! From the bathroom. So I, I, I want to know if it's like a happy yeah or like a sad yeah. Wait, you missed it. I needed a first to move on uh -huh. and I got it. Wait, really? Yeah, 15 minutes before the cutoff, I got exactly the first place. That's why I was screaming, Yeah! Yay! <laughs> okay, guys, wait, wait, hang on. What are the odds that uh, whoever is Emerald 2 right now dies? You know what I mean? This VN Shaw guy, what are the odds that he plays a game 
and goes eighth. Oh, and this guy, and YTB Trung Vladimir. They need to both go eighth right now. Oh, wait. And Toregeki. Oh, Toregeki is at zero LP. Okay, so it's really easy. Vian Shaw needs to go eighth. Trung Vladimir needs to go eighth. And Toregeki needs to not go top four. Wait, that's it! How long until the cutoff? Uh, 16 minutes. I don't think I have time to play another game, but like, I'm just gonna play. Oh, 20 minutes. Wait, 20 minutes? Guys, is there a world where if you get the cane encounter, the game takes less than 20 minutes? Okay, what if seven players forfeit? Do you guys think uh, Riot would be happy about that? If I bribed seven players to forfeit? Alright, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's see what happens. Hello, Torn Ostrich. Thanks for the Prime. <laughs> this loading screen is taking too long! Somebody please load faster! I need the cane encounter! Oh, Prismatic Party. Maybe this somehow leads to a really fast game. Oh hey, it chose me! All right, let's do this. Hello, Tox Mommy. Welcome. Coggers. Oh. Try not to start fights, but I will finish them. Alright. Oh, Matt O'Brien. Thanks for the sub. Back from the ad break, everybody. Early Timo. 
Oh, good items. I go where the trouble is. Oh, pumping up is kind of crazy. Faded crown. I like it, but I don't have a good setup for it right now. I have zero faded units. Pumping up is great. Oh, wow. Accomplice? 3.68. I feel... That sounds OP. I, I've heard it's mostly because of the 8 gold. You get a lot of econ start, but I like pumping up here. I'm so weak right now. So I'm down to like... I'm down to int and then uh, make a strong board later. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so I can... Let's hold two Kog'Maws. All right, who remembers the Kog'Ma reroll build? Let's see. Kog'Ma, Caitlyn Cho'Gath, Nico. I forgot. Oh, Malphite. Uh, it feels like there's one more unit. Oh, there's a Nico and Malphite in my shop. No, no, I, I'm pretty sure you don't buy it right now. I need the econ. I think the one that matters is getting three-star Kog'Maw. Oh, it feels like Alawi is like always useful in every build. Okay, yeah, and then you go five Mythics. Okay, no one's contesting me. Uh, do I have the explorer? Tactics.tools. Explorer. Three star Kogma items. Uh, okay, so blue buff is a must. Nashers also looks like a must. Snipers focus if you can. And like Jewel Gauntlet's fine, Rabadon's is fine. It looks like they're about the same. Gunblade looks good. Is there a well known best in slot? I don't know how to check it, but like, I'm pretty sure there's a way you can check like the best performing three item Kogma. But like it looks like blue buff Nashers and then any AP item. Oh, I think I'm taking the gold. It's it's a lot of econ early game. Yes. Stand back. Big, strong all right, I gotta pee really quick. It will be right back. Win the round for me. I buy you all a pizza. Oh, fuck. Wow. Ah. All right, did we win? Oh, we didn't. Why, wow, I went to go pee before a carousel. Imagine if like, I happened to have like a large bladder and I just didn't make it back in time and lost my blue buff. The UI is bugged. We won. Give pizza, please. Is that true? Can I trust you guys? Yes. Hmm. Should I start trying to win now? I kind of want a five of the streak first. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure I can slam a blue if and still lose. Yeah. Pretty sure I can slam this and still lose. This will hopefully save me a bit of HP. And slam a rod as well. I don't think I'm gonna slam the JG just in case. There might be a different combination of items. I feel like blue buff JG is fine though. The JG is Biss, is it really? It has pretty good stats. Oh my god! Oh, I, I didn't put Kench on my team planner. Travel awaits. Okay, I uh, this guy will kick my ass. This guy will also kick my ass. This is the matchup I, I'm scared of. I... Uh, I want all my units to get mythic stacks, though. I'm just gonna int just to be safe. Just to be safe. How'd the climbing go today? Actually, pretty good. We climbed, uh... I don't know, about 100 LP today. I woke up kind of late. I think we're going to get eliminated, but it wasn't a bad day. We had some pretty hype games. That Syndra 1 HP comeback game was, uh, it might be the best game of TFT ever. There was also yesterday a, for a 1 HP fortune cash out. Oh wow, what the? Dude, I'm like, I'm swimming in COG. Wait, it's actually so free. I'm going to like just roll like twice, hit two Kog'Maws. I don't even need 3-star or anything else. I haven't played um, this build before. Or, like, I know it's popular, so I never contest it. But today, Kog'Maw chose me. Really good items. Duplicator. A lot of natural Kog'Maws. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have slammed the rod, because I might want to make Spark. Eh, what can you do? All right, let's do this. Give me a K. Give me a K. Give me a K. Oh my God. I should keep going. I can hit more than just the cog at this point. Never a dull moment. Okay. Uh, let me think. Don't want to stop here. It's it's 20 gold. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. If I keep rolling, I might hit Cho'Gath 3. I can also just, like, stop and slow roll. Like, it is good enough to save HP. I kind of want to keep rolling before I hit 5 and then hit this Cho'Gath 3, though. Nah, I'm done. I just, like, eventually hit it. I'll eventually hit it. Wait, do I lose this? What is this thing made out of? This is a one star Yasuo! This is a one star! Okay. <laughs> it's a one star. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Um, well, it's not this. It's probably not Tiny But Deadly either. Uh, I like bulk personally. I, it's not Tiny But Deadly because I already have a lot of attack speed. You don't really need more. Wait. It, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Trust. It's not good. Oh my god! It's it's definitely cyber cybernetic bulk here because I need to be tanky. Okay, I'm gonna give up on these three and then just move on. Actually, Never a dull moment. I could give up on all of these and Econ. Yeah, I should give up on Like, I'm not going to roll for these. There's no way. 
Like, they, they won't be getting items. My Caitlyn's gonna be naked. My Malphite's gonna be naked. Hey, buh 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 buh. Yeah, huge naked Malphite on my team. I'm down. Would it ever be Shiv over Nasher since you have pumping up? Uh, I would consider like a Gunblade. Because, yeah, you don't really need the Nashers because pumping up is basically your Nashers. But yeah, basically any AP item. But I, I like Gunblade because it provides consistency. If you don't have Gunblade or like a little bit of Omni Ramp, there's a pretty high chance that you just die to something random like Morgana or Hui. Or Caitlyn, you know. Sell Alawi, you don't need her. Wait, really? Sell her for Econ? She gives me two synergies next round. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's worth holding on to, dude. Like, you say you don't need her because you only need Ghostly, but like, I want Arcanist. It's 20 AP on my Kog'Maw. Oh my it's nice. It's very satisfying. I can see why Kog'Maw is like a very popular build. It's really satisfying because like, he... He just like, bypasses the front line really hard. Everyone says JG is bad. Is it really that bad? It's not that bad. It's bad as a first slam. You should never slam JG first unless like... I don't know, like, you somehow hit a bunch of stuff and you want to play a win streak and you know you're playing AP. But, like, JG is good as at, as a last item multiplier. No. JG multiplies the AP you currently have. <laughs> what do I want here? Uh, I want, like, tank items. So, I'm pretty sure Chain Vest is best here. Yeah, I I want a three item Cho'Gath, but I also want like one component on Nico. What about Spark? I uh, I actually don't want a Spark, or at least not yet. Yeah, I don't want a Spark yet. I'm pretty sure the Gargoyle is more important, because the Spark matters a lot once people start getting pretty large amounts of magic resist. Oh, also... You don't need Giant Slayer because um Kog'Maw's skipping the front line. Kog'Maw, do you guys know that Kog'Maw is a PhD? He always targets the lowest health enemy in range. And once you like hit ult like four times, he has infinite range. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Mr. Box, where do you place your snipers left or right? Uh, randomly in set 9, I was getting coached by my friend, Stunt. He's actually in the boot camp right now, he's doing really well. Randomly in set 9, uh, Caitlyn was a unit. She was like a, I think she was a one-cost sniper. And, uh, Stun was like, Caitlyn likes to be on the right side. And then I, I forgot to ask why. But, like, it all, it has always stuck with me. Caitlyn likes to be on the right side. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. The, the bottom right's technically safer. Uh, I can explain why after this round. Okay, so the reason why, if you look at the grid, this spot can be hit from three different spots. One, two, three. On the bottom right, you can only be hit from two spots. One, two. So like, it's like safer, because you can only get hit by like so many people. Also, 
if you know other people are gonna put their carry here, this is like the max distance. Sorry, if you hear someone crying, that is Annie playing Valorant. Take back your spirit. Oh wow, maybe I actually can hit. Okay, well, let's stop up. Hmm. Pretty sure I want this belt on Cho'Gath. Yeah, pretty sure I want this belt on Cho'Gath. Uh, I'm actually going to hang on to this Caitlyn and, and Nikos, because... If it doesn't cost me an Econ, eventually I'll hit a Hui, and then I'm going to say, no Hui, and everyone's going to go, holy shit, this stream is so funny. And then I'll use the Hui to print my Caitlyn's and Nikos. Is Scar in the boot camp? Uh, he's actually not. He didn't sign up, I think because he was out of the country. I think he only just now came back. Oh, I do want something that gives a lot of items. Pandora's items are kind of interesting because you could give your Kog'Ma a Radiant item if you're willing to be <laughs> patient enough. Oh wait, isn't Baboom really good here? That's like 75% more damage on Kog'Ma. Wait, that's gotta be crazy, right? Yeah, that's just 75% more damage on Kog'Ma. Like, I don't even care about the buff for anyone else, but just like for Kog'Ma specifically, infinity damage. Okay, I'm just gonna frontline Janna with a belt, Giga Chad. Yeah, literally my entire gold augment just to make Kog'Ma stronger, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go ba boom and then like everything dies, even with just two items. Okay, so I know it looks like I'm going to die here. I'm gonna lose my streak, but no, no, it's actually a ba boom diff. It's actually Baboom Diff. Watch as my Kogma has infinite range and he starts sniping the back line. Baboom! 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 It's not even close. We need a Baboom emote. Doesn't he already have infinity damage? Now he has infinity damage times two. R3. This guy went Call to Chaos. Random 3 star 3 cost unit. Wait. Where is your 3 star 3 cost unit? Oh, Zoe? Wow, he's got a naked Zoe. He should definitely give that Zoe a blue buff. The one that's on his Wukong. Wait, another guy went Call to Chaos. 40 rerolls. Call to Chaos is pretty fun. Okay, I know it looks like I'm gonna lose, but watch. I'm gonna buff boom, and I'm gonna instantly kill the backline. And then once it's only Nar, he won't do enough damage. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Oh fuck! I think I, I think I lost. Wait, actually, hang on. Hang on. Could it be? Could it be? One more. No! It should have been Caitlyn. You didn't die for the Kog'Maw! Out of Wait, what? Oh, Lesser Champion Duplicator? Uh, I should start getting my th third item on Kog'Maw. Never mind, I cannot. So I'll just grab a Warmogs. I gotta remember, Chogath has burning built in. Wait.
Do you think four invoker makes this Kog'Maw go crazy? Let, let's try it for a round. I'm not actually sure if it will. Is he gonna like cast like infinity times? Oh, he kind of is. Oh wow, he actually casts twice in a row sometimes. Okay. Interesting. I don't think it's actually better though, but that was cool to watch. Actually, now that I think about it, you really don't need Invoker at all. Because his mana cost is so awkward. Yeah, you actually don't need you don't need this at all. I'm just gonna do this. Slap component. Okay, I mean, this is pretty fine. We are scaling up. Uh, I think I just go 9. I'm level 8, 40 gold. It was like pretty decent. And Kogma's like doing a pretty good job of killing a couple units every round. Yeah. Kogma 3 saves you so much HP, even if you lose, because he always hits the lowest target. You know what might be the best, actually? It might be Archangels. He's still having a bit of trouble on like the really tanky targets. He missed! Yo, Kogma! You shot where they were, not where they was! Wait, you, you get what I mean. Alright, well, I just hope that whatever it is, I get an item that's playable here. I want to 3 item my Cho'Gath, 3 item my Kogma, and then just start slapping components on everyone. Okay, I think I want an Archangels. Can I get a rod? Okay, I have a tier cloak chain. Oh wow, fuck. Um I should probably make a shiv. Dang, okay. Yeah, I should make a shiv. Uh, I'm just gonna give it to Caitlyn. Oh, that sucks. Okay, and I think it's fine that Caitlyn and Kogmar are on opposite sides. Kogma is not going to be targeting the units near him. Oh, Caitlyn should probably be in the middle, actually. Okay. Oh, wait, do I win? Yo, look at my Kogma! Caitlyn sniped... Wait. Wait. Aw. Caitlyn sniped the, um, the Irelia getting her low. Alright, come on, Albert. You need to get some front line. Of the past. Oh fuck. Pretty sure this guy's not it. No prison can hold me. Every flower blooms to be seen. I'm surprised I'm so weak. Well, I mean, I, a lot of it's because my Kogma doesn't have a third item. I can't believe I didn't hit one. Oh my god. I should probably just dupe the Kench. Get the Udyr. Is Udyr in the build? Okay, maybe over Malphite. No, not the soldiers. Oh, wow. 
Wait, I, fuck, I have to sell these two Caitlyn's and buy the, uh, buy the Udyr. Buy the... Let me out of this cutscene! Let me out of the cutscene! Oh, okay. I feel closest. Okay. I don't think once I don't think it's worth it until two star. I I, I should just dupe the Kench. Okay, please let me get an item for Kogma. This poor guy is babooming with two items. Please, just, uh, this Kogma just wants to baboom a little bit harder. My Caitlyn just did a 180 flick. That was kind of sick. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna do Gunblade. It's either Gunblade or another JG. Okay. The whole lobby is pretty low. All right, I need one Hui. Every river ends in me. <laughs> Try to just dupe this guy. <laughs> Yeah, might as well. There's like nothing else to do. I've given up on the three stars. I just need a Huey. I mean, this is probably just my board. I'm surprised it's like not doing that well. I, I thought like I hit like a pretty good holy trinity of augments. Okay, my Kog'Maw is not as strong as he would be with Archangels. But he's still pretty strong, and I think he keeps his Cho'Gath alive, which is nice. He also keeps himself alive. Really? I'm that weak? I'm actually really surprised. I, I thought I kind of like hit the nuts. That guy was 50 gold, and he kicked my ass. My journey's only beginning. What's like? What's wrong with my board? There's no way I'm just like in a lobby where everybody hit something crazy, right? Yeah. It is a three-star Lune and Yone. Oh my god, am I really going out at 6 tier? Come on, Kogma. You need to baboom a little bit harder. Please, for my sake, baboom a little bit more. Well, I don't know if this is a strong. Oh. Dude, this Kindred! Oh my god, the Kindred dodged two Kogma ults, and I almost lost for that. Oh. All right, well, I think I'm just playing for a fourth. Let's get a third item for, for Cho'Gath. Get Arcanist and go five Mythic. Uh, I'm pretty sure seven Mythic is better, and they're all two-start already. All right, Gargoyle. Oh, wait. Yeah, Gargoyle. Alright, let's roll for Hoi. And Lilia. Travel awaits. Oh 
heart is empty without empathy. Goodbye, world. Oh, ghost board? Could it be a fourth? Maybe a fourth? I don't want to die, guys. If I kill one more unit than the fourth place guy, I can get fourth. Wait, I think I win. Oh, there's a chance. I don't want to die. Yes, top four. I'm happy. Is there a, a way that I can get a unit? No. I'm sorry, Hoi. <laughs> this world needs hope. Oh, it's actually Jover. Okay, I managed to evade the Yone. Is there a chance that I get some sort of miracle positioning? He hasn't spent his money, he's level 950 gold. Maybe with some miracle positioning, max sniper value, maybe I can baboom my way through. I'm not ready to die. I am not ready to die. He's got one HP. Okay, it's this guy. I know, I know how to position this. All right, we dodge the shroud. Pray, the battle for third. Just have to kill this Irelia in the back. Yes! What a shot! Yes! Maybe, maybe second? Heavenly spat. Heavenly, 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 heavenly. heavenly. Heavenly spat. Heavenly spat. Heavenly spat. All right, Kench, you are heavenly tonight. Wait. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. Okay, think. I mean, the answer is simple, right? If you're not gonna move, I should just position like this. Have Cho'Gath tank the big clump. Oh, he moved last second. Oh no. Of course he's gonna move. What is he gonna do? Just stand there and let me out position him? Albert. Is there any chance of a miracle? This one's an Irelia too. Come on, Kogma. Ba boom. Ba boom. Ba boom. Yes. Wait, he's one off of three star Silas and three star Kane. Oh no. Okay, but he didn't hit. Okay, if he's not gonna move his Yone, I'll keep my Kogma on the side. He moved his Yone! What? Did I think he was just gonna stand there and let me outmaneuver him? He moved last second! Come on, Kogma! Ba-boom! Ba-boom! Come on! 
The Yoni's right there. The only way we can kill him is to end it before creep round. Don't let him have time to roll for the three star. Don't let him have time. Come on, deal 18 damage, please. Please. Is this 18? No. We, we can't let him hit. Oh no. This guy forfeited. Why did you forfeit? You could still get second. What? Oh, okay. Oh God, it's, he has two removers. He's gonna get some crazy items on this cane. Computer, calculate through all the timelines. In how many of the timelines do I beat cane three? Prison can hold me. I will not hold back. Every flower blooms to be seen. Maybe some anti-heal? Ah! Everybody run! Is there a miracle possible? Can we baboom him? Oh no! I mean, second place is pretty good. I, I thought I was going bot four there. I thought I was going bot four, so I'm pretty happy with this result. Man, it really came down to Kog'Maw not getting a third item for so long. No matter what components I had, I just couldn't build anything. Oh. Man, and to think it would have been a first. If I, if I killed him right there and did two more damage, it was a first. That's fine, it's the only difference of 10 LP. The ones that hurt are where it's like where you barely didn't survive and then you get like a, a huge spike and then go first. Those are the ones that hurt because like mine is like 80 LP. Instead of going for instead of going first, you went like eighth. Okay. Uh I'm pretty sure I'm out of the boot camp, unless the literal miracle happens. So let's take a look. I had to get a first in the previous game and I went fourth. Dedge. Wait. It, apparently I wasn't even close. There's still two people ahead of me. What was the LP needed to survive? Emerald 2, 48 LP. Really? Oh, dude, if this game finished in time, I still would have not made it. Emerald 2, 48 LP. Oh, Soju is actually very close to dying. Wait. Look at how many people are Emerald 1. Number 43, all the way to number 31. There's 12 streamers that are within 100 LP of each other. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, wait, what? I'm stupid. Oh, wow. Asa was like down with me at Emerald 4, and he climbed 400 LP today. Wait, he's kind of a beast. What the heck? Four hundred LP in one day is is nuts. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and play the sad music really quick, and we can all type the sad emote together because I just got eliminated. All right, we are out on day two. This is earlier than I would have expected. I know that um the players in this event are insanely good. There are many like rank one in my region kind of people. There's like rank one Vietnam, rank one China, rank two Vietnam, rank one Oceania, and so on. Lots of rank ones from different regions came to participate. This is one of the hardest tournaments to win, like ever in TFT, because so much international talent comes. It's kind of sick. It's like an unofficial world. I, I am not a world's level player, so I never expect to win, but I do usually place around 40th, so I'm sad that this time I went 47th. That is seven spots below my average. I, being a mature adult, a responsible, humble human who understands when he plays bad, 
I'm going to be honest with you guys and say that none of this was my fault. I accidentally scheduled my vacation two days longer than intended, and I couldn't come back in time to play my games, giving me 48 hours less to grind. It was not my fault. There was nothing that could have been done. Riot should have pushed the entire set back two days to accommodate for my schedule. I did nothing wrong. Next time, I don't mean to brag or intimidate you guys, but next time, I'm gonna go for 38 in the set 12 bootcamp. A result that'll make everyone go, NANI? Okay. I, I mean, I'm out of the boot camp, but I'm still gonna keep playing. It is all good. I never expect to get far. Let's just do our best to climb anyway, because we like to play the TFT game. Who is your favorite from each category? Great question. In the casual category, let me see. Uh, I've said this many times before, but just so you guys all know, I didn't actually pick the people this time. Uh, Riot picked them. So, uh, I don't know if there's like noticeable differences from last bootcamp to now, but uh, if you do feel like it's not the people we usually pick, it's because Riot picked them. Riot has different preferences than I do, which is totally fine. I'm super thankful that Riot did this, by the way, because it normally takes me like four full days to do the applications. It's actually like a huge stress to get it done in time. As soon as the application closes, we have to spend like four to eight hours a day uh, looking through applications. Dude, like, yeah, I, had I would say in the casual, it's my like favorite is probably... You know, you know how it be. <laughs> <laughs> probably Arya Saki. She, she's a demon. She like grinds. She grinds like uh, 40 hour streams and she just really likes TFT. In the advanced category, uh, Toast is always funny. My roommate Sally is in there, and she's actually doing quite well. Emerald 4. Abe's also in there. A lot of my friends. Christopher Yi is here. Gumi. And it's kind of cool that Meteos gives, uh, has been playing in the boot camps. I like him. The world's greatest gamer, GSM Void. Also, I like Burr Pollock. She was really nice to me the few times I interacted with her. Uh, in the pro category, my favorite person it's probably Box Box. Uh, don't believe the rumors. All right, it's not that small. I've checked. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. I uh, we're going to have an abrupt shift in the uh, kind of music that we're gonna listen to. Uh, we've been listening to a lot of like high intensity music, a lot of action packed music because we were like fighting for our life. But now that we're finally out, I can relax. So, without further ado, let's have some calm, uwu, mm -hmm music. Vibe. I don't think we're making 20 here. There's something really hot about Ari surrounded by four bruisers. I don't think it's that good. Come 
closer. Oh, hello, Raid. It's... Can you play Cheerleader by Porter Robinson as my yearly song request? Uh, unfortunately, I'm not in control of the music, but I can ask my boss to call Porter Robinson's manager and see if he's around. I played League of Legends with that guy once. He was cool. None will escape my grasp. Choose a component, Zyra grants you three copies of it. Uh... Wow, um... I think it's Rod. Wait. Oh wait, if I actually want something that's like playable right now, it's actually... <laughs> Okay, it's unironically. It's unironically the war moggiest. <laughs> it's unironically the war moggiest. <laughs> Rek'Sai. That's funny. 3360 HP Donger J on 2 2. Oh, and she gains resist. None will escape my grasp. Stand back! Big strong Nico coming true! Yeah, his pants aren't falling off. Four belts. Kobuki! I see. Gotten wider again. <laughs> Hello, real resonance. Welcome. This seems like a really standard uh, AP flex game. Dude, this ribbon doesn't know how to animation cancel. She sucks. Oh, I just realized my server's in the wrong position. God, raining gold is such a satisfying argument. One gold every round. So many ways you can play it. And by so many, I mean two. Okay, the item I want... I'm sure you guys all know what I want. There's one sexy item. And I think I'll get it. This sexy item isn't often taken on the carousel. Adeptive Helm? I'll be our mana item later. What would you rate this Riven compared to the other TFT Rivens? Oh, I'm not a fan. They did Riven dirty. She's like not a good unit this game. She's like, in set 11, Riven is played because she's like a support. She like is a little tanky and she provides three good synergies. But like, the unit itself is actually pretty bad. I am not a fan of the current ribbon. Okay, this Rek'Sai is like literally unkillable by the way.
This is so satisfying. Or they at least sin. I don't think there's much I can do about that. I really hope they both Lee Sin. I've tried playing around him, he's really bad. Two star Lee Sin with like uh Dragon Lord and like Duelist, it's so bad. Even if you get like BT Titans, Titans on him. Wait, 19% chance to win? I swear my board's pretty good. Oh fuck, was I supposed to level and play Bard? I didn't think anyone was gonna beat me. Oh wait, okay. Hang on, this is close. Oh no, this is really close. No. Dang, okay, I guess my bad. Never a dull moment. I could have leveled too. It would only have costed me one econ. I just didn't think there was anyone that would get close to beating me. But I guess it, he does have a Teemo. But really? I'm surprised I lose this. Like, I don't even think that Thresh was that tanky. My Rek'Sai was way tankier. Damn. Alright, it's not the end of the world. I'm still 50 gold. I can't believe I lost that round. Holy shit. Are you guys ready for the literal psychotic play? Check us out. I roll once, I hit a legendary, I just start playing it. Boom. I channel the spirits I feel closest. What's the last item I'm gonna put on this guy? Maybe it's Hodge. Damn, I lost. I leveled up. I leveled up and rolled and I lost. Oh, I actually did like almost zero damage. Toxin? No. Oh. Wait, I thought you 
Well, I don't want to slam here. This should probably be sufficient. And then I can play around the tier in the back lane. I like this because Steadfast Heart, it makes a lot of sense. You take 15% less damage while above 50% health. And Udyr is above 50% health for a long time. I'm still kind of getting owned though. I guess I have no synergies. Yay. <laughs> okay, this might have been a mistake. I think I was supposed to go Archangels. Yeah, I need a unit that deals damage. Can I get like a random four cost like Morgana? Morgana or Syndra or Lilia? I have like zero damage. My damage is on a Zyro one. I have like an amazing front line. What do you think about Udyr? I, in general, he's really good. Uh, I don't think I have the correct items on him, but like, there's no way I wasn't putting like three items on him immediately, right? Pretty sure you're supposed to like get some AP on him. Like, I don't think you're supposed to build him full tank. I would put these adaptive helms on Galio and Orn, but I, I definitely need them for my backline. As for what my backline is going to be, I'm not sure. I mean, we already know it has to be like one of these three. All right, unless I happen to hit a legendary. I have a lot of money though. I should be able to do it pretty cleanly. I mean, I'll just start penciling in the build. Diana, Soraka, Lilia, Orn, uh, Hui, Lissandra, sure. Something like that. Some combination of these units. Silas over Kabuko. I, this Kabuko is actually better. He has a lot of HP. Silas is only good if two starred. It's probably just like this. I'm pretty sure like you don't need Riven or Bruisers at all. I'm just gonna roll until I hit like a four cost carry and then that's it. Cause I, I wanna go nine ASAP. I need a one star four cost or five cost carry. All right, give me something. Oh, another adaptive helm. Well, that was satisfying. Travel awaits. Oh, what the? I channeled the spirits I feel closer to. Uh, I need one more unit. Every river ends in me. Leave your journey or die in mine. 
Oh wait, fuck, I didn't need to do that. Okay, I need like... It's hard to say I need more damage, because I'm out of items. Alright, this Morgana should take me to 9. Sack 3, go 9. And I'm kind of down to be a degenerate, because getting one way early massively spikes my game. What if you got the adaptive bonus? That'd be amazing. Fully adapted right here. Uh, it's probably not your enemy. Yeah, it's probably not your enemy. Uh, Gifts from the Fallen. No, I think it's... What can I play? Sage, Exalted. Let's play this. Oh fuck, I, I need to play Riven for Altruist. Okay, I mean, just sack two, go nine. I don't think I have the HP to sack the whole stage. Wait, how did my Morgana take so much damage already? Wait, I think she's already dead. Wait, how is that possible? What? Wait, what? Uh-oh. This is not good, this is not good. I need to like start playing the game ASAP. Legends are told in word and deed. Come closer. I mean, maybe this helps a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know what happened. Udyr drops aggro. That's why. Okay, so what item do I want here? Probably spark. Or fuck it, another adaptive, honestly. It's not even that bad. Man, I thought when I hit that legendary at 7, I was just gonna like win the game, but I definitely don't feel like I'm just winning the game. Feels like it's still gonna take a lot of effort. Alright, Albert, you can do this. Go 9, roll like twice, and hit a stable board, because you are going to die unless you do something right now. Any legendaries? Oh, I really? Oh, Udyr. Udyr with Rod. Okay, that's pretty big. Hmm, those items are a little scuffed, but... It's fine. The fact that it's a two-star legendary at all is really nice. Probably gonna make a spark, because I won't have this talisman of eight anymore once I drop the Zyra. Alright, Albert, you're the best player in the world. Level up, roll twice, hit a legendary, pog. Okay, uh, soon I'm gonna drop out of bruisers like entirely. Like every single bruiser on my team can go. Same with Zyra. Hopefully this is good enough to tide me over. I really does do a little bit of damage. And then I can throw in Rakan as well for uh, Dragonlord and just have a good unit on the board. Okay, two start Udyr put in a lot of work. Nice. 
What do you think about playing Diana as a unit? Uh, she's pretty weak now, but she's good synergy-wise. We are made by our choices. Hello, Lunar Aura. Oh yeah, why is there a Morgana ult here? I'll spread out my carriers. Okay. Come on, Albert, you can do this. You do have an Udyr 2 to work with. So you're gonna sell like, I'm gonna sell half my board and just roll for every legendary. I'm not very good at this end game pivot. I keep trying and then failing. It, I remember the times I was getting coached, it was really complicated. And the fact that I'm not like making a million operations in my head when trying to pivot means I'm probably missing something. I'm kind of just like, yeah, I'll just play like the shittiest board ever that gets there efficiently. But like, I remember Asa was identifying like times I needed to roll just to like save a little bit of HP, even though we're not rolling for legendaries. I'll try to do some more of that later. Alright, well. Sell, sell. Sell. Maybe not sell. Okay. Maybe don't sell this uh, Galio and Kench yet. Actually. Yeah, fuck him. Okay, I need a Lilia as well. Oh, hey, I got a Lilia. What? Shall I prove them right? This is necessary. Heavens bless me. <laughs> the power of a dragon. Surrender. My triumph is inevitable. I'm dizzy as fuck. I'm dizzy as fuck. Okay, come on, Albert. Figure it out, figure it out. I, I think I know I know where I'm going, though. I uh, I need to sell Irelia. Unless I hit two-star, I need to sell Irelia. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Wish my fate on anybody. This is necessary. Every flower blooms to be seen. <laughs> oh. Is red better than Morello? No, but I'm pretty sure I need Spark. Oh, fuck. My endgame board sucks. Wait, how did... How does this Udyr not tank for everybody else? Come on, Albert. Fuck. You could actually win out if you just... Fix your board. What am I, what am I missing? Fate is in power.
Deny me no longer. Lissandra and Setter Bay. I mean, I can't sell the... I, I definitely cannot sell um the Lissandra. It's just two-star legendary with TG. Wait, yeah, I think it's supposed to be Rakan over Lissandra if I could two-star. I have an overwhelming amount of just like value and stats, but I'm still losing. Oh, I think I'm dead. Yeah, it's not even close. Man, I can't legendary flex for shit. Eighth place? Oh, seventh place? Hit the two star Udyr, do a level nine pivot, get all the good units, die. Oh, what do I need to do differently? I do remember when I was getting coached yesterday on this build, there was a lot of like really tough micro decisions. And like this time I'm just kind of like, yeah, herder, we get a lot of money, sell, sell everything, buy everything. Uh, something's missing. Like, I feel like I did a good job buying the expensive pieces and then figuring out ones that synergize together and then put items on one. Like, if I had hit the two-star Huey instead of the two-star Azir, I think I just went out because I had all my items on Huey and I couldn't sell them at that point. I itemized Huey when I had uh, one of each, one Azir, one Huey, and then I ended up hitting the Azir, but he didn't do anything because he has no items. Maybe I should just save more HP in the mid game and have more gold at nine. Yeah, maybe it's the fact that it was tank Udyr instead of like bruiser Udyr. Need some damage on him. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, Jaijiri. Welcome. Wow, long queue. Oh. Hello, Kubiboo. I'm tired. 
All right, guys, what do you say? Two quick first places and then bed. We can all go to bed. I want to clarify, we are not going to the same bed. We are um, going to different beds just at the same time. What are you eating? Uh, it's Chipotle that I've had in front of me the entire stream. I've been slowly nibbling on it. I've eaten less than half so far. By my hand. Really, Yone? Uh, I personally don't like playing Yone. I know he's strong, but I don't. I don't like him. Maybe I get a Titans. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I don't get a Titans or a BT, it's not a Yone game. Dude, it's too strong. Have you guys heard of the legend? I go where the trouble is. Story Weaver Kogma. Is it always Shred? Uh, I've been told it's usually Shred. I personally like the speed one, but I've apparently been wrong. Actually, I'm pretty sure Rek'Sai is stronger than Kabuko. I would like to level. Ooh, wait, Ace is going fortune. Good luck. I get a G and a Z. Oh, 
Z? Come closer. Safe to trust you today. Guys, just so you know, I you probably think I'm saying G for Garen, but I'm actually asking for a Galio. Okay? Just so we're clear. Okay? So when you make the G happen, please make it at a um make it a Galio. Thanks. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandle brew. So if I have a Nashers. Hmm. Who am I gonna play? I guess most units are still kind of playable. Most AP units. Not yet finished. Maybe Nashor Shojin. I also take Riven for a Gunblade Riven. Mm, I'll take half of an Adaptive Helm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can I get a pause champ in the chat? I'm gonna do something wild. I'm gonna reforge this sword. Okay. I'm gonna reforge this sword into a playable item, as in chain or tier. That's not playable. <laughs> Fuck, it's actually not playable. Yeah, it's not playable because I, I already have the the shred. Dang it. Uh-oh. Oh god, please don't lose this. Okay, don't worry. If that Caitlyn lines up a snipe on my Kogma, I've got a big Giga Chad bodyguard ready to block it. Here it comes, here it comes. Block it, bodyguard! An F in chat for the bodyguard. <laughs> Poor guy. That looked like it hurt. Oh. Everybody dance. Wow, look at Asa. It, he's not dancing. He's the one guy at the party who's just sitting there in the corner. Yeah, what a jerk. Have some fun. Mingle a little bit. Component anvil. Anvil. And money. Okay. I'll use one anvil right now to set up a... Uh, Probably, I like Gargoyle, I think it's really flexible. And then I think Gunblade. Okay, I like Gunblade a lot. But it might have been Rabadons. I feel like Gunblade's just so reliable though, because there's so much chip damage. If you don't have some, a little bit of Omni Vamp, you will die to like this. Is that a two star Yone? Dude, I swear to God, if I lose my streak. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm losing my streak. That's a two-star Yona with BT Titans. Okay, yeah, it's actually, like, completely not close. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm not sad that I lost this matchup. I'm sad that I faced him at all. Pretty sure my board beats everyone else. Oh, I got a G. This world needs hope. Come, let me show you darkness. Wait, I requested a Galio, guys. What happened? If I don't see a Galio in my shop within three rounds, all right, somebody's getting fired. None will escape my grasp. 
Crap. I need to play this Teemo. Well, I don't want to level for it. Oh, there's some pretty strong players in this lobby. Two star Teemo. Yeah, I guess I could just remove one for now. I have a 0% chance of winning. You know, that sounds cap as fuck, but I actually believe that I win this. I actually believe that I win. Look at this. Boom. The power of one... Watch this. this is not looking good. I went from, like, really strong and 5 shooting to... Wow, you are pathetic. Uh... Oh, I don't really need either of these. They're all like items. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's just do Jeweled Lotus. Oh, only Shark on it. No, I think I like Jeweled Lotus better. It's simple and flexible. Watch this. And I found what Asa said yesterday to be really interesting. He said, um... What's it called? He said, damage items tend to, uh, or tank items tend to fall off late game. Which makes sense, because like late game, there's like damage everywhere where, like, doesn't matter how strong your tank is, like, it will eventually die. So like, I'm down to prioritize damage. I used to think you wanted to be 50-50 damage and, uh, damage and tank. But like, now I would say it's probably like 70% damage items. Because, like, every time I have a lot of damage items, my carries just don't do anything. Like, last game, I was level 9 and I still lost. My board, like, just didn't do anything. Like, yeah, I was so tanky, but who cared? Does the Jeweled Lotus effect kill? I believe it does. Okay, I'm actually going to hang on to this Ari. Because I think Syndra is a possible out... Oh wait, no it's not. I'm playing Storeweaver Crest. I'm pretty sure I have to do Storeweaver Flex again. Go to, I probably have to play seven Storeweaver for a while and then like slowly pe peel off. Okay, I need an adaptive helm. I'm down to lose this round and get a carousel prior. Can I lose by like one? Wait, did I win? Oh no. Uh, okay, so if I can't get the tier, I think belt is okay. Oh, there's no belt. Oh shit. It's gotta be Rod. Morales is pretty legit here. Although, it's gonna be on my rook side. <laughs> I think it's worth it. <laughs> oh my, dude, my team is all one stars. Oh, I'm literally like all one size besides my Rek'Sai. No wonder I'm losing. Come on, little Teemo, you can do it. Bodyguard, Sivir down! Okay, actually, Kale's the real carry here. So it's all good. Bodyguard, Teemo down! But Kale will finish the job. Dang. Two, three, four. 
Complete your journey or die is mine. I herald the greatest blessing. This isn't looking good. This is not looking good. The other Star Weaver Flex guy. Wait. Oh no, Asa cashed out and now he's five Star Weaver and a Galio. He's doing the exact same thing as me. Actually, he literally taught me yesterday how to do it. Where's the other guy with Star Weaver Crest? There's like four Star Weaver players this game. Here he is. Oh, he has a Morgana. Dude, we're all gonna be contesting like the same three carries. Oh. Oh god, dude. I gotta stop playing Star Weaver. It's so strong, but like, I I just hate that half the uh, players in the lobby play this every single game because it's way too good. I really hate that. Who are the three characters for Star Weaver? Uh, you can flex Lilia, you can flex Morgana. Cause Lilia is invoke. wait. Oh wait, Lilia doesn't flex in very quickly. Well, uh, Morgana flexes in cause of Sage. Uh, and there's one more four cost carry. Oh, Syndra, you can get Arcanist pretty easily with Zoe. Oh, hi Zoe. Oh. Oh, hey, I got adaptive. <laughs> Dude, I'm so frustrated. My, my whole board's been one star the entire game. All right, well, I'll level up and roll and pray, I guess. Why not Shojin Ashers? Uh, Shojin's not good. You think it's like the premier mana item? It's actually adaptive. Adaptive, you're playing AP. Wait, I'm actually so frustrated. How did I like not hit a single upgrade? I was able to preserve a lot of HP, but this is frustrating. All right, well, we're all rolling for the same carries. Hopefully, I can be the one who hits here. I'll level up, get a sneak a two star Syndra in really quick. Maybe get one Galio. Not enough Galios to spare. Ah. Uh. Oh, I, I like this. I like Final Ascension a lot. And then now we just buy every single tank. Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Let's move find our people to its fire. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm dropping down to two story weaver. And Syndra's just gonna be my main carry. I don't I don't really need the damage from Kale. Okay, so we just try to live to final ascension, that's it. That's the entire win con. Ow. Okay, I really like this setup, but can I hit? We'll see. I the greatest blessing. So let's go ahead and sell, sell. Every river ends in me. Oh fuck, wait, I have two out of three exalted. If I can just throw in a Soraka. Is four behemoth bad? Uh it's not very good. It's like not that tanky. Okay, 
Wait, it says level nine. What the fuck? How did you make it level nine on four three? I need this set so badly. Oh, set's actually perfect. Uh. Oh no, I sold. Oh fuck. I sold my, oh, my thresh. Maybe it's not Cinder Carry. Sorry. <laughs> not without the faded setup. The last time I ate a plant was never. I'm pretty sure I have to sell this Annie. I held the greatest blessing. I think I have to sell this Annie. Oh man. Guys, this is so fucked. I think I've lost my touch. Every time I play Story Reflex, I hit none of the units and then I just die. Hit no two stars because there's five players contesting the same three units. I'm just dead. I didn't hit a single one of my carries. I hit the worst one. Syndra. Spirit, reveal our way. Alright, roll for one upgrade, please. Alright, honestly, this way. It's probably better than this Syndra. Art is empty without empathy. I'm so fucked. I have to just keep rolling at eight. Hit something. Uh, I need a Nautil- I know what I need. I need Nautilus. Oh, did I win? I need a Nautilus and a Lilia for Mythic, and then I can play around Huey, Lilia, carry. Nobody has Lilia, surprisingly. I'm still sitting on one ribbon. I only got one ribbon the entire game, and it was the ribbon from my Star Weaver crest augment. This is so sad. Wait, how is Asa losing? He's level nine. Oh, he has two Lilias. Wait, what? I just got a Huey. Every flower blooms to be seen. Is there a chance? I actually like assembled the pivot. Ow. Wait, this is like the strongest level 7 build I've ever seen. Wait, I just realized. Fuck. I needed to buy that. I need to buy that uh, Azir. Our 
Alright, well, I'm, I'm just dead. This is incredibly frustrating. I hit one Raven, one Galilee the entire- I, I should've just sold these guys and then played Orn Azir. Just fuck my story request. It doesn't matter, I'm dead anyway. My build is trash. I'm so frustrated, like, I, I did the right thing. I played Star Weaver, it's really strong. I played around it, I hit none of the Star Weaver units, I died. It, it's so frustrating. And the reason why is because it's contested five ways, but I'd be throwing to not play it. But it's just like, okay, get contested by the entire lobby, hit none of the units, die. I was on one stars the entire game, even while rolling. If I hit two stars at any point, I'd be like 30 HP higher. It's so frustrating. Go play hyper roll? No. I hate hyper roll. When Tekken? In a couple of weeks. I don't play the ad break, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm so frustrated, man. I play a contested build. I fail to hit. It's like, oh, well, what do you expect? You were playing a contested build. I don't play a contested build. I hit my unit. It sucks. It loses to people who played the best builds. Should've went for the contested build. Fuck, man. Should've just hit. That's what it feels like. with your spiritual side. Spirits are calling. Welcome, Vital Assassin 9. Get in touch with your spiritual side. I made up my mind. Bro, I... I was like, okay, I'm gonna sell the ribbon for 10, and then... <sighs> it's, it's fine, it's fine.
All right, I'm gonna force faded. I'm gonna force it so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna force faded so hard that I I like conjure up a faded crest in my augments through sheer will. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Wrong one. Faded crest. Faded crest. These are garbage. All right. Shock treatment is fine. Oh man, a loose streak augment would have been great here, actually. Actually, nobody has a strong board. I might be able to level and sneak one in. Fate hunts you today. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> Guys, can I get a K in my shop? Okay. 1k, okay? The 1k. Dang it. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. This is risky, but I could level here and try to push for streak because the whole lobby is pretty weak. Nobody in this lobby is trying for a win streak. I'm gonna try. If I lose, oh wait. This story is not yet finished. Please don't lose. I need a K, okay? This doesn't look good. No K. If I lose here, it's not gonna be pretty. I really need this like mini streak. Okay, I mean, this guy's got 40 gold, so like surely I win, right? Oh, Miliski, thanks for the prime. If I'm very lucky, I get a cloak on Carousel. The cock. If I'm a true psychopath, I could level to six here, but... Kind of feels like a huge blunder to do that. Computer, calculate the odds of nobody wanting this cloak. Or tier. Wait. Wait, really? Really?
future. Alright, I mean, if I lose here... Oh, maybe I could've leveled, actually. Leveled for a Mumu. If I lose here, I can sell for Econ and it's not the end of the world. Alright, odds of Kindred pulling a bullshit 1v2. Wait, actually? <gasps> oh! Thanks, Set. Boy, that was crazy. Kindred's like a really sucky unit, too. Kindred, as a reward for that incredible performance, I'm gonna upgrade you to two star right here. Enjoy. Pretty sure I can five streak. Don't even need to level. Alright, easy faded game. How do you work out with set? You, you don't actually. Oh, this guy went six. Uh, this guy went six and he has a very strong Miko. Why do I always have to face the strongest person in the last round? This has happened every single round. Okay, is there any chance that my Kindred pulls off a bullshit like what? Look at this, look at this. She's literally gonna 1v8. Literally, literally. Kite! Kite! It's not even close. Why do I have to face the Psycho? Man! I, at least I still have 40 gold. But like, why is it always me? This is like the fourth time in six games where I faced the strongest person on the last round to, uh, uh, to not streak. Like, it's not the end of the world. I still made 50 here, but... It's probably like minus 10 gold from lost streak. It's minus 7 gold immediately, and it's like minus 10 if I was going to win the next fight. Is just Mira's Annie feel very strong right now? I mean, she's okay. She's nothing like, crazy. Nothing compared to Kench. The weft and weave of fate guides. Hard spoil the chase. This one's got fire. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, through a sheer power of will, I, Alberto Bakusu Bakusu Zeng, I will summon Faded Crest. My items are pretty bad. I mean, actually, BT Amumu is like not bad. I'm down for BT Amumu. Gives AP health. Dude, it's always a Galio. How are how are everybody? So many people force Stormy Rid and then hit Galio. I'm so jealous. Sorry, I've been very bitter recently. These last few games have been very frustrating. Okay, but BT and Moomoo's kind of popping off. Oh my god. I actually could have won that if I slammed my belt. Wait, he has two Galios. Why not Jax over Nar? Uh, Dryad. Need the AP. Alright, you guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? Faded Crest. Faded Crest. Fuck. How many free rerolls? Three. Travel awaits. One. Every river ends in me. Stand back. Two. Strong Nico coming true. Spirits are calling. Let's find some friends. Three.
which all travels end. Gain 8 EXP and 3 crew rerolls. I'd rather have a combat augment, but I'll take it for now. What can I play here? I have Shiv and Adaptive. Wait, so like, all the mainline AP carries are still open. With a, with like a heavy lean towards Syndra if possible. Just cause I already have uh, Arcanist and Faded. Yeah, I'll, I'll just pencil in the Syndra build. Knowing that that's most likely what I play here. But I'll consider a Lilia or Morgana if I hit it. I lose that. Lunate adds a completed item. Um, I like Archangels. Oh, I like that Thresh. I like that Thresh a lot. I like Archangels. Yeah, Archangels Warmogs is nice. Okay, so then it's just Arcanus, or uh, Faded, and then Alawi. Uh, Born. I herald the greatest blessing. <laughs> okay, I mean, this is fine. I just have to wait for the next Epoch, and then go eight. It doesn't look like I'm contested. I have had a lot of success on Syndra. <sighs> Ari and Lilia switched their roles this set. Oh yeah, they swapped costs. Love it when girls swap costs. This game was pretty satisfying. That's huge, now I don't have to rebuild. Everybody say thanks, Malphite. Uh oh. When did you get this faded crust? Oh no. Wait, I just realized. If I don't hit a faded crest, I think I can only play five faded. Because I don't think you can play 7, there's just like not enough space. I need to drop Yasuo and Aphelios. And just play 5. That feels kind of bad. I wonder if Prize Fighter is good. Gain one item component, every three wins grants you an item component. I guess it's like a win more kind of augment. Are you eliminated? Yes, from the boot camp. I was uh, one first place away. Okay, it's time. Can I get an S in the chat? So much of this game comes down to if I can hit the Syndra. Senna 3.
I'm gonna gain 8 EXP, so I should level up to 8. Oh, good items. All right, let's. Whoa! Stick to the plan. We have a plan. The last time I ate a plant was never. <laughs> Your spirit is held. Take it if you can. I can probably go nine. Yeah, let's go nine. I've got Orn Azir. I think I sack three, go nine. Or I guess two more. Well, I'll be kind of poor if I do that, huh? Dryad Crest? No, no, no. I need Faded Crest. Come on, Albert. You can do it. Faded Crest. Oh! Wait, I have to roll. I have to roll. I have to hit Syndra. Holy shit. The Faded Crest actually is so huge. Okay, I'm just gonna go 9 now. Wow. Ridiculously high value Faded Crest. Alright, and not bad items on the Syndra. It's nice knowing that I can fix it whenever I want. She's just like a machine gun. One auto, one cast. One auto, one cast. That faded crest actually just saved the game. I was like, I was gonna have to flex it up, but now I don't have to. This story is not yet finished. How do you play this other crest? Uh, I was theory crafting it out earlier this game. I'm pretty sure you have to uh, play five faded and that's it. And it, it's not very good. Yeah, let me be clear. It's, uh, I don't think it's very good at all. Is adaptive better than Bulafon Syndra? Surprisingly, yes. Which is weird. But like, full well, sorry. I would think blue buff is better off of like the design of what blue buff does. But apparently, uh, Adaptive Helm is just insane. Actually, yeah, look at that. Oh, I still lost, but I actually almost clutched that, that was crazy. Apparently, Adaptive Helm does better. Like, people who slam Adaptive do better than people who slam Blue Buff. Maybe it's because, like, it's harder to get Blue Buff, I don't know. But, like, I'll, I'll slam Blue Buff if I have to, but Adaptive is just so much more flexible, because, like, it doesn't necessarily lock you into Syndra, whereas Blue Buff does. Okay, I know exactly what I need here, and I think I'm gonna get it. Wow, I got it. Isn't Syndra connected to Mumu better? No, you'll see. If I if I connect Syndra to uh, anyone besides Ari, you lose out. Oh my god! I never rest. Holy shit! I am a dirty high roller. Okay, I'm actually gonna level up. I I can print. One, two. <laughs> I 
All right, Lissandra, print me some items. Oh wait, I just realized Lissandra actually needs to be in the back two rows for adaptive. Oh my god, she printed an item already. Waste of eat punch in two rounds. Now nah, I'm going ten, baby. I'm going ten. I need, to roll, I need to roll quite a bit here and get a two star Lissandra. Or two star. Whatchamacallit? Two star Syndra. What am I missing in my build? Uh, set. That's it. That's it. Just set. One up behind a frontliner. You just don't do enough damage. The, the damage that Syndra deals is way too low. For a build where, like, you only really have one carry, you need this. If you ever try playing Syndra without it, you'll be like, why does she do zero damage? Alright, let's do it. If I can hit uh, Cinder 2 here, I can go 10. Get in touch with your spiritual side. Ready for this? Leave your truth or die in mind. Leave your truth. <sighs> Well, I did not hit. I'll be real with you guys, I did not hit. That's rough. Alright, let's try this again. No prison can hold me. Wait, but Jordan, I fucking told you the entire Such power. Okay, uh... <laughs> it might not be good, it might be too late. I think I need to go 10 now. What can I do to get stronger now? The only synergy unit that makes sense here is uh, Umbral Reaper, Yone, but that's not actually useful. Oh my god, my Syndra almost won that. Fuck. Okay, I, I need to roll down now. I'm not making it to 10. Wait, actually. Could I make it to 10? If I sack one... Uh, how much EXP away was I? I wish I could see my EXP bar. 
I'm gonna take it. Like, I, I know it's not that likely, but like, what else can I do, right? I can only roll for Lissandra 2 and Thresh 2. Well, I guess and Set 2. Okay. Now that now that I just went through the list in my head, I actually was kind of down. I wish I could see my EXP because I didn't know how if I could if the 20 EXP would make the difference in making it there or not. Fuck. All right, please, please be an easy fight. Do faded set syndrome? No, stop telling me to. I I need the 90 AP. God damn it. All right, well, I'm gonna level up and put in something random. All right, fuck it, faded crest. Oh, TG. Cinder looks like she does nothing. Yes, yeah, because I don't have a team. It took me forever to hit the Syndra. But like, if you have a frontline, she's actually quite good. I only have one unit frontline right now. Shall I prove them right? Oh wow. Fuck. Surrender. My triumph is inevitable. I'm playing 9 out of 10. Holy shit. 9 out of 10. Please. Man, literally if I had like two more gold. This Lissandra 2 should be a big deal though. If I can survive this, I can then spike by putting in another legendary. Oh, I got one shot. Well, that's actually incredibly fucking sad. Literally need like three more gold. If I hit in one more roll, or one earlier roll. What a frustrating game. All I had to do was hit Syndra, and I couldn't hit her for so long. Although I definitely shouldn't have went 10. Like I couldn't see my EXP bar, so I couldn't even make an educated decision. If I if I realized like how far away I was, I would have just taken the 10 free rerolls and then probably hit my set two and uh Lissandra two, and then like at least I could win with that. Could have been two Lissandra ones. No, that's not better because she has three items. Getting the Lissandra two doubles the value of your three items. It's big. That was definitely my strongest board. It just sucks that I didn't have like even one gold to play another unit because I, I like barely lost. I lost by like auto attacks, like two. Cinder doesn't seem good at all. Why is everyone playing her? I mean, she didn't look good there because it took me too long to hit her and my augment sucked. If you see the games where I hit her and get first, you'll think she's the most broken unit in the game. We have very good stats on Faded. That game just fucking sucked because it took me forever to hit Syndra. Box box, you had to bind it to set, then they get really strong. I don't, I don't get it. Seriously. Those of you that are telling me to bind set to Syndra, please tell me why. Seriously. Set gives you Omnivamp. My Syndra is the last unit dying. Omnivamp doesn't matter. She's not dying to chip damage. Like, if you bind Syndra to Ari, you get 90 AP on your whole team. And most importantly, you get 90 AP on your, your solo carry. 90 AP is a full death cap. You get a four item Syndra. If you bind Syndra to set, you get Omnivamp, which doesn't matter because Syndra's not taking any damage until the end of the fight anyway. And being, having Omnivamp when you're the last unit alive doesn't actually do anything unless it's a 1v1. The amount of people who are like, oh my God, set's a legendary, bind him. It gives plus 10% HP, shut the fuck up. It's so not worth it. I've had games where at the, at the beginning of the set where I bound Syndra to set thinking it was good. And I'm like, why am I losing? Then I tried binding Cinder to Ari, I instantly went out. Like, yeah, I lost that game, but it's not because of who I bound to. It's because I didn't fucking hit.
All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Spirits are calling. Shiv is good. For a good night. Please give me a two-star unit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not very good items though.
Belt diff. I alone decide my fate. This story is not yet finished. Guardbreaker is not a very good item, but I might just need to play it. Yeah, I just need to play it. It's fine. It won't be good on Syndra, but maybe somebody else. I'm a little sad about the Anvil. I saw the Faded Crest, like, if I get Mana Zane or Sniper's Focus, I just win. No, this York's giving me the suck. Stop him! No, 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 hurry, Ari. Hurry! No, the suck. Come closer. Dang it. This is stupid. Yay. You forgot to bow. Oh, gold mancers, actually. Oh, actually, this is actually kind of a big because I could farm some money. Okay, can I get two gold here? Yeah, this encounter kind of sucks, in my opinion. You'll randomly like lose your streak, dude. Uh... Okay, my bad. I I killed them two autos too early. I just lost two gold. Oh my god, that's so sad. I shouldn't have slammed these items. That two gold's actually gonna matter too, because I'm not gonna be able to make twenty here. Three gold cloak, kind of big. <laughs> Do I even want to level here? I could level for Arcanist, but. I'm not sure how necessary it is. Making 20 might be more important. I can't believe I lost that one round, man. I can't believe that York gave me this suck. Man, five streaking here would have been awesome. We're always so close. Thanks, Tristana. Hello, Winter Flower. What am I gonna do about this guard breaker? 
The guard breaker is really sad because it eats up, it eats up items that could have been good, but I needed it to like save HP. And now that I've gotten faded, Chris, I basically have to play like Syndra. Well, you could have played Aphelios, but uh, we still have the Shiv. Please tell me I don't have to slam a BT here. Okay, I didn't slam it. I hope I was right. I think I had to slam it. Ah! Lucky Ricochet forced Bard hit Gwinsu's Gambler's Blade. I'm so jealous. He's actually gonna farm an infinite amount of money. I herald the greatest blessing. He's actually gonna farm an infinite amount of money, dude. I really didn't want to slam a BT, because if you have Anima Visage, you really should try to play around it. And playing around Anima Visage means like going full tank, like Gargoyle Warmogs. Why are you concerned about saving HP on stage 2? You barely lose anything. It's more about wind streaking than anything else. The wind streak's the big deal. The oh my god. The no, please. Spoil the chase. Okay, well, one rod can become a gun blade, and it's not the end of the world. Yeah, one gun blade I can deal with. I probably have to slam BT now, which is really sad because I could have just slammed it earlier and I had a four win streak. Is BT not good on set? I mean, it's okay, it's not the best. I didn't want to slam it because I figured that I would be able to make a backline item with the sword and then a frontline item with the cloak, but I ended up not hitting. This game is actually like a tragedy. There were, like, it, I don't know if it looks like it to you guys, but there are already so many things that went wrong in this game and I'm already like incredibly tilted. We already got, we got a good open with the Faded Crest, but then the Artifact Anvil did not uh, line up. I slammed two full items on Ari, and then the Artifact Anvil gave me uh, zero good backline items. It gave me a Deathfire Grasp, and then the Anima Visage. I don't remember what the third one was, but it was useless. And DFG is like, oh, that can go on Syndra, right? Nope. DFG is like a kill someone instantly kind of item, and Syndra is a scale-up unit. So you have to take the Anima Visage, and then it's awkward because you have one item on your tank, two items on your carry, when you should try to three-item somebody. It's really sad. Slide a hand. Yeah, it's actually a tragedy. And then we, we lost our streak on the second fight to that York by one HP. Tragedy. I then didn't get my streak, uh, at least a three streak, which would have been a five streak now because I didn't slam the BT, because I didn't want to grief my items, and then I didn't hit anyway, so I had to slam a BT anyway. It's actually a tragedy. Like, eight things have already gone wrong. It's not the end of the world. I can probably play for a fourth, but I'm, I'm pretty upset. I'll just, like, pray that I hit on my roll down. I'm also contested. Uh, the problem with being contested here is that we both have to play Syndra. Well, my opponent could play... Aphelios. I can't play Aphelios because I slammed a shiv. Have you tried trick shot? Oh yeah. Bard reroll. I'll have a bard reroll with uh, two Gwinsus. Recombobulate. I can't. I don't have anything that interesting to recombob. I herald the greatest blessing. Yes. Yeah, I'll have a, a bard reroll with a trick shot and a three star Kench, two Quinsus, and a Gunblade. Daring today, aren't we? Forget the past. It only clouds the future. 
Is the attack speed from Kindred Link worth it over the shields? Yes, because my back line is lacking right now. My front line's actually pretty good. Oh fuck. This uh this Yorick is unkillable with the hero augment. Wait, I'm pretty sure I, I don't have enough to single target damage to beat this guy. Oh wait, actually hang on. Does Yorick suck? Maybe Yorick sucks. Wow, he didn't do anything. Okay, I need a... Oh my god, there's a spat. I'm never getting that. I need a mana generation item. I would take this tier. One gold tier just to like, set up for a blue buff or an adaptive home. Uh, otherwise, I'll take a War Mogs. No. Dude! <sighs> That's actually so upsetting. I could have had the belt, but because the guy didn't take the tier, I went for the tier first. Then he did take the tier. I was like, oh, fuck. Now I gotta go for the belt. And the, the other guy got the belt as a result. Dude. That's so frustrating. All right, I'm gonna roll once and hopefully I get like some four cost to play. No prison can hold me. Buildings of the past. Is Syndra better than Kaisa as a carry? Oh, absolutely. Kaisa is really weak right now. Is she better than Lilia? Uh, I'd say about equal. Maybe more. I think Morgana is maybe the strongest. But like Syndra is someone who you either play completely around or you don't play around her at all. Okay, I have this build memorized by heart now, but I'll still mark it. Uh, every faded unit. Orn, Alawi. And then Sandra. Uh, I'm pretty sure I beat this guy. Don't beat that guy. Uh, I'm gonna roll twice and see if I can hit something. Such potential. Okay, that's probably good enough. I need a new Ari actually to move items over. Um, who's gonna take my guard breaker and Shiv? Cause like honestly, the only item here that I have that Syndra actually wants is the Gunblade. She needs a mana item, and then like the guard breaker is pretty bad. Okay, I'm on a streak. I'm tilting really hard thinking about how much of a larger streak I could have had if. I won that one fight. I could've just like streaked all the way and been like 30 gold richer. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe I just hit here. Maybe I just hit. I will level up though. I will be a psycho because I want to uh, keep my streak. Oh no. This guy is contesting and he hit a Syndra. Wait, this guy's all- Two faded crap! What? Two? Two? Oh. Wait, I actually need to roll right now and try to grab Sinjas before it's too late. I need to get at least one. No one is promised oh, I got a tier. Nice. Alright, come on, Albert. At least one. At least one Sinjas, please. Leave your journey or die. Never. 
All right, well, goodbye, world. I'm contested by two players, and I rolled first, and I missed on my roll down. Also, I'm pretty sure I lose my streak. Unless Yasuo is the Pog Man. No, he's not. Okay, well, I'm ready to end my stream. I don't want to play anymore. This is disgusting. Call to Chaos. No, I can't do Call to Chaos. That lo Actually, fuck it. I'm, I'm like tilted out of my mind. Maybe give me something crazy. Oh, 40 rerolls. I will not go back. The last time I ate a plant was never. Okay, well, I, I literally have no money right now, but. That's actually a bit of a shame, because uh, my opponents are rolling for Syndra's right now. One Syndra, two Syndra's. The other guy had another one, so that's three. This guy is four. Okay, and then I have five. So half the Syndra's are out of the pool right now. I wish I was this guy, 66 gold. That was actually a lot better. I herald the greatest oh. blessing. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Actually, is there any point to rolling right now? There might not be any point to rolling right now, because, like, I'd have to sell. I was just like, oh, fuck. This is so nerve-wracking, though. I, I know all the Syndras are going to be gone if I wait too long. I, I scouted. There are three Syndra players this game, and there's a guy who's playing Ash who just happened to play Syndra in that build as, like, a, f a filler unit. And then I, I can't go for three stars either. Frustrating. Can't go for three stars because everyone has two stars of my build. Yeah, this this call to chaos was pretty unlucky, but I, I was like very tilted. I I didn't feel like I had any other choice. I could have taken like a pretty mediocre augment, I guess. I mean to be fair, this this will actually help me hit my build. So there is that. Uh I really need this tier. Okay. There's still a lot of singes left. I need to roll fast before everyone else hits. I will not hold back. Give your drink or die in mine. Come on. Ready for this? Okay, I'm down to roll and then lock when I see it. Cause I need I need to get this before everyone else. Man, this guy got uncontested bard. I'm so jealous. When I get a good bard start, five players contest bard, two players grief bard just to grief it. This guy gets uncontested bard, nobody touches it. Hey man, you can have your build. It's so frustrating. His bard three catch one. Like, it doesn't matter. He's gonna print so much money. I feel like it's two no diff. I mean, it's actually a little bit of a diff. I can't play this. I need to keep rolling. 
on Syndra. Oh my god. So many Threshes. It doesn't... Aren't there so many players with Threshes? How am I... How am I seeing Threshes if there are three Syndra players, each with a Thresh too? I, the only reason I didn't pick him up... Well, first of all, I'm out of money. But also, I didn't pick him up because I was like, yeah, there's no way I'm hitting this. There's only 17 Threshes in the game. If two other players have Thresh too, it's like already basically over. Yeah, it honestly might be like the same one. Oh, he died. Okay, that's two Cinders back in the pool. Alright, well, I don't think I can make it to 9, but if I can, I can then try to get set 2. I probably have like 10 free rerolls left. I can't believe it was so contested. Barely anyone plays Syndra. I get faded Chris, I'm like, okay, I'm done for Syndra. And then I scout and there's three players forcing Syndra. What are, what are the odds, man? <sighs> uh, I have Warmogs and I have Titans. You should get Warmogs, you should get Titans. What about Redemption? No, I feel like my set can actually do damage. My Syndra, I finally have like a pretty good setup, but I basically traded my Prismatic Augment for like, like a really roundabout way of saying hit your board immediately. Oh my god, I won. That's huge. Oh, what a nice guy. He said, go get them Syndras. Why did he contest? He didn't even have a Faded Crest. Fate hunts you today. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I feel this like actually does some damage. Is it good to link Syndra and Ari? Yes. People keep asking me this. I promise you, if I link Syndra to anybody else, she's going to do almost zero damage. I, I'm not even kidding. She's actually pretty bad. Uh, if you link, like, Syndra to set, it does, like, almost zero damage. You, you don't have enough damage to kill people. Oh, fuck. I moved into this Yone. No, dude. Fuck. I moved into him. What a throw. Man, my Ari is like so perfectly safe. For the first time in like eight rounds, I swapped sides. Got punished immediately. Fate hunts you today. 10% damage is troll. The 10% damage from the, the Syndra Link? Are you stupid? Do you know how to multiply by three? All Faded Champions get 300% of the Faded bonus. 10 times three is 30. The 30% is actually a big deal. That's the difference between one-shotting someone and not one-shotting. Like, I, pro I promise, if I, if I link like Yasuo, or like Thresh and, uh, and Set, like, yeah, you have defense. You have zero offense, and then you die. I promise you, you need this AP. Look at how much my Syndra's struggling right now, and that's with 90 AP from Ari and 30% bonus damage from Syndra. It would be significantly worse without it. Holy shit. That was disgusting. I killed zero units.
It might have been TG Thresh, but I actually think Gwinsu's here is nice. Alright, if I can make it to Lissandra. I have to win one out of the next two fights. Alright, most likely I'm dead here. Like, I I, I give up, honestly, because, like, I cannot believe everywhere I go, I get contested by everyone. This is this is definitely not normal. I got contested in, like, 80% of my games by, like, three people. I don't think they're doing it on purpose, but holy shit, is it frustrating. And with the current bag size, like, if you get contested, you just lose. Pray that you're the one guy out of a, mir a million that hits. Or... Just die. Because your units are all gone from the pool. Goodbye, world. Oh, it was almost the fifth. This guy didn't slam his TG. What? This guy barely lost by one auto. And the only reason I didn't get fifth was because his opponent didn't slam the Thief's Gloves. He lost by one auto. With a TG on bench. Oh. This is actually so frustrating. There, th this can't be normal. There's no way like it's normal to like play 10 games of TFT and get contested in all of them. Like I'm playing a different build each time. I play some Syndra, I play some Lilia, I play some Reroll Kogma, I play some Bard, I play some Snipers, I, I play it all, man. Everywhere I go, there's like three players that are holding the same units. The game is so easy if I'm just not contested. I make the right choice. I'm contested by three players. So I roll before they do. Before the Syndra's out of the pool. I miss, they all hit, I lose. It's so frustrating. There's nothing I can do. Thanks, Lilia. Wanna play the ad break? I'll see you guys later. where the trouble is. Yep. Sorry, I clicked on a link. Hello, Mickey.
We got the slime IE, which is fine. Alright, let me think about this. Never a dull moment. So I have an IE and a belt. Potentially duelist. I, I don't think I'm actually playing Store Weavers. You could play Store Weaver Kaisa. It's not very good. And you'd be contesting like the same like units that everybody else is contesting, the Galio Riven. The early Zyra Zoe. Who are some late game carries who can use this IE? Uh, Kaisa, Kane. I think that's it. Oh, Irelia. I mean, I could try to store we reflex and then make it to Irelia. That'd be really strong. Yeah, if I make it to Irelia, I like win the game, but that'll be pretty tough. There's like four Story Weaver players. Wait, Irelia is a Story Weaver? Interesting. Or sorry, Irelia is an Exalted. I forgot about Ash. She's horrible though. I don't think we'd ever play her. Okay, I have a belt. Lots of items can be played here. It's just another belt or a chain. I wonder if Guardbreaker would have been good. Probably not. It gives AP. <laughs> oh shit. Right. Um, Crown Guarded is literally bugged. I kind of like this Dragon Spirit with the Warmogs that I'm about to slam. But if I want a win streak, I think it's a cut above. It's a bit too late for it to give me any real money, but... Yeah, it's a bit late for it to give me any real amount of money, but... Uh, the Deathblade is nice. Watch this! Yeah, we actually have like an 80 carry server. It could actually be a uh, Store Weaver Kaisa and then finish it off with Irelia. I'd be down. It seems pretty simple. I know, I know the game plan one. Well, can Server print me one gold? Oh, she did! Can she print me two? Oh, she did! Oh my god, I didn't have to sell anything. Yeah. 
bigger and better. Burdens of the past. Need a trick shot. Okay, every time I've had a four streak, I've lost on the fifth round. There's no way that happens this time, right? I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, team, hang in there. Please. There's no way I lose this, right? There's no way I lose this? Ah! Ah! It's so fucking close. I finally did it. I five streaked once. You know what? I've been a good boy. We all agree, right? I've been a good boy. I have not been a naughty little boy. I've been a good boy. Don't you guys think I deserve a Galio at five? I've actually seen so many Galio at fives. Two star bard? Oh. I've actually seen a lot of people force Store Weaver and then hit Galio at five, and it tilts the fuck out of me. It's like, it's like forcing Faded Crest and then getting a Syndra at five. But Galio is so much, so much more flexible. Okay, I'm done for a Gwinsu's. Oh, what the? No, it's the wrong four costs. Oh, well, I mean, Kane might actually be playable, but I absolutely can't play. I can't play Lilia. Yeah, I can't play Lilia. That was my prismatic orb. My prismatic orb was two four costs that didn't fit my build. Oh, that's actually so tilting because you know everybody else got something crazy. Everybody else got a prismatic orb. I go where the trouble is. Double Gwinsu's Bard. No. Is this the end of my streak? I mean, at least I got the five streak, but this is so sad. We low rolled the Prismatic Orb. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe Silver clutches this. Oh, she's hitting the Bard first. PhD, Silver. I'm alive. Okay, I'm down to be a psychopath and try to extend my lead, which means level and roll. All right, one roll for something good. Never a dull moment. One roll for something good. Death is not always a release. Leave your journey or die in mine. That might be good enough. What about Diana? Uh, Diana's not very good here unless you're playing Zyra. Diana's a weird unit. She's like kind of expensive to hold, so you don't want to hold her early. You want to like get her exactly at like level seven or eight once you've already committed to your sages. So like you actually have to skip Diana early. I was really hoping for like a random one star Kaisa or something. I mean, it's, lo it's level seven, so I can't really be too picky. I should probably just chill. Like the only unit I could hit here that really makes me stronger is Galio and uh, and Kaisa. Behemoth in shop. I I can't play the Shen. The the Sarka actually gives me a lot of stats here. Good team wide unit. Oh, this guy's rerolling a Philios.
Silver, print me money, please. Wow, every time I ask, she prints. That's crazy. Maybe I should ask more often. I've asked three times, and it's the only three times she's printed. Okay, uh, what do I want here? Gargoyle's good. Gwinsu's is good. Actually, I'm pretty sure Shojin is actually good on Kaisa, but I don't have either of the components. Oh, I'm kind of down for partial ascension. I'm very tanky. Our wills align. Wait, tiny titans, tiny titans, tiny titans. Three players, took, four players took tiny titans. What the heck? I always also offer Tiny Titans. That was weird. I right, right, let's just chill. If I lose, it's not the end of the world. If I win, I will try to... I'll probably level up on uh, Wolves. We pray for the K. Energy. Really need a Galio. So, Kaisa's my, mi my mid to late game carry, and I really should be the ultimate late game carry. So I, I can already like begin to see like the end game, right? Uh, you get Rakan and Irelia. Uh, you get Galio Riven. Galio Riven, and then we can also play Kaisa in the mid game. Where's Kaisa? Oh, I already have her highlighted. Yeah, imagine I just hit a level seven Irelia and the game's just free. That'd be so nice. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh. Got excited. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? If I keep wind streaking, I'll hold this Azir. I'm working on Okay, people are playing pretty weak boards. I'm actually like pretty surprised I'm, I'm still win streaking. I don't feel like the server is that strong. At least I do have two stars. Yeah, nobody has a strong board. Okay, there is a world where I just pivot off entirely and then play around this Azir. Like if I get Gwinsu's, Gwinsu's Azir is pretty legit. And then I can put all my AD items on someone else. I don't know who, but... Maybe like a set. Or maybe I just have a random Irelia. Oh hey, an Ash. Spirit, reveal our way. Alright, actually, Silver might be able to farm money here. Okay, I'm gonna level and roll like a psycho. I believe I can keep this streak forever. Oh, spat, please. Oh, completed item anvil. Oh, I got Gwinsu's. Art is empty without empathy. Thank you. 
Uh oh. Oh wait, this part's inting. No, my cast didn't get her. No, it was so close. Damn it. Goodbye, my streak. Can I please hit one Galio? No. Please give me something. Nothing. Nothing? I mean, okay, I, I know I didn't have that much gold, but this is so sad. How good is Rage Blade on Kai'Sa? It's not that great. Trojan's better. Uh, but like, she needs an attack speed item. Maybe it goes on Hurricane. Okay, I'm just gonna roll it down for a Kaisa pair and then chill and go nine. Oh, I, I really need one Galio. Come closer. Come on, Albert. You can do it. If I get a Shojin, I can still put it on Kaisa and then give the Gwinsu stuff away. Oh, uh, Kench would actually fit pretty well here. I can also start thinking about Exalted. So, uh, Irelia and Diana are easy to fit in. And after that, you're just to throw in one more exalted unit. Oh my god. Three spatch. No, dude. No, no, why? Please, is there any chance I get one of those? Any small, tiny chance? Oh, maybe? Oh, please. No, at least the tier. I can't handle this! It's probably Lucky Gloves. Lucky Gloves sounds pretty good here. I'm so sad, guys. <laughs> we failed again to hit. And everybody just got spatulas, so they're gonna spike really hard. Don't worry, Albert. Hang in there. You can still get a fourth. A very sad fourth. Sorry, I'm just so sad. I know I've been very negative recently. Please give me. I need to. I need to roll here for a Kaisa. <laughs> oh 
Cassandra offers to sell you items for an expensive price. Um, I don't think so. Okay. No prison can hold me. I hit one Kaisa. Oh. Legends are told in word and deed. Oh my God. Oh my god. Winnable? I can make it to nine now? If I'm really lucky and print another one? If I hit another one, I can print. I have my Hui ready. Come on, Kale. No, no, no. Dang it. Okay, i it's not that bad. Oh, can I sit too? Kaisa 2 is actually probably better than I really hear. Actually, I'm gonna, this is interesting. I'm gonna leave it at four. Cause if I go nine next round. Yeah, wait, this is interesting. I'm gonna purposely leave it there. You know what I mean? I'm gonna leave it at four. I'm gonna level up next round and then see if I can hit an Irelia pair, right? Maybe that's interesting. That could result in like, uh, getting a quick two star Irelia. Okay, fuck. I threw this round with bad positioning. Okay, my bad. I could have won this with good positioning. Alright, give me an eye. I'll be level 9. I won't have that much gold. Oh. Well. Hmm. Let me think about this. Is Elise Sin in Orkant? No, I'm pretty sure I need to try to hit the Irelia. Don't worry, I know Irelia is out there. No, trust me, Irelia is out there. I, I know she is. She's out there. She's out there. Dang it. I I want to get rid of this way soon. The power of a dragon. Yeah, I want to get rid of this way soon. So I, I just want to use him to print one eye early and that's it. Please give me one eye. One eye, one eye, one eye. Art is empty without empathy. This is necessary.
Fuck. Fuck. If you took the Hui, you could get a Hui 2. I mean, Hui 2 is not good here. I, as soon as I hit print, I'm selling. Oh. Transcendence is never guaranteed. Nice. I can't believe that actually worked. That's so interesting. Oh my god, there's like two things that are really good here. Uh, Duelist Crest Diana is insane. Altruist Crest is insane. Infinity Edge is okay. Hodge is okay. Oh my god, please let me get this Duelist Diana. That's actually huge. Nice. Okay, now I actually need to find a way to put in Exalted. Actually, I can keep you in here for now. I can't believe I'm still so healthy, but holy shit, I'm so happy that I hit this two-star Aurelia. This Nautilus 2 is actually doing so much work. Stare. Finally, a good game. Okay, so how do I fit in Exalted here? Uh, Diana should be easy to fit in. So it's like Diana, Rakan, and then I guess Nar. Oh yeah, wait. I wonder what what does Kaisa get if you TG her? Okay, right, that's pretty good. Oh fuck! This guy's probably winning the game. Egg cash out. Wait, this set is in my Irelia's ass. Oh, man. Oh, he's got 11 units. Jesus Christ. All right, I should just donkey roll then. How can I fit in Exalted here? There's no way I'm selling my two-star Galio, right? I can sell this way. I'm not too attached. You could drop Galio and Riven together, but it's pretty questionable. You could also drop Garen for Nar. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody.
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I channel the spirits I feel closest to. I channel the spirits I feel closest to. I still can't hit two Sargalio. But I got the Exalted. Um, I think you can just drop Sivir. Honestly, like, fuck it. Drop the Kai'Sa. Like, do you even need her anymore? I need a good tank. My Rally does so much damage. Oh, this guy took 17 damage. Oh, he took 20 damage. Okay, yeah, this is pretty awkward. This is pretty awkward. Um, I need to sell this Kai'Sa for like a two-star Udyr and then throw in Ornn for Behemoth Dryad. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's Udyr and Ornn over Sivir. Oh, I'm facing the egg guy. I'm dead. I'm facing the egg guy again. I don't even get to make my pivot. Man, my board is so cool! I just got fucked by a guy who forced Cinder a hit and then cocked egg. I faced him like four times! After he hatches egg, not before. Oh. All that for a fourth, man. So much hard work. I'm actually so frustrated. These last few games have been actually like complete bullshit. Impossible to hit on roll downs. These last like six games have been some of the most frustrating TFT I've ever played. Get contested everywhere, fail to hit, get shitty items, fail to streak so many times. I was kind of popping off. I went first, fourth, fourth, second, and then it's like seven, eight, six, six. And like, this is the best game of the last five where I finally like hit something with this Irelia. And then I just like face egg cash out three times in a row and then die. I lose 45 HP. Was it not worth selling Sivir and playing your Zaya? Oh, I absolutely should do that. It wouldn't have changed anything. That guy is infinitely strong. I was setting up for the uh, the Udir Orn play. I just wanted to end the stream on one last satisfying game, and I got none of it for three hours. All I got was just contested, 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 face a high roller, lose my streak, roll down, hit nothing. Salvage a couple placements, die. I'm so frustrated. This has been, like, TFT is in general a very fun game. This has been some of the least fun TFT I've ever played in my life in the last three hours. All right, last game, no matter what. And then I'm going to bed. I can't handle this anymore, man. Try again another day. All right, I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks, Lilia.
such a waste. When life gives you sour bandleberries, make bandel brew. Time for a good nap. Alright, there's no augment. What can I do here? I'm kind of thinking of playing the Kog'Maw reroll again. It was pretty easy to play. And I have an okay spot for it. My only worry is that there was a guy with uh, with Caitlyn 1 and 2 star Cho'Gath as well. Is Dryad any good at all this set? Nope, Dryad's pretty garbage. Not yet finished. It was good in PvE and then they nerfed it very hard. Okay, I do not want to play Story Weavers. Yes. Kogma. Oh, it's Void. Hello, Void. He's kind of like holding everything, waiting for his augment. Thoughts on invokers? Uh, Lily with four invokers is pretty good. Thank. Killed zero units. Wow, Epoch is that good. I don't think I want it here. I'm, I'm playing Lose Streak. Okay, I'm actually like down to full int this. Spirits are calling. Yeah, I'm gonna try to full int this. Cause I wanna see uh, if, if there's a spat on the carousel. Don't kill a single unit, please. Nice. Hopefully it gets me first pick. Okay. Give me a spat.
Fat or tear? How is Adaptive Helm on Kog'Maw? Let's find out. If you go Kog'Maw 3... I feel like it's pretty good, right? Oh, it's actually not. Escort Quest? Wait, Escort Quest is kind of funny. No, it should just be combat. Learning to spell? Wait, I actually like learning to spell here. Wait, I'm gonna do it. Learning to spell Kogma. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting. Kogma is going to learn to spell. Yeah, PhD Kogma. He's gonna get an education. I'm pretty sure I'm not contested. My main competition was Void, but it looks like he pivoted off. He's playing Duelist. Oh wow, he's got actually kind of a sick combo. Gargantuan Duelist. Okay. Kogma reroll build. Kogma, Malphite, Cho'Gath, Caitlyn. Nico. Oh, I forgot who the rest were. Who am I missing? Oh yeah, Alawi, Kench, Bard, William. Okay, there's only one problem with my Kogma real build. Can you guys see what it is? The problem is I have one Kogma. This guy's got a two-star Bard. But yeah, that's the only problem. The only problem is I have none of the units. <laughs> okay. Um, if I can hit a Kog'Maw 3, though, it's actually so free. He'll permanently stack up. Oh my god, the game is just so easy. One Kog'Maw and zero items. I mean, I have a lot of halves of items. I'm not too worried. But Kog'Maw is actually the perfect learning to spell guy. Because he um, he targets the lowest enemy. He'll actually like print AP forever. Our wills align. Two costs exalted. Wait. I feel like I'm gonna lose this. I need to roll a little bit right now. Okay, I need to roll until at least two star Kogma, but man, only getting one Kog. I've, I've already kind of locked it in here. I got five Chogats. I, I can roll until Chogat three. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably roll until Chogat 3. Alright, I need a belt or a tier, please. Belt or tier, belt or tier, belt or tier. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna roll until Chogat 3 at least. You can do it, Albert. You're the best. You're the best. Seriously. Chogat 3, come into a town near you. Give me a C! Give me a C! 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 I'll come home, big C. Alright. At least now we can like start stacking. Start stacking that AP, come on. Not bad, honestly.
Okay. There's only one small, major, tiny, incredible downside. Uh, I'm at zero gold. Yep. One incy weensy tiny downside. I'm broke. Hello, Zija Two Dumax. Thanks for those nine months. All right, Operation Kogma Three. Kogma is going to college, everybody. Like I know it looks bad. Box box, you're 64 health. You haven't won a round yet, and uh, you're broke. Well, that's not nice. What about my TFT game? No, no, I'm telling you guys, this Kogma is actually going to college. I needed to roll there so I can start printing some AP. Wait, is learning to spell like the individual unit gains AP or... No, everybody on my team gains AP, right? Oh, Alfonso. Oh, it's individual. Really? I lost. Is it actually an individual drill? Come on, something that helps with rerolling. Component, anvil, player health, or gold? Um. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's component anvil, actually. I can get so strong with a couple items. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's item. And then I get a belt. I get fucked. <laughs> wow, these are pretty bad. I am pretty sure I have to make a steadfast heart. It's... Damn it, man. Okay. All right, it's not horrible. It is a playable item. I can just get the belt off the carousel then. But like... I really needed that Nashers. Alright, Kogma, come on, get your PhD. Choyath can buy you so much time. Oh, Caitlyn farming a little AP for herself. Um... This thing is not dying. Kogma on carousel with a belt! Oh, four gold belt? Please do not take this away from me. I, f I feel like everyone's gonna take Galio with belt. Oh. Okay. 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 I can win, guys. Guys, Kogma, his IQ right now is 137. He's already like a Harvard student. And he's only getting smarter and smarter as the game goes on. 137. Oh, 179. Okay, I need to position Kogma far away. Oh, and the Mythic is kicking in. But yeah, this learning to spell is like a little unclear. Your team gains 10 ability power and permanently gains 1 AP per 2 takedowns. That implies that your t whole team gains AP every 2 takedowns. But I'm pretty sure it's actually like your team gains 10 AP and then everybody has to farm AP on their own. Because I see an animation coming towards this Kog'Maw every time he gets a kill. So like it definitely looks like he's farming AP for himself, which I'm fine with, but like... I just think the thing was unclear. Holy shit! Wait, Kog'Maw just became a machine gun. Do you guys see that? That actually- he actually just went so hard. Why far right and not far left? Well, I mean, I'm just trying to be far away from the carry. Okay, yeah. last item definitely needs to be a Gunblade. For the next three rounds, set Wait, that's perfect! I can farm more AP! I can farm more AP! Yes! That's like an extra two AP on my Kogma. Wait, this Nashers actually speeds things up dramatically. Jesus. 188 IQ. Guys, we're gonna have a 400... Well, okay, 400 is unrealistic. We're gonna have a 300 IQ Kogma by the end of this game, I promise you, okay? That's the 300 IQ tuber.
300 IQ tuber. Oh my god, this guy has so many units for my uh, my Kog'Maw farm. This is awesome. He's at 188 AP right now. Let's see what he gets today at the end. One eighty nine. No, Caitlyn just stole a kill. One ninety. Wait, my Kogma missed so many ults. Okay, he gained four AP though. Not bad. Okay, well, I mean. I just have to slow roll here, right? Five Kog'Maws. I get five Ks in the chat. Also, if I get a Gunblade, it's so good. Gunblade's like perfect here. Because I don't want my Kog'Maw to get one shot by something. He only has 1200 HP. It's perfect, and he'll keep Cho'Gath alive as well. Oh, Warmogs is pretty good. Okay. Never a dull moment. Every river ends in me. Up for a showdown? Travel awaits. Oblivion come. Um, I'm at six Caitlyn's, six Malphites. I feel like I, I should have rolled to zero here and try to keep a streak. If I if I win this round, I'm probably gonna keep uh keep going. Or I'm probably gonna roll to zero. I I have pretty good odds of hitting here. Come on, Kogma, farm it up, farm it up. Dang it. Which tank is better, Malphite or Cho'Gath? Uh, probably Cho'Gath. He's mythic. Okay, I think I should just roll for this 3-star Caitlyn. No, 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 no. Keep in your pants, Albert. If you're not hitting 3-star Kog'Maw, nothing matters. If you're not hitting three star Kogma, nothing matters. Once I get to like seven Kogmas, I'm down to send it. Actually, even six Kogmas, I'm down to send it. Because I'm completely uncontested and I need to start hitting soon so I can like save HP, build a streak, and uh, start stacking. I could also go JG on this Kog'Maw. It would multiply like the ridiculous amount of AP that he has. But it would lead to him getting one shot. I feel like I like the Gunblade path better. Okay, I'm just sending it now. If I don't hit, like I'm pretty sure I'm fucked. I need to hit right now. This guy's two star center at seven. Yeah, if I don't hit, I'm fucked. I have to hit here. Yes. Give your journey or die in mine. Oblivion come. No strength. You skip Malphite. I know. I, that's why I paused. I was like, I don't have. I have to sell something. Maybe I should just sell Nico there, honestly. Because it's just like hit Caitlyn, hit Malphite, move on. Okay, well, at least I can kind of start playing the game now. Alright, I'm pretty sure I won't Gunblade here. I want a sword here. Yeah, 
I'm pretty sure Gunblade makes sense. Like, Druid Gauntlet is pretty interesting, because he has, like, he's gonna have, like, 400 AP, so then you can multiply that. The problem is, like, 3-star Kagama gets one-shot by so many things. I'm pretty sure Gunblade's the safer play. Oh, you know what'd be crazy? Missed Connections would be crazy. It would give me Econ. It would give me Econ, and it would give me 3-star Caitlyn and almost 3-star Malphite. I don't think it's harm assist. I just got a gun blade. Don't think it's heavenly. It's not that good here. Oh, mythic crest is actually pretty good. Leave your journey or die in mine. All right. Well. I'll just like eventually get these, but I'm not gonna force it. I thought the more AP you have, the less useful JG is. No, it's the opposite. The more AP you have, the better it is. Uh, the reason why I didn't take it though is because I don't want to get one shot. Kogma will randomly die to like chip damage. I'm pretty sure like he'll do enough damage as it is. He's already scaling really hard with uh, learning to spell. This is so satisfying. And now he'll keep his frontline alive with it. Like, it's not just keeping Kog'Maw alive, it's keeping uh, Cho'Gath alive. And then he, he's just so smart. He just snipes everything, it's beautiful. Oh, bye-bye, Azir. Thank you for spawning these soldiers for me to kill. Are long streams like this common? No, 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 no of course not. I, I would never stream more than eight hours. Could I get a C or an N? Too poor to afford this. Now the question is, do I want to roll a little bit to try to hit the Caitlyn 3 after creeps? I could roll a little bit. Because there's three 3 costs coming up. Or I could just level and play 5 uh, Mythic. I'm pretty sure rolling is better. Because I, I need these 3 stars. It's actually a pretty big upgrade. I've already spent so much money on them. Okay, this Galio is unkillable. What the heck? 3000 HP. Luckily, Kog'Maw doesn't have to kill him. Kog'Maw's like the one unit who can bypass this guy. Come on, kill everyone besides the Galio. Yeah, this Galio's never taking any damage. Okay, okay. Irelia next. Yes. Yes, this is beautiful. Holy crap. We just went straight past the Galio. All right, guys. Great news. Kog'Maw is at 244 IQ. Oh yeah, honestly, I should have done Mythic Caitlyn. Wait, I hit a Malphite and a Nico here. That's crazy. Oh, I, I should have done Mythic Caitlyn. Yeah, that's actually good. Maybe I can rebuild this. Oh, I have Remover. Oh, we'll see. I could just remove. Uh, I'll grab this Nico and Malphite at the end. Just in case I happen to hit an additional Nico or Malphite. Good tank items. All right, I'm gonna roll. I'm I'm sitting on eight eight eight. Come on, give me like two of these. Nice. Give me one more, and then I'll level. Come on. Nice. Up for a showdown. No spark. Oh, fuck. I actually screwed up. Uh, I am pretty sure I was supposed to do Adaptive Helm Caitlyn. Well, you probably can't go wrong with giving Nico two tank items. But like, I'm pretty sure this Caitlyn 3 is actually worth itemizing.
Oh yeah, I should have played five mythic that's that round, that's my bad. I can't believe it. I might actually do it, guys. 243 AP Kogma. Can we get him to 300 IQ? And this Kaylin's actually gonna do quite a lot of good work. She could land a couple good snipes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I should play, oh fuck. Full of blunders today. I should play Lilia because of Invoker. Oh, huge snipe. Can we snipe that Aphilios? Oh, huge stun from the Nautilus, actually. Wait, is this a big snipe? No, it's not. Hang in there. Hang in there, team. Kogma is learning to spell. Pew. Pew. What? Damn it. Every flower blooms to be seen. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's actually still Nautilus here. Because uh, next round you put in this guy. You get Arcanist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure actually, like, I don't think two Invoker matters. It only matters for, like, Caitlyn. Oh. Oh, no wonder it took me so long to hit Caitlyn. There was another two-star Caitlyn. Yeah, I'm gonna sell these Lilios, and then I'm just gonna level for this. Oh, this Yone is kind of scary. Duelist Yone 3. Oh, it's only Yone 2, actually. Oh fuck, everything's flying around. I can't tell what's going on. I think I win. Wait, my Kog'Maw like couldn't land his shots. My Kog'Maw keeps missing. Dude, they keep moving around. They keep moving around. What the fuck? He missed so many ults. Warmog just goes really well here. It's also five gold. Yeah, they actually like kept moving around. Tristana and Yone is like were the perfect duo to dodge everything. Okay, no problem, no problem. I level up here. Play the Alawi. Okay, honestly, I think this board is a winning board. Yeah, I went and said it. I think this board's a winning board. Wait, multiple people hit Tristana? I'm pretty sure my Kog'Maw is gonna go to college and everything's gonna be okay. Or rank are you now? Uh, I think I just demoted to Emerald 3. Farm those kills, Kogi Wogi. You deserve it. A little Pandata, thanks to the 11 months. These fights are so long, a Gwinsu's would go wonderfully here. Gwinsu's on Caitlyn. Wait, did you guys see that teamwork? I lost. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need to roll a little bit here and hit a Nautilus or a Malphite. Because I'm going to die. And when I say roll a little bit, I mean, yeah, just that many times. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay. I definitely have way too much tank and not enough damage, but none of those items on Caitlyn look that good. Like, maybe Shojin was playable. I really like the idea of Gwinsu's because the fight scales up for so long. Kog'Maw's taking a bit too much time to, to pick off the kills himself. Maybe it actually was a JG angle, man. Oh, wait. Ash, or uh, Caitlyn got a nice snipe. Yes, yes, yes.
Okay. This could be a top four. Guys, all I have to do is get one good item on this Caitlyn. Caitlyn has reached full epic tier from the mythic. She actually does quite some damage. All right, well, let's level up. Wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Please, I'm begging you, give me a Gwinsu's. Gwinsu's on this Caitlyn, I win the game. Okay, honestly, I probably don't win the game. Some of these guys look pretty tough. There's a three-star bard out there. Come on, Quincy's. Oh my god. Alright, one more round, and then I can level up. Oh god, three star bard. Pray! Pray for me! Oh fuck, it's a three star Kench, three star bard. Oh, I'm so dead. This is like the god tier build. Wait, and three star Zoe? You hit everything. I'm dead! Wait, actually, hang on. If there was somebody who could clutch this, it's unironically Caitlyn getting a snipe on the Zoe, making Kog'Maw prioritize her next. Dang it. I'm dead, aren't I? Dang it, man. It actually was kind of close with my Caitlyn. Well, that was incredibly depressing. The idea of learning to spell K or Kogma was so fun. I lost to a guy who said, I'm going to force Bard no matter what. And then he hit. And then he killed me, which is really sad because I'm pretty sure I was easily the second strongest person in this lobby. I just like bled too much HP getting my setup because I didn't hit Kog'Ma for God knows how long. Feels like one star units can never carry. I mean, they can't carry if you don't hit them. Did you see how long it took me to hit the Kog'Ma? I didn't hit it till stage four. You're not going to win with a one star reroll if you don't hit on, on, on the stage uh, three roll down. I failed the RNG check. Which is really sad, because I almost salvaged it. I just lost to a guy who hit every single 3-star 3 cost. I actually had a sick build at the end, and my Kog'Maw was like finally fully scaled up. It took so long. And then also, like, if I win that round, if I face like a weaker player, win that round, level up, just like throw in a set, it's actually pretty fucking strong. Level up, throw in the set. I get like an extra CC, extra tank stats. Like, I could have actually maybe even beat the Bard guy, like, if I hit the Nautilus, too. It was so winnable. Looks like Cog misses too much. I mean, he does miss, but, like, that's fine. One stars, or one cost should have, like, vulnerabilities like that. I, I don't mind the misses. Like, when I lost that round because of the uh, Yone Tristana player... Where it's just like, I should I should have won, but they both dodge like six Kog'Maw ults. Like, that's just how the game goes sometimes. I'm not upset about that. I'm upset that it took me so long to hit. I'm also upset that two players contest each other and they both hit. When I get contested, I can't hit for shit. Two players contest the exact same build, they both hit. How is that possible? Anyway, sorry. I've, I've been very frustrated today. These last few games were incredibly annoying. That's just how TFT is sometimes. It's a high variance game. Sometimes you get contested five games in a row. Sometimes you hit five times in a row and feel like you're the best player in the world. It's fine. I'll go to sleep and I'll try again tomorrow. Play more games for me? No, I can't. I have to sleep. It's 4 a.m. I should have a meeting tomorrow for work. Sorry, I that that sounds strange. What, what do you mean for work, Box Box? 
Stream is my job. Uh, I have a meeting for something uh, related to my stream, so I have to uh, make sure I wake up in time. Ah, uh, such disappointing games, but it's fine. I'll just wake up tomorrow and gain like 400 LP. Thanks for watching today, guys. I will send you guys over to somebody else. Sorry the games are so depressing. Sorry I was so depressing. What a sad stream. Alright. I'm gonna send you guys over to... Is Sally gonna str stream for long? This is my roommate. How long is she gonna stream for? She's been live for six hours. A couple more hours. What about Soju? We'll raid Soju. I'm pretty sure he's gonna stream for another 14 hours. Get a high value raid. Alright, thanks for watching. When you go to his stream, type H and then I. I'll see you guys later. The letter of the day for those of you guys that actively follow the letter of the day. The letter of the day is... E.